Merry Christmas everyone. I hope you have a fab time and get loads of sewing done. Hi everyone. I'm sending you best wishes for the festive season and would like to thank you for all your wonderful support over the last 12 months. Who could believe there's another new year just around the corner? I'm looking forward to spending more sewing time with you in the new year and looking forward to seeing all your fantastic makes. I hope you have a happy and safe Christmas. Lots of love. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all the Sewing Street fans. Thank you for watching over the year. Um, hope you have a wonderful time. And remember, keep sewing. Merry Christmas. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hi, I'm Debbie Harris, and I'm so excited to be one of the new guest designers here on Sewing Street. I live and work in Melton Mowbray in Leicestershire where I run my own knitting and sewing business called Mabel and Deb. I specialise in sewing and knitting and crocheting and I've been doing all of those three things from being a little girl when my mum taught me all things knitting, crochet and sewing. Started off just crocheting little chain stitches and granny squares and then actually patchwork sewing, little hexagons, and they're still my favourite shape to sew now. I used to be a school teacher for over 20 years. I was teaching in classrooms um, and just had the knitting and the crochet and sewing as a background hobby. But now I get to do this as, as my job and I'm absolutely passionate about it and really want to share all that passion and excitement with you guys. Um, a, a tip that I think is worth sharing with you is always use quality materials. So whether that's your fabrics or your threads or wool, the difference in the quality of your materials can really make a difference to your finished project. And always use the right tools, so whether it's a rotary cutter or a pair of scissors that are specially made for that job, that too can make all the difference. My claim to fame in 2020 was winning, being one of the winners of the Great British Make-Off here on Sewing Street when I did my debut um, sewing demonstration in November last year. And it was just a wonderful experience and I'm so excited to be here on my Sewing Street journey with you all, bringing lots of tips, techniques and looking forward to doing lots of exciting projects with you throughout the year. So lovely to meet you and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye! Morning, happy Christmas Eve, happy Christmas Eve. Already, Gremlins, no YouTube and, and um, Facebook at the moment, but there will be, Jessie's on it now. I'll tell you when it's ready to go. Uh, but Jessie, uh, good morning everyone, how are you? Jan, wake up, wake up, wake up. Now, Jessie, can I have the slide for the early bird or the sting for the early bird, please? I know you're busy. Go, early bird. Today's early bird is this if you bought these two bags of super soft toy stuffing and cushion filling now before the early bird seven pound 98 they cost you seven pounds and 98 pence but because it's christmas eve 
Hannah's got a special treat for you. Okay, here we go then. Hannah's special treat. Yes, that bag has burst at the seams. Burst at the seams. Oh, it's better than the other day. Six forty-eight, six pounds forty-eight. So you pay, and we were very full. You're paying three pound twenty-four a bag, and you need this in your under the stairs cabinet, don't you? Ready for your soft toy making, or to do that too by accident. I um, they came in a black bag yesterday, and I ripped the black bag, and it ripped that bit at the same time. Uh, message on my bottom. Here we go then. Message on the bottom coming up now. In a minute. That's you, Hannah. Oh, oh, here it is. Yay, good morning, John, from me and Jake. Merry Christmas to you. Chantelle and Jake, Merry Christmas to you too. Hope you well. Uh, Facebook and YouTube are now working. The other Jan's already in. Look at that. She was fast, wasn't she? I'll just put morning so they know. They know, they know. Right, £6.48. Today's early bird. Keep going through for that. Lots of you coming in. Good morning, Jill. Merry Christmas. I think there'll be lots of Merry Christmases today. Now, there's two things. While I'm doing this, there are two things. Well, no, I'll do the first one first. If you want a Christmas message read out tomorrow on the live show between 8 and 12. Oh, do you know what I forgot to do? On uh, Somebody messaged me last night, Amanda, I think it was, saying, um, uh, on the free view, it says you're not starting today's show, Christmas Eve show, till 9 o'clock. Forgot to check if it's right. We'll switch off and we'll come back at nine if you like. Uh, anyway, 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 if you want to send a Christmas message you want read out tomorrow, send your email in now, studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. And then in the top subject line, write Christmas message and then do your Christmas message where you'd normally write it. And then Hannah knows where to put it. There was a bit of confusion yesterday because Kat said to me, you know, John, we've only got four messages. And I was like, we have not but four messages. What Hannah's been doing, she's been opening them and reading them. So when you look at, there's a folder, they have to put it in like that. Cat had put four in there, right? But because it doesn't register when you've opened them, there's hundreds of them. There's hundreds of them. But Cat was like, there's only four messages, John. I said, that can't be right. Anyway, uh, Pam Minnie Harley says, morning, John, Catherine and Science Street team. Happy Christmas Eve. Julie says, good morning, John and team. Good morning. So anyway, that's that's how you can get in touch and you can send a message in. If you send it in today, then the marketing department have to put it onto a slide. Saves Hannah a job tomorrow, because otherwise tomorrow she has to put them all on slides tomorrow. Lynn says, uh, good morning. Happy Christmas. Louise says, Merry Christmas. Hope you uh, have a wonderful time with all your families, she says. Cousin Susan says, Merry Christmas. It's not Christmas yet. It's tomorrow. Stop being happy. Maxine's on my bottom. Good morning, John. Merry Christmas to everyone from Windsor. Oh, she's not. Is, where's the Queen at Windsor? Because they've, they've had to change their plans, haven't they, and everything. Oh, she hasn't updated Hannah. What are you eating already? Sliced ham she's having now. Kat had her cornflakes when we were prepping at the end of the show yesterday. Yeah. Uh, £6.48 for two... I was going to say bottles there, but it doesn't come in bottles, does it? Bags. Alan says, still have a sore eye after the sewing machine needle broke. Oh, Alan, you be careful. Claire, who makes things, says, happy Stitchmas Eve. Claire says, good morning, John. All just for a bit of panic shopping. Why have you left it till day today, Claire? I think it'll be, I think it'll be quiet out there today. I think, I think everybody will have done it yesterday and they'll all be at home today. Oh, actually, let me know, Claire, because it'll make me decide whether or not I'll pop in the shops on the way home or not. Louise, I've done that one. Derek, good morning, John, Hannah and Catherine. Don't forget Jesse. Don't forget Jesse. Happy Christmas Eve. Love that shirt. You've got this shirt, haven't you? Haven't you got this one? Uh, Nicola, morning all. Grey day in Devon. Anyone got snow yet? Oh, shut up. Shut up. We're not having snow. My, yesterday, I said this yesterday. My, I woke up and my family WhatsApp, I've got a WhatsApp, obviously, with a group. And all I saw was my older brother going, oh, now, real snow. And I was like, What? What? Not real snow. Didn't click on it. Had my shower thinking, oh, I can't believe it's going to be snow. Anyway, then I clicked on it. His son, my nephew, lives in New York now and they've got thick snow in New York. So that was all right. I was a bit happier. And they say there's not going to be any snow because there's a, this warm front has come in and got rid of it all. But the fog this morning. Oh, the fog was horrible this morning. Cra oh, Crazy Lorraine. Jesse, show that set, please. Have you got a camera on that, on that shelf? Look, crazy day. 
Crazy Lorraine, maybe that for Christmas look. The one, not the cushion, to the left of the cushion. To the left of the cushion. With the big eyes, Christmas eyes. Uh, Judy says, good morning. Patricia says, good morning. Love you from Blackpool. Anyway, we've done that. Oh, we're getting a close-up. We're getting a close-up, Crazy Lorraine. Ready? Steady? Oh, hang on. Jesse. Jesse's not very good with his joystick this morning. There we go. We'll get there eventually. Hey! That's my Christmas present, Crazy Lorraine. Uh, there's parcels in the little basket. There's little teddy bears under his arms. It's cute, isn't it? Oh, we're going in even closer now. There you go, Crazy Lorraine made me that for Christmas. Thank you. Jackie says, good morning, John. Heading out to deliver Christmas bouquets. Going to be busy today. Jackie, I've had so many flowers. My house is like, it looks gorgeous. Oh, uh, Davinia sent a message in. Good morning, all. Happy Christmas Eve to you all. Love and hugs from Davinia. Thank and the same to you, Davinia. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, okay, 6.48, 6.48, that's the price. Good morning to Jesse, says Derek. Uh, Jacqueline says, good morning, Mr. Lovely. Looking forward to today's show. Merry Christmas to everyone at Sewing Street. Well, actually, there's nobody here. Apart from the three of us and Catherine, the place is deserted. It's quite nice, yeah. It's quite nice. It's been like that all week. Anyway, two packs, not bags, two packs of super soft toy filling. Uh, 250, 500 grams in total, as if you couldn't add that up. Keep going through, though. Keep going through. <clears throat> now, I don't know when it will... Because, hang on, Monday's a bank holiday, isn't it? So I don't know when it will be sent out to you. But it doesn't matter, does it? It's Christmas. It will get to you. That's all I'm saying. 6.48. Right, keep going through, Doreen. Good morning, John. Merry Christmas to you all. Are you ready? For today's menu. Right, uh, also, Jesse, can you have that other slide ready to show in this menu as well? Yeah, so 8 o'clock is a very unusual show. It's called Twas the Night Before Christmas. Uh, Hannah's done this show for you, so as you can imagine, it's quite random. Then at 9 o'clock, we've got Stripology with Catherine Wright. So we've got the, the medium side. It's the, the squared, isn't it, we've got with her, the squared one. Uh, and she's going to be showing you how to use that. Then at 10 o'clock, now, 10 o'clock, the other day we did this, and it was hugely successful. You loved it. It's quilt kit with multi-buy deals. There's an S missing. It should be quilt kits with multi-buy deals. The slide, Jesse. There we go. So if you buy two quilts from the 10 o'clock hour, you have to buy them together. You have to check them out together. You'll get 20% off the total cost of both quilts. 20% off. <clears throat> yeah, it's any of the quilts on that show today. I'll show you, I'll show you in a minute when we do pre-order. It's, it's not ones on the website. It's not other. It's only the ones that are in the show. Only the ones that are in the show. And you don't have to buy it. It says there, two quilts from the 10 a.m. show. You can buy them at 11 o'clock if you want to. You don't have to buy them at 10 o'clock, but it's one. It's all of these. Beautiful, aren't they? Buy two, you get 20% off. Brilliant deal, brilliant deal. Anyway, back to the menu. Then Catherine's doing a tulip cushion with Catherine Wright. With the S from the 9 o'clock has slipped down to the 11 o'clock, look. Yeah, Kat did these yesterday. She, she wasn't in the mood. It was her last day before Christmas yesterday. And then 12 o'clock, Delphine's not in. <coughs> <coughs> Where's the apostrophe gone? Delphine Brooks Kits at 12 o'clock. Now, lots of you were asking yesterday if we had that owl. You know that owl, right? Yeah, it's in. That one, that owl. Because she's done a few owls, hasn't she? <coughs> that owl is in. I'm ever so sorry. I've got a bit of a thing. Uh, you can get in touch three ways. First way is by uh, email. <clears throat> right, just read that while I take some water, sorry. So that's studio at sayingstreet.com, studio at sayingstreet.com. Then you can also send a message on Facebook Live, which is the ones I've been shouting out. Uh, let's see if there's any more there at the moment. Uh, Dory, I've done Dory. Karen says, morning, John and team, loving the shirt. Cri Merry Christmas to all. 
at Sewing Street and all the Sewing Street family says Crazy Lorraine. Lots of people buying on pre-order. I think that's because you're coming in, you're going to do it, and then you're going to go off and do your own thing, aren't you, later on? Get your mould wine and everything. Okay, right. Uh, and then uh, the last way is going to the website, www.sewingstreet.com. Then you click on Watch the Show Live. And then I'll come up there, little box on the right-hand side there, send message studio. They're the messages that come up in the white boxes across the bottom of your screen. Oh, here we go. Hello. That's it. Okay, you can only send it if you're logged in. I don't think she's logged in, so she can't send it. Scroll down the page, and in a minute, there will be two columns. There will be show deals, which are the things that you've already seen. And on the right-hand side will be pre-order. This is what we have for the next five hours. Now, you see that bugging out fabric? That's brand new. And brand new, Lynette Anderson, extra wide backing, no less. We've not had that before. <coughs> and did you do the pricing, Hannah? It shouldn't, oh, it shouldn't be $8.99. Cause, hang on, hang on, hang on. Stop, 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 stop. You pay $8.50 for the 44 inches wide. So how is... But 108 inches wide, only 899. Anyway, keep going. There you go, lovely panels there. Fab, oh, bundles. Bugging out zebra. I haven't got, oh, yes, I have. No, yeah, I have, yes, I have, yes, I have. Uh, anyway, look. Tilda Mystery Pack. I'll have to explain that one to you later. Windy Days, that was only launched this week. Then uh, that mulberry, that's not big, that's just a little panel there. Then we've got the wooden ruler rack with the sticky up things. The freezer paper, a bit of Alice and Marion. She's in tomorrow. Cork, bit of cork. Oh, look, the, the, now Kat was right. No, but she said the cutting board was green in that. And I said, no, that was when we were at home quarter. Anyway, then we've got panels for the eight. Oh, that's the apron I made the other day. Did I not sell out? Yeah, the quilted PU bundle, that's very popular there. Then we've got fabric bundles there. Now, you see the green one, the blue one, and the pink one? We're going to start with those. And then we're into Catherine's hour, the creative grid rulers. Look at the lovely panels she's got. That's stunning, isn't it? Actually, didn't she make something out of that, Jesse? Have you got a picture of the thing uh, uh, Catherine made out of that one? Look, isn't it lovely? Cushion as well. Look, beautiful. It's upside down, Jesse, but no worries. It is. Look at the bottom. Yeah, look at the flower. Look at the flower at the bottom left. That's the foxglove is on its side. And the hummingbird is sort of struggling to stay upwards. Yeah, anyway, moving on. Moving on. Uh, keep going. So then we've, we've not got that rotary cutter. Uh, then we've got, uh, now, there they are. Any of these quilts, if you buy two of them, you don't need to put a code in, but you'll get 20% off. 20% off if you buy two of those quilts on the same checkout. <clears throat> it won't work if you buy one now and one at 12 o'clock. You need to check them out together. But look, there's Beth Studley, there's William Morris, there's Kaif, there's Moda, there's Anna Maria Horner. Uh, now, we're not showing all those waddings because I left them on the trolley outside. Then, see the book? <coughs> Excuse me. First time on air. Templates included. It's a gorgeous book. What it is, is you make the quilts by machine and then you hand quilt them. It's all about hand quilting. 20 stunning projects. Then you've got needles and things like that. Uh, then we've got some fabric bundles for Catherine to make uh, the cushion out of because she's doing the tulip cushion. Would you like to see the tulip cushion? That's a picture. You've got a picture of a tulip cushion, haven't you, Jesse? This one's the right way up. Gorgeous. Oh, yeah. So what's happened with that? Okay. Okay. So some reason we haven't been sent the red. You've got two blues in your kit. Yeah, be a blue tulip because they're very popular. Right, moving on. Then we've got, here we go, these are all Delphines. Now, some are just instructions on their own. And others are bundles. We'll come to them in. There they are. There's, oh, that's the, that's the instruction only. <clears throat> but we've got that in a kit as well, I think, haven't we? Yeah, look, there's the kits. There's the kits. There, there it is. He'll be a rainbow-coloured owl. 
gorgeous. Ella, now look, all of those lovely tree of life. And the cow, is that Daisy, that one it's called, I think, yeah. Oh, dairy. Oh, no wonder people looking at me yesterday. I kept saying, where's Daisy? Where's Daisy? Where's Daisy? They kept, she hasn't done a Daisy. But that says dairy on there. So maybe that, I read it wrong. Anyway, well, yeah, but you would. Right, okay. <clears throat> right, so let's just make a bit of space here. Oh, have you ever seen this? We're doing, have you ever seen a left-handed ruler? Well, you have now. You have now. We'll do it in a minute. We'll do it. <laughs> Wasn't a joke. It's really a left-handed ruler. Right, I've got these three bundles. That's what you said you were starting with. Oh. <laughs> you know what? You know that left-handed ruler I showed you? I'll just put it here for now because it might not be on today's show. <laughs> it was on the trolley. Elliot unpacked it. So where Elliot got it from, I do not know. Right, are we doing red, blue, or grey, green first? Thanks, Hannah. Got my linen Anderson fabric. What a bargain. Hannah's taking the blame for that. Laurie says, wish you all a Merry Christmas. And all the Sewing Street fans. Michaela Michaela says, good morning, John. Looking rather dapper this morning. Chantel says, Jake's having breakfast with, with Santa later. Full English. Oh, nice. Very nice. June says, morning, handsome. Looking good today. Paula says, good morning, John. Good start to the day. Have a good one. Right. Which one first, sorry? Green. I'll do it that way because it looks better that way. Right. 35.94. You get three metres of fabric. You get the bright green. That's shutters. La oh, right. Crash in. Didn't know that. <gasps> what? How much was it? Half price? Well, just, no, well, it's almost half price. Just a smidge. It's like 49% or something like that, isn't it? What? Three metres of fabric. Now, this is not your Rose and Hubble. This is your Swan. I'll show you. Is it called Swan? It's wider as well. Look, watch, hang on. Look. Look, look, I'm just going to put it on the table for you. Look. Oh, Hannah, you won't get this one. This one's a bit grubby. Elliot. Elliot got this one. Look at it. It's extra wide and you get half a metre of each colour. So you get uh, green. Uh, what well, do you get? The chartreuse, the lime, the emerald, the... What, what would... Oh, no, we have no colours because these aren't our regulars, but I couldn't even think of one. Uh, um, dark green. Then, for some reason, the green, we've got grey and dark grey. Anyway, three metres of fabric for £17.99. Back. Nine left. There's only nine left on this Christmas Eve morning. I woke up this morning and thought it was Christmas Day. I started packing my car, ready to drive to my Julie's, thinking, where's my bag? I'm sure I packed my bag. And then suddenly I realised it was Christmas Eve. It's because I didn't sleep very well last night. No. I was excited. I don't know. No, I got into bed, fell asleep. And then I always wake up, usually about three hours after I've fallen asleep. I thought, oh, that was a good three hours sleep. It was like 20 minutes later. Oh, that wasn't right. Anyway, half metre of the two greys. Four left, four left, four left. Right, okay, we're putting that one away. Go through for the last four. Then the blue, red and pink one. Oh, I don't know why I've got a bag in this one. Anyway, so this one, right, you know what's going to happen. <coughs> Excuse me, going to 1799. Autumn, they've called this one. Not autumn, 1799. You get half a metre of the scarlet, half a metre of the crimson, half a metre of the wine, half a metre of chocolate. Oh, well, it's weird that chocolate's in the middle of there, is it? Half a metre of rose. Oh, sold out. Sold out. See, you've got the hang of it now. I've got the blue one now. You know what's going to happen. What is happening? I don't know, but for some reason you're taking it down to 17.99. It's because Hannah's feeling in a Christmas mood. 17.99. So you get half a metre of the powder, half a metre of the corn flour, half a metre... I've sold out. Blimey. I'll tell you what I'd need. I need an empty trolley. Don't I'll be back in a minute. What are we doing next then, Hannah? Oh, there isn't one. There isn't one. I'm not going to get one. Extra wide backings from Lynette. Right. 
got it in two different colours. Now, we would have a slide normally, but you know Lynette. She's from the north. She lives in Australia. She's got pink hair. And she's very talented. What more do you need to know? Blue one first. So this is extra wide. This is 108 inches wide. Now, now she's very, very... F I, that's got to be a mistake. Because her fabric on its own at 44 inches wide is 8.50 a half metre. So why this is 8.99 for half a metre, I don't know. It's 100% cotton. Now, she has it made in Japan. She's very, very strict. So they send, um, are they called strikes when you first design some fabric? They send you some strikes, don't they? And she's like, the strike offs, that's it. So she thinks, she goes, no, that's slightly hit. She's really, really, for you. I mean, not fussy because she's, anyway, look. Her, she's gorgeous. She bought me a little koala bear. Um, not a real one. 108 inches wide. I'll put it down so you can see the pattern. It's lovely. It's so typically her. Imagine that on the back of a quilt. That's your price. 8 99 for half a metre. Lovely. This is the blue version. I've got another colourway coming up in a minute. I thought I've done with it now. Gerard Dean, happy Christmas, John, the team. Hope you have a wonderful time with your families and friends. Thank you for brightening up this year with your banter and your fabulous shows. Ah, oh, thank you. Stuart. Morning, John. Happy Christmas Eve. Going to the shop for the morning will be fun. Oh, so if you're in along Melford in Suffolk, pop in and see Stuart in the, um, oh, brain, wool patch, wool patch. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, thank you. 8.99. Hannah's saying that is right, John. You are correct because she goes there often. All the time as she's passing by. There's a cake shop next door, Hannah. She'll go. She'll be there. Oh, yes. Now, you remember on Hannah, for Hannah's birthday, I got her a terrarium, right? Well, the men, the lovely men, there's two brothers that own that shop in Worcester. They're opening a branch in the next village to Hannah. I know, looks lovely. In fact, it's going to be open the next couple of days, isn't it? Then he got the keys last Friday, and I was like, oh, yeah, when you're opening February. And he went, no, mate, no, mate, no, mate. You have to follow. Oh, yes, I'll go and visit them, and then I'll see Hannah for cake afterwards, because I won't be invited to the house. Right, that's the blue one. We'll go to the cafe where she found... No, because your boyfriend will be living with you by then. Won't he? Oh, I've not met the boyfriend yet. Not seen the house, not met the boyfriend... Met the mum and dad. A mum very briefly. Dad, I met one Christmas, didn't I? Is he coming to collect you tomorrow? Oh, I'll see him tomorrow. Make sure he's got his mask on. Here we go. This is the other colourway. I don't know what colourway have they called this one. Cream. Well, I suppose for Lynette Anderson, that is the cream. That is the cream that she uses, isn't it? It's gorgeous. 108 inches wide. Uh, Stuart says, you're, yeah, you're both spot on. Glorious cakes too. That's why I have to go to the gym lots. Yes, exactly, because he sits there munching his way through the cakes from next door. Eight, nine, ten, we've got some lovely uh, fudge for our, our, to have after the show that Catherine's brought in. Uh, Alan's making a koala bear fabric star-shaped gift box. Is Hannah using her mug this morning? Margaret, no. She's not allowed to use it till Christmas. Oh, no, she's just making a drink in it now. Like Elliot, yesterday, right? Yesterday, Kat was producing, right? And Elliot was directing. And I heard him muttering to her. And then I saw him go out. And I said, where's he going? She said, he's just going to visit the toilet. Right, so, okay, then. But 10 minutes later, he came back in. Then he, then he went again. I said, where's he going now? She said, oh, he's going to make a drink now. Anyway, she could see him through the window just chatting to Delphine, Right? Then he came back in and then he went back out again. He's supposed to be directing. This is live on air. And I said, where are you going now, Elliot? Went, going to make a drink. And I said, he just went to make a drink. And then, and then Delphine came in and said, he didn't make any drinks. just kept going to the toilet. He'd been out for a curry. Oh, he'd been out on a secret date the night before. Yeah. Eight, nine times for a curry the night before. Not with his girlfriend, no. I'll let you see the fabric. Eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine, eight ninety nine for half me. Hundred percent cotton. 
a message on the bottom. Good morning, John, Hannah and team. Team is Jesse today. Uh, happy Christmas to you all. Lots of love from Neve. Thank you, Neve, my love. Merry Christmas to you too. Morning, lovely people. Happy Christmas Eve. Looking very festive, John. Have a fab day. Oh, it's Katie Merseyside. Uh, do you know what? I know what's happened. You won't be seeing the left-handed ruler today. You know the sticky that you've pulled off? Have you saved it? Only because I'd unpacked all of the shows onto the desks. And whatever trolley it was on, that will have been the buying team's desk, won't it? So Elliot has picked everything up off the table, plus... Plus the things that belong to the buying team. Oh, Davinia, sorry. No, we can't have it on, I'm afraid. No. We thought it was on because it's not on any of our sheets or anything. I better find it then. What have I done with it? Yeah. I come and retrieve it left-handed. I will indeed. I'll just put that ruler there for you so it's out of the way. Yeah. The Big Windy Days Fat Quarter Pack. That's this one. I'm taking it. Now, this was launched this week, wasn't it? Was it this week? Yeah, we've had the fabric by the half metre. I haven't seen any of this. We've had the fabric by the half metre. The pre-cuts were launched two days ago. Oh, there was so much going on, they didn't take them out of the ribbon. So that's my job. That's fantastic because I've never seen this range. Oh, opportunity to get all the different fabrics, isn't it? So, aren't they lovely? That's why obviously why this is windy days here. I'll open this one. Ooh. Oh, is that, uh, that Elliot going to make a cup of tea? Right, so there we go. Look, we've got the windy days fat quarter. Then we've got the florals. That's lovely, isn't it, that one? Oh, I do like these. These are beautiful. Remember, if you've got any other Tilda ranges, they'll all go. They'll all go with the other ranges. So how many do I get in here? 20. 20 fat quarters. So they're the blue ones. They're the kind of sandy coloured ones. Oh, that's nice, that pink, isn't it? Blue and white there. Oh, and then there's that one in the tan. Oh, that's gorgeous, that one. We love, have you got a slide? <laughs> oh, I love it in the salmon. <laughs> it's really funny because yesterday people were saying how they could hear Kat, the producer, all the words that she was saying at home. <laughs> Look, that one goes with that one there. Aren't they just adorable? Tone Finnegan is the designer's name. Good morning, John, says Susan. Bit late, bit cold here in Norfolk. Geraldine said, John, giving all of Elliot's secrets away. No, no, he'd tell you if he was here. He'd tell you. Oh, we bought his date, you mean? I thought you meant about going to the toilet. <laughs> Message on the bottom. Merry Christmas, John and crew. Lots of love from Lisa and Rio uh, in Lincolnshire. I think a lot of you are doing Christmas messages today because if you've got family, you're not going to be putting me on in the morning, are you, tomorrow? Merry Christmas, John and team. I hope you have a great time. Thank you, Dean. Dean in Northamptonshire. Uh, got Lynette answers X-ray fabric for my Baffa. Oh, Baffa hold it together bag. Oh, yes, see what you mean now. Uh, what a bargain. Yes, Jill, wasn't it? Way too cheap. There is still some available, but it won't be around for long, I'm sure. Sure. Anyway, back to this. Oh, they beautiful. I love those colours. So it comes in like the kind of wedgwoody blue, the tan, the lovely rich pink and the kind of taupe. Beautiful, aren't they? They're gorgeous. I think this must be my favourite tilde out of all of them. Uh, Karen says, morning, John. Just get my food prepped. Loving the sparkly shirt. Well, it's Christmas Eve, Karen. Du, 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 du. Strictly, I've done it soon. I don't know, was it Strictly? I'm just auditioning for next year, you see. No. 79.99, beautiful. Mm? Morning, John. I know you and Hannah are on tomorrow, but who else is with you? Tina, it's Jeremy Joe tomorrow. Jeremy Joe, and he's already moaning. He's already complaining. Yep. Well, I said, because we've got to unpack. When we finish the show tomorrow, we have to unpack. We have to pack away tomorrow's show, and then we have to unpack Boxing Day's show, you see. 
Uh, and Stuart's in on Boxing Day. And so we have to unpack. So I said to him, make sure you're in on time because we unpack in the morning. So we got, you know, we can get away because I've got to drive all the way up north, haven't I, after the show tomorrow. Uh, anyway, he was like, oh, Kat said I could be coming later. Kat's his sister, who's the other pro producer. At Kat's not even working tomorrow. Kat's having her first Christmas at home with Liam, her boyfriend, in their new house. That's really sweet. They're going to spend the morning together. And then do they go, then they go to their separate parents for the dinner in the afternoon. Because she said, don't keep Jeremy Joe here too long because you'll have to wait for a dinner. Anyway, I th oh, it'd be so nice when it's their first Christmas morning in the house together. Have you got, oh no, you won't have stuff at your house tomorrow, will you? Oh. He's got a definite move-in date. Hannah's moving her boyfriend in with her. He's got a moving-in date. She's taking the day off specially. She's taking the day off specially, so when he gets to the door, she goes, that can go in the shed, that can go in the shed, that can go in the shed. At 79.99. Oh, he'll be all, uh, he'll all discombobulated, won't he? Anyway, beautiful. Oh no, where's that going to go? Put it in the garden. Yeah, oh dear. Hannah, who had a, a best friend as a flatmate who wouldn't let her bring any bunting in and wouldn't let her sit on the sofa, right? She's moving her boyfriend in now, and he said, well, of course, I'm bringing him a punch bag, and what else would he say? He's bringing all these things. She, she said she's going to be more understanding, but it won't go. If it's not the right colour scheme. But have you given him a room to put his things in? The yoga and dressing room. You mean your spare room, which you've got a very posh orange velvet foot on, that one. Okay, right, moving on. Design role. Windy days. Now, I'm not going to open this. This is the same fabrics I've just shown you, but in the design role. Only launched this week. $64.99. Um, I can't. Have we got an open picture of this by any chance? It's just this one here. It's just the fabrics you've just seen, but in a, a design role. I'll put it in shot. Oh, all of Jesse's cameras are frozen. You could be stuck with me like this for the rest of the day. There you go. There it is. Morning, John. I'm a massive Tilda fan. How many of Tone Finnegan's collections? Oh, have many. Have many of Tone Finnegan's collections. <coughs> Sixty-four ninety-nine. Moving on. Make sure you check out your baskets on that one. Now, these are fat quarters, but in little, but little bundles. Look, so I've got a blue. I've got a natural. Well, I'll, I'll see what she's called them actually. Which one do you want first? This one here, uh, ending twenty-seven. Yeah. What's the matter with the camera? Oh no, all the cameras are frozen. But anyway, so what you get is you get five blue fat quarters for £22.99. £22.99 for five windy days in blue. So you get the signature one and then four of the floral ones. Sorry about the picture, it's just that our cameras are frozen. We're just trying to sort that out. Oh, and the keyboard has just completely stopped working. It's a good, it's good, isn't it? Good the day that Elliot has a lie in. Elliot! $22.99. Beautiful, aren't they? I can't, I can't even show you them. Um, I can't flick through them because the cameras have all stopped working. Oh, we're back. There you go, look. Beautiful, aren't they? Look. 
And these are the ones you'll get. I'm saying that because in a minute I'm going to show you something a bit different. Judith. Merry Christmas, John on Strictly. I'd be glued to the TV. Love Judith. I'd only be in week one. I'd be out at the end of week one. And also, you, you know, they all get paid. I didn't know this on Strictly, right? They all get paid the same money. But then if you last past week four, it, I'll tell you, they get 25 grand, right? And if you last past week four, you get 40 grand. And then if you get into the final, if you get into the final, you get 75 grand. That's if you want the celebrities. Gorgeous. Whereas the other one, apparently on the ice dancing, they're all on different money, aren't they? Big Brother, they're all on different money, aren't they? Moving on. Oh, is it because it's ITV and BBC? I didn't even think that. Right, next one. This one's lovely. I think this is lovely, this one, look. This is the red one. Or oh, pink, red and pink it's called. Red and pink, that one. This is the most popular one. So far. So far. Twenty-two ninety. Oh, now Hannah. The, uh, write this down. John, remind me about message. There's yes. Gorgeous twenty-two ninety-nine. What, I think so. What's the next, next bit of it? Yeah. Twenty-two ninety-nine. Moving on. Moving on. Right, now, what are these two called? Grey and teal or camel and coral? <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh, camel and coral. It sounds like two old ladies from down the road, doesn't it? This is camel and coral. Yeah, second seat in from the end. Lovely though, weren't they? Lo says, good morning from the Isle of Skye. Blimey, she's getting around in her motorhome this Christmas. She was in Loch, where's Loch Ness yesterday? Yeah, she went for a swim. And yes, all the paparazzi came out thinking they found the Loch Ness monster. Boom, boom. I'm here all week. Well, I'm not. I'm only here tomorrow. 22.99. I'm, I'm doing those things on my feet, Hannah. You know the detox things you put on your feet? I'm doing those. Right, so they're from Japan. And they're, they're white, big white plasters. And you put them on the bottom of your feet. And all night, it, it draw what? It, it draws all the toxins out of your body, right? And they're black the next morning. Oh, it's not, not doing anything. Well, I feel better for it. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you, because you've ruined it now, because I was feeling much better. I feel awful now. 22.99. Why do so many people use them if they don't work then? Oh, that was though. That was that version. Mine's from Amazon. Maureen says, "Very Merry Christmas to all the staff that bring the Sewing Street program to us all." Lo says, "I'm cheeky." Well, okay, I've, you've put me off now because I've just ordered my second batch. I've done a little poll. I've ordered them in bulk. He doesn't do the toxin things. He's, he does. Yeah, whatever. She's backtracking now. I only did it last night. If you told me before, I wouldn't have ordered them. Yeah. I, um, I, ordered, I ordered, my new order was those and some um, grumpy gardener bird food. Well, it's, it's this bird food they mix with peanut butter. So it's like a big jar and you screw it into a big flower. And, well, I'm frightened you would if you came round. Right, last one of these, last one of these. This is lovely. This one is called Grey and Teal. No. Twenty two ninety nine. Okay. 
Beautiful colours. No, I don't think I'll be trying that one. But then you see, last night I was thinking when I was putting the plus on, um, when I worked on this morning, Denise, you remember the lovely Denise, the agony aunt, Denise Robertson, she had this foot spa thing and she used to put her feet in it at, after the show <coughs> and let the water all bubble away and it would turn, the water would turn black and like oily and everything and she said that was all the toxins coming out of her feet. Maybe they're not, maybe they're rubbish. Anyway, moving on. Now, am I going to do, oh no, I've got these. Uh, what am I doing next? These. Now, I'm surprised there are any of these left because these always sell out. <coughs> Five inch charm pack, 19.99. 19.99 for five inch charm packs. How many did you get there? 40 in there. Only been on once before. Do you know what? Oh, no, there it is. I was going to say I didn't see the signature pattern in there. 19.99. You get 40 five-inch squares. Not 45. They're all five-inch squares and you get 40 of them. Nineteen, nineteen, Gorgeous. Make sure you don't miss out on those, though. They fly out, especially on the windy days. Oh, Gorgeous, 19.99. If you all put your sprouts on, ready for tomorrow afternoon. Oh, Jesse likes sprouts. I don't think we're having sprouts. Nineteen ninety nine. I rang her up the other day. I sent her a text. Any in? She's like, Can I call you? She went. She went You're not test positive, have you? And I said no, because she's made all these special vegetarian and vegan -y meals for me and Alex. Alex is already there because she's had her operation on the back. But um, and she was like, oh, well, you know, not worried that I was ill, but that that she'd cooked all this stuff. I'm going to babysit for an hour now. Wishing everyone and watching and working a wonderful Christmas. That's from Gerardine. Thank you, Gerardine. Have a lovely time with the grandchild. Oh, Vix came in with Maisie yesterday. She's turning into such a gorgeous little character. She's going to be walking soon. She was in there, round, like crawling everywhere. 1999. And then Vix went out to the car and Kat was like, oh, I'll look after her, I'll look after her. And she, as soon as Kat picked her up, she started crying. Kat was like, oh, this is... Mm, mm. 1999, and then within minutes, Vix had put up a picture of her out drinking somewhere. <coughs> Sprouts have been on since June, so they'll just be ready by tomorrow, says Margaret. Who was it used to say that? Was that Victoria Wood? Somebody used to say, put the Sprouts on in June. Oh, no, it was what's name in the morning, wasn't it? You, the woman that did the Vanessa Felt show in the morning before she did, from Game for a Half Lady. What was she called? No, they've got no idea what I'm talking about. Best wishes to all, says Anne. Great shirt. Thank you very much indeed. Now, the reason I'm wearing this one today, it actually sparkles. These are sparkles. Oh, there you go. You can just see them sparkling, right? Um, I'd normally wear this one on Christmas Day, but we were supposed to have a Christmas party, and I bought a new shirt for the Christmas party, and we didn't have a Christmas party, so I'm going to wear my new Christmas party shirt tomorrow. Okay? And they're not. That's a different, that's a different company. Our warehouse, our, uh, what day is it? No, no, our warehouse aren't in today. Right. No, hang on, no, it's Christmas Eve. No, they are in today, our warehouse. They are, yeah. Next. Right, now you see this here. It's still in the bag because I didn't understand it, right? This is a mystery bundle. Now, yes, it is a considered purchase, but look at all these that you get here, right? Now, I need to explain, right? <coughs> these are from, they're not, this is not Windy City. Windy days, I mean, windy days. These are from all different Tilda ranges. You definitely get five bundles. You definitely get 50 fat quarters. So you'll definitely get a purple bundle. You'll definitely get a pinky bundle. You'll definitely get a blue bundle. You'll definitely get a plum bundle. And you'll definitely get a teal bundle. But they could be any Tilda. These are put together by Tilda not by us. So you will definitely get, if you look, can you look at that from the top, Jess? You will definitely get 
it will look like this when it arrives. You'll get a purple, a blue, a pink, a teal, and a plum, right? But within those, you might not get that one. You know what I mean? They have bundled them together. They're all the same quality, the same size, the same designer, but they are mystery. But you'll definitely get a purple bundle, which could be made of um, five, oh, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, ten. Sorry, ten purple ones. But it could be t any ten purple from any range of Tilda. Ten blue. Uh, but they're all gorgeous. Now, there are some in here that we've never even had the ranges of. Some of them are, you'll recognise. Because, look, there, there's the um, Duck City or whatever that one was called. Goose Town or whatever it was called. But then I've never seen that one before, you see. But some, you oh, yeah, we've definitely seen the Paisley one, you see. So uh, yours might not be the same prints that you're seeing here but you'll definitely get 50 in those five different colourways. Morning, John and team. Sarah Kennedy, thank you very much indeed, Kerry. That was it. Now, it works out. We've taken five pounds off, right? It works out at what? Less than three pounds a fat quarter. And you know that hers are four pounds upwards normally. So you can get it on split pay. Look, two payments of 72.47. Fabulous, aren't they? Wendy. Hi, John and team. Sitting there peeling sprouts. Watching the show. Merry Christmas, you Wendy and Staffs. Oh, have a lovely... How many are you doing? Are you doing the cross at the end? I used to have to do that when I was little. That was one of my jobs. Doing... Well, you take, you, take the, you take the outside leaves off, don't you? And then you do a cross in the stalk so that the stalk cooks. And then my dad... Uh, it's quite a long story, but my dad, who was in the RAF, thought he was immortal, got cancer... Survived it, was fine, survived it and everything. But after that, realised he wasn't immortal. So he started doing all the things that he'd never done in his life. So he learned to play the piano, he learned to play golf, and he went on a cookery course, right? So, because he couldn't cook to save his life beforehand. Um, so from that time on, he used to cook all the Christmas dinners. But we, blimey, they're very noisy upstairs. <laughs> um, so we didn't just have straightforward carrots or straightforward sprouts. We always had sprouts with water chestnut and we had carrots with something else. and the soup was always like stilton and something and something soup so it was like proper called on bleu cookery i couldn't eat off it but it, you know it was still there oh hang on let's have a look then merry christmas happy new year to you all at saying street will you be selling winter days by the half meter ina ina how are you i've got a friend called ina retrack um She's in Warrington, where my dad used to work in the bank. And when he left the RAF, I told that story yesterday and they gave him a bowler hat. Uh, all, of the, all of the Windy Days is on the website, not on today's show. You need to go into the actual website website, search Tilda, and you'll find all of them by the half metre in there. We haven't got them on today's show, but you can get them there. Right, hang on, I'll put those back in the bag so we don't get those muddled up with anything. Yeah, so I've got brand new fabrics now. Now, I don't know how they all fitted in there. <laughs> right, this is brand new bundle. Oh, no, that doesn't go with it. So you get your little ladybugs on red. You get your zebra. Not quite sure how that fits into bugging out. You get your big, lovely, gorgeous, juicy, no, not juicy, juicy bugs there. Then you get a board, I'm presuming this is a border print, plus you get a panel. Look, so I'll show you the panel. The panel's included in this, isn't it? Yep. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, oh, oh, wrong way up, John. They look very happy, these bugs, don't they? Little do they know that they're going to be caught and put into jam jars. So, we've got, oh, I was going to name them. I don't know what they are. <laughs> Did you hear about that, that centipede they found? Prehistoric centipede that they found, right? And it was something like six metres long. It was huge and big and round like that. It's not alive. It's a fossil. It's a fossil. That's one of those, isn't it, that does the business and then bites their head off. Yeah. Is it, though? Spider, ladybird. Well, is that a ladybird? Because it's got an awful lot of legs. A wiggle bug, that one's called. Isn't it? Dung beetle. It's looking downwards, that one. That's why you can't see its face. Very happy one there. 
Oh, look at that one with the eyes there. Anyway, they're cute, aren't they? Oh, that's where the zebra sort of bit comes in, look. Okay, so you get the panel. How much is it? Hang on. £37.95. pounds. You get the panel. You get half a metre of the border print. That's this one. There you go. But look, they're doing jars along there. Gaynor says, good morning and team. Alan's waiting for his ham and hash brown sandwich to be delivered. What, by the butler, Alan? What's happened to that screen there? Oh, it's all right now. My preview screen has gone very, very pale. It doesn't matter, I can still see it. But it's not me. No, no, it's fine, Jesse. I can see. Oh, it's gone back to normal now. Right. Then you get half a metre of your big ladybugs. I'm bugging out. I want the world to know. Oh, it's done it again. Got to let it show. Right. I'm bugging out. Who's that? Is that Diana Ross? I think it was, isn't it? I'm coming out. I want the world to know. Got to let it show. Wait a minute. I haven't done the bundle yet. <laughs> that is a bit bored with my presentation. So now we can do all of those by the half metre. Which one would you like to do first? They're all called that. Right, this one here. By the half meter on its own, brand new today. I'm bugging out. I want the world to know. I'm sure we're not allowed to be singing it that many times. Uh, it's 6 99 for half a meter. 100% cotton, 44 inches wide, machine washable. Just as yes, well. Okay. This is called Multi Ladybird, this one. Oh. Just keep looking at that fabric a minute. Yeah, there's a lot of noise from upstairs, isn't there? Oh, I could just want somebody was by that window. Christmas fairies out. <laughs> Yes, Sewing Street, past, future and present. Right, so that's the Ladybird one. Next one. Zebra, it, must, well, it can't be zebra print, it must be tree bark. Yeah, but we've called, we've done those. Zebra print, I think it's meant to be tree bark, where the, where the bugs live, isn't it? Love seeing you on this morning. No, Lucy, I don't work on this morning anymore. I work here on Sewing Street. I think she means love seeing you this morning here. Such a beautiful... So here you go. I don't know what she's watching. Such a beautiful ray of sunshine. When are you getting your cats? Oh, I don't know yet. Well, it's a long story, but our friend Cherry, do you know, Cher you know Cherry, don't you? She's got a little boy who's not very well. He's got a few breathing issues. And they think the cat, the cats are making them breathing. So I said... Uh, I'll take the cats off her hands for six months, just foster them to start with. And if it is causing Rue to have his breathing, then obviously I'll keep them. But if it's not that, then she can have them back. But we can't work out a date when I'm going to get them. They're called, oh, I found out the names. They're called Luther and Ghost, apparently. Named by Cherry's two little boys, stepsons. Two little boys, stepsons. Six ninety nine. What? Where have you got that from? Okay, apparently it's zebra. I don't know what I'm looking at there. Zebra, because the zebra stripes on a zebra ward off blood sucking insects. On actual zebras, not, not on the print, on the actual zebras. Never knew that. Next. Red one. The little baby bugs, this one. 44 inch wide, machine washable, quilting weight. So I can't believe it's only 6 99 This one's just called Multi. Nice, isn't it? What are you going to make out of it? Six 
six ninety nine. Beautiful. Moving on. Moving on. So I've got now the border print. So please note when you buy this that the, the, the fabric, obviously this, these are the selvages here, so the fabric comes down like that. So if you're going to make a skirt out of it, or you could make a skirt out of it, you'd have to cut it across the fabric, not down the fabric. So that's it, that's how it'll come. I'll turn it this way up now so you can see the different pictures. So why is it there then? Because that's not a zebra. And then the panel, the panel on its own. Now, if you buy two of these, all of that, you're buying off the bolt. So if you buy three meters of it, it'll come in a meter piece. This one are individual. So if you buy three of them, they're already cut like this. They're very happy bugs. Okay, and Hannah's making up a song. Nine ninety nine. The panel is sixty centimeters by one hundred and forty four. Beautiful. Nine ninety nine. Okay. Oh, go go for a break. Hang on a sec. Was there anything I wanted to show you? Yeah, the quilted PU bundle. I'll do that very quickly before we go for a break. Oops. There you go. These, it's a bundle. You're saving five pounds, right? You get champagne, you get pink, you get silver, and you get ivory. Half a metre of each. This is that really lovely soft PU. Twelve pound ninety-six. Gorgeous. Right. Do not go anywhere. Catherine Wright is here after break. Now the first hour is all about uh, the stripology squared off ruler, but this is what she's made using hers. Aren't they beautiful? But I've got those fab those panels. I've got about three panels and a few fabrics to choose from in the hour, as well as the stripology rulers. I've also got the big one and the little one. Which one was Wendy showing on Monday? Did she have the big one on Monday? She had the extra large. I've got the extra large one that Wendy did on Monday. I've got the squared off one and I've got the mini one today as well. Uh, me and Catherine, Catherine and I, no, Catherine and I, will see you in four minutes from now. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting and of course applique, which is my favourite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. Hi, I'm Lisa Lamb. I'm the quiet one from the Sewing Cropperty Girls. I just wanted to wish you a safe, warm and wonderful Christmas with your loved ones. 
I hope Santa brings you loads and loads of crafty goodies and I look forward to being back on the show in 2022. Take care everyone, love you loads, bye! Mwah. Hello there, it's Mark Francis here and I've just popped up to wish a very Merry Christmas to all of you, our Sewing Street family. And uh, by the way, Happy Easter. Really long show this, really long. Hi everyone, I just wanted to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you so much for supporting me throughout this, this last year. It's been quite a testing year for everybody. And I bet I look forward to seeing you all in the new year. I'm back on on the 9th of January and I cannot wait to bring you some new ideas and things to do. Thank you so much for your support and happy Christmas. Lots of love, Beth. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Catherine's here in a hat. There she is. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> will that will the cat the cat will the hat last the whole day? Yeah, I'm boiling already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're, it's freezing in here as well. Right, okay. What this hour is all about is your stripology rulers. We have not had them in stock for ages and ages and ages. Wendy Orlando did the great big one on Monday, so if you want to have a look at that, I've got it available in a minute, so I'll show you that in a minute. But it, uh, Wendy's done a demonstration of her, the big one on Monday. We have got this one today, the non-slip stripology squared, which Catherine's going to use in today's show. Has not been in stock for months, this one. £44.99. pence Means you can cut your strips like you normally do, but you can also square off and everything like that. We'll show you more about it later. But it's back in stock. Also, it comes with a little um, brochure-y, pamphlet -y thing with it. But also, if you go to the Creative Grids um, website, there will be videos and tutorials on there on how to use it as well. So if you missed anything from today or you've got a specific question that we don't cover, then you can just go there and see it there. But it's back in stock and whenever it comes in stock, it arrives, it sells out. It arrives, it sells out. It arrives, it sells out. £44.99. pence. Oh, right. So all the cameras have crashed again. That's all we need. OK, there you go. Jan says, good morning, John. I did hear you, but I fell asleep again. That's all right, Jan. You're allowed to. It's Christmas Eve. You've been very busy knitting and sewing. Anyway, it's £44.99. pence. Are the cameras working? Can I move it? OK, I've also got the little one. I've also got the little one today. There you go. There's the little one. Also just back in stock, this one won't be demoed this morning, £36.99, but it's back in stock, we wanted to show you, so as soon as it came back in, we wanted to show it to you, that's the six and a half inch one, whole inch, half inch and eighth inch increments, got a fifu for this, it's perfect, what do you need, and easy to follow, Tracy in Hampshire, thank you Tracy. So we sent one in as well. 
Creative Grids, enough said. Quality as always. There you go. Thank you, Zoe. I agree. And one last one from Linda. Means more than beautiful in Portuguese. Good for a beginner. I have problems cutting straight. Oof, Linda, don't we all? Not with this, you won't. What's a transparency app? See right through, look, it just says there, scan with the transparency up. No, no, you don't need to say it. Right, okay, now, before we go to Catherine to do some sewing and some cutting and everything, let me show you what she's going to be working with. I've got three panels, right? Now, I've got a bundle. I'll do the bundle first. All three, you make a saving of 15% if you buy all three. We haven't put the original price on. Hummingbird and flower shop. Oh, hang on, should there be only two? Okay. Oh, these are from Hummingbird. This is from Flower Shop. So that doesn't make that weird. £32.27. You're getting a 15% saving there if you buy all three. I'll open them because you're not going to spend £32 not having seen them, are you? So there's this one, first of all. Oh, crack, it's enormous. Oh, that's the one that Catherine used for... Look, isn't that beautiful upside down, John? There you go. Oh, so that's one panel. Very fancy, isn't it? That's lovely. So that's the big panel there. Oh, I love that. I think that's beautiful. Then we've got the panel of squares. Again, beautiful. I've not, are these brand new? I've not seen these before. Lovely. So you're buying all three of these in this bundle. That big one underneath, the square one. And then this one here is called Flower Shop. Oh, look, so cute. Oh, so I've just turned it what well, I thought was the right way up. And of course, it's, it's going round like that, isn't it? So you get all three of those for £32.27, saving 15%. Uh, morning, John and Catherine. Loving, loving Catherine's hat, very festive, says Andy Lynn. Right, so that's all three of those for 32 pounds. She'll be taking off in a minute. She's sweating like a, I don't know where. <laughs> uh, no, ladies glow, don't they? Don't sweat. <laughs> so 32, 27 for all three of those. Which one would you like to do on its own first? This one. Beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Hummingbird Heaven by Jennifer Brindley. 100% cotton. It's massive, this. £22. Tw it's almost a metre, look. 90 centimetres. Yeah, so really, you could just cut this out and quilt it, couldn't you? Which is what I did. Oh! I did some Freemason on it. Did you? I did. Oh. We'll have a look at that. Oh, there it is. There you go. Of course, Jessie's put it up sideways again. Jesse, what was wrong with you this morning? No, look at the flowers, look at the stems. Anyway, there you go, that's right way up. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's not even Jesse's picture, that's mine. Beautiful, aren't they? Your fox gloves and your big, what are those ones that the hummingbirds like in San Diego? Lilac. La oh, lilac is in there. What's that one that I never can remember the name of? Hibiscus, that's it. Oh, nasturtiums. Oh, which ones? Oh, these, I've got these in my garden, these in orange. I've got those in my garden. They're very hardy, whatever they are, yeah. Beautiful, 22, that's lovely, isn't it? 22 pounds on its own. Hannah had some little industrial unit at the bottom of her garden and it's killed all the plants in her garden. They've gone now, though. They've gone. They got arrested. Right. OK, so that's that one for 22. Then we've got this matching one here, which is cute as. Now, remember, if you, bu if you buy two of these, they don't come joined together. They come already cut. That's lovely, isn't it, that one with all the squares on it? I went... The measurements of the square. Six inches. Six inch squares they are. 
Make lovely coasters, wouldn't they? Oh, funny you should say that. Do people still use coasters, Jesse? Oh, you must live like a slob <laughs> if you don't have coasters. Just while well, Jesse didn't take a picture of this one, because you'd have it, it'd be that way up, wouldn't it? <laughs> Are you taking a picture of this? Where is it? It's on the. It's on the. Let's have a look at the picture. It's upside down. It's <laughs> it is upside. Jesse, look. Let me just show you, Jesse, right? This is a bird. It flies like that. It doesn't fly like that. Anyway. The panel is gorgeous. That's all I'm going to say. Beautiful colours. They're kind of, they're kind of the colours you're going to look at and they'll be uplifting. Nine ninety nine. Hummingbird Heaven, this one's called. Remember, if you buy more than one, they do not come joined together. Okay. And then last but not least, now I don't think this is the same make, the flower shop. Got flowers on it. This one is by Jim Ishikawa for Clothworks. Beautiful again though, aren't they? Look. So you get your two, you get your big square in the middle. And then you also get your two at the bottom. And you two at the top. It mine is upside down, sorry. There you go. There you go. So you get your sunflowers, your roses. I'm calling them sunflowers. Oh yeah, sunflowers, yeah. And then at the bottom here, your irises and other roses there. Beautiful, 10 99 that panel. Ten pounds and ninety-nine pence. Beautiful. Right, very quickly, I've just got some solid fabrics here to introduce you and then we'll get on with some cutting and some sewing. So, say again. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Right, so this is a bundle. What have they called it? Brights? Um, would I called it bright, would you? Mm. Right, so you get half a metre of the green splodge. <laughs> you get half a metre of the... Oh. That's got a splodge in it as well, different kind of splodge. Half a metre of the aqua, half a metre of the dark rose. There, that's my mixer there. That one and this one's shadow. Then you get solid aqua, solid dark rose and solid ivory. No, cream or vanilla. I don't think we sent you these colours though, did we? No. Anyway, 17 96 that bundle. Fabulous. Right, shall we get on with, so we sent you this Tripology Square, didn't you we? You did. And what did you do with it? Uh, I unpacked it and read the instructions first. Good. They are lovely. No, they actually are really good instructions. Uh -huh. That is always a useful thing, isn't it? Yeah. If you kind of open it up and you can think, oh yeah, I'll look, I know what I'm doing. Um, so, but as you say, there is the little app you can go on and you can watch them demo it on um, their YouTube channel as well. Yeah. Um, so, I really like this. It's a good size. Mm -hmm. Not too unwieldy. Some no. of them are massive, aren't they? Yeah. To, but this is a nice one. I think this is my, of all the rulers have sent me in the last however many years, um, I think this might have been my favourite oh, one. Oh, bold and, and statement. The one, well, the one that I can really see would be useful all the time yeah. for doing things. Because you can not only cut all your strips, you can cut squares and square things off really nicely. So I'm going to show you how to cut out your squares on the panel. Right. But if you bear in mind, if you've done things like half square triangles and you're squaring them up, it'll be really useful for that as well. Mm -hmm. There's always a lot of squaring up on half square triangles. Well, if you think about it, on all blocks, there's a lot of squaring up, yeah. isn't there? Because you, you want to keep it each block you want to be as precise as possible because if you don't bother about that when you come to actually sew the whole quilt together the whole thing could be absolutely off couldn't and, it? and when you're using your mat and your ruler you've always got that people always ask me you know which bit of the line do i go against whereas this is you can't go wrong it's all done for you so yeah. it's going to massively help you you've got um half inch um and uh, at every half inch you've got a slot basically for cutting uh, and then so they're obviously, 
hopefully you can see them yep. they're numbered along but you've also got these little stars and little squares and they're really helpful so if you're for example got to cut one and a half inch strips you just follow the stars because they're placed every one and a half inches so Which you haven't got to add it up well sometimes you can you think oh it's only adding one and a half but actually sometimes you can get to four and a half and you'll go to six or, or well, you're supposed to go to six but you go to the rock <laughs> yes you know it's really one and a half you can, don't always get exactly yeah and right. i do all this like counting lines yes it takes all that away yeah um and then your your uh square is every two and a half so that's like a, des a, a design roll like a jelly roll absolutely so really good from that point of view and then you've got your squares marked on as well and they are every half inch size as well from three inches upwards right okay so it turns out that this lovely this this is my favorite one i love irises and daffodils oh, okay and did you know it's only 90 days till spring oh is it? well it'll be less now because that was on the winter solstice it'll be 88 oh I'm yeah because down. We, i always go december 21st all summer's on its way but actually that's the first official day of winter isn't it yeah but it doesn't matter because the days are going to start getting longer exactly now. so we can start thinking about spring so i thought i'd choose the spring one so it took this is actually a nine inch square um printed thing yeah because you've got your diagonals you can line those up with the points as well. So you know you're going to be really nice and straight. You know what? I don't actually think the panel's straight. <laughs> we'll go as good as we can. Okay. <laughs> okay. So find your slot. I would recommend having a lovely new rotary cutter blade because when you go through these, they're quite, because it's a really sturdy ruler, it's quite deep. Yes. And if you've got a really nice sharp blade, it will just make that cutting oh, so yes. much Oh yes, and easier. also don't use a rotary, you know some rotary cutters where you're, you don't actually get the blade that you, you press it down and the blade comes out. You can't use one of those on this ruler, can you? No, I don't think that would work, no. no. Because no, you, you've got to just, be able to yeah. put it into the slot yeah, like exactly. that, you see. Yeah. So start it right at the bottom. You've got a slightly bigger, it's almost teardrop shape at the bottom there. Mm -hmm. to pop your rotary cutter in. And then you just follow your line up. And then without having to move it, you can go and do your other side. And this is what's really good. We'll do some strips in a moment. Is that you're not having to move things around a lot, which again makes it more accurate because you're not having yeah. to reposition mm. it and line it up. Now, I didn't put a really new rotary oh, blade no. in. And do you know what, John? I thought to myself at home, I need to do that before I leave, leave the craft centre. And I was so busy picking up my beef from the butcher and all the rest. Oh, no. That I you have forgot. beef for Christmas dinner? Well, we have. We have a bit of a carver in our house. Oh. We have a turkey crown and we have beef. Fine. Because I'm not a very big fan of turkey but, and everyone likes beef. It's funny, beef. isn't it? There's so many people and they go, oh, I don't really like turkey. And yet, oh, Han Hannah likes turkey curry the next day if anyone ever invites her around the next day. Okay. It's at the bottom here. It's because my piece is actually... A little bit bigger than the ruler, so I'm just going to okay. trim that bit off there. Okay. All right, but you can see them nice and straight here. Now, I can just turn it round to do the other side, because you can only go in one direction. Uh-huh. By Valentine's Day, it'll be light at five o'clock. Happy Christmas, says Anne. Exactly. It's be, true. It's nice, it? isn't it? And then, good morning all. Have a wonderful Christmas, says Carol. We will, Carol, and you too. Okay, so we'll get that nice and squared up. Mm -hmm. And then off we go again. We used to keep chickens and you could really tell when it was getting lighter because chickens put themselves to bed when it gets dark. Oh, do they? Yeah, they do. And by, so by sort of mid end of January, they were starting to get later and later that they would go into their, their little coop. Oh, well, we've got avian flu at the moment, haven't we? Well, that's true. Can't I haven't got chickens that. anymore. No, oh, haven't you not? No. Sam Sabido, hasn't he? She has to keep, she has to keep all the kitch yeah. kitchens, not our kitchens, the chickens. Locked away at the moment. So what are you doing now then? So I'm going to cut some strips. We're going to make a nice little border. Right. Um, I'm going to do a braided border. Oh. Because I did think some, uh, these larger ones, that larger one there, would be really nice as like a centre of a medallion quilt and just do lots of nice borders around. Mm. And this is brilliant for doing borders. Okay. Because you can cut your strips to fit, you can cut um, pieces to fit. So we'll do a bit of a braided border, I think. Right. So I've decided these pieces that I'd already cut, there we go. Oh, I'm going to put that in shot, yeah. <laughs> um, are four inches by two inches. Right. 
So we will cut some strips. And is that a braided border then? Is that what this that is? This is the start of it. Okay. Yes. Because it's quite nice to be able to do different borders mm. or different sashing on your blocks, yes. for example. Yeah. I've been having a good old tidy up at the craft centre. Found <laughs> so many blocks that just need putting together into quilts and things. Oh, yeah. I just need to do some, you know, do some nice mm. sashing, don't I? Yeah. So, because your numbers go along this way, you're having to work from left to right. Right. I usually work the other way. So you just, but you know, each to their own. It tells you to cut it, to fold it into, into four. So let me ju just show you how I folded it. Right. And it does tell you this in the instructions, to fold it in half, fold it in half again. And then to cut along. So I'm just making sure it's all lined up with my mat. Uh -huh. Line that up with my edge there. And we're going to go, we'll go two inches. That's what I was doing, wasn't I? So I'm going to go in the number two. Save number so four. much time because if you were doing this with a normal ruler. I'd be having to move it along every, every time. time exactly. You know, and there I've got three strips that I know are all the same. Yes, exactly. Brilliant. Yeah. <coughs> all my ladies in the patchwork group who's going to be wanting all these. Good. <laughs> well, tell them they come in stock and they fly out. Okay, we'll just open those out. And then we're going to put these into four inch pieces. So I'm just going to, I'm going to position it so I've got a line across the top so I know it's nice and square, but I'm going to trim off this rough edge on the zero. Uh-huh. Because it's quite a nice weight as well, you don't have to press down that no. hard. So when you cut, when you're cutting conventionally, I think people, especially when they're starting, don't have to press much harder than they realise. Yes. Oh, yes. You have to yes, put yes, quite yes. your weight into mm. the ruler. Whereas this, because it's weighted down, because it's... A, but also, nice it also chunky, has it works. the Creative Grids non-slip. Well, it does, so it doesn't move well. around. Absolutely, but it's, it's on every single strip as well. It isn't is. It, it is. Yeah. So let's find that number four, and then we'll go again at number eight. There we go. Look at that lovely little stack, all the same. Brilliant. It's so speedy. Is your braid going to be all cream then? No, it's not. I've got some other ones so I've cut there. Oh, okay. Some pink, because I was practising. <laughs> <laughs> Thing is, so it's not only a precision ruler, it's also a time-saving ruler as well. Because imagine totally. if you're doing, if you open up a thing and it says, make 144 squares or cut 144 squares or cut this many squares, four square, half square triangles or anything, the thought of actually doing it with a ruler must be a bit kind of like... Yes. Oh, I'll do that tomorrow. Yes. Whereas this way, you know, you can put your fabric down, you can have cut your strips. And it's like like Jenny Jackson. When she does her EPP, she works out how wide the strip she needs is. Yeah. And then she put to save fabric. And then she puts her cardboards on it. If you're doing a huge quilt with lots of little hexes, or lots, yes. you could just cut all your strips like this. Absolutely. And then cut, use it to cut your own. Oh, yeah. So it's, it's useful not just for machine piecing. Yes. No, 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 no anything. exactly. Um, Anything that you might need small pieces yeah. for. You and know? as you say, sashing for things and binding and all that sort of thing. It's just going to, and it makes each piece is going to be exactly the same size. It is. So it's going to be really accurate. Real, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So right. I've got my four by two inch pieces. Right. And they literally go at right angles how, to right, each okay, other. Do you want me to show how to start? Well, it only because I've got no idea. I can understand where you're going to go now, but I could not can't understand where you start it. That was all. Sorry. So your first one is like that. So oh. we're going short end yeah. and part way along like that. Oh, that's that's it. So that's your first one. Oh, okay. And then once you've done that, you just start working down each side. Okay. Like I'll let so. you carry on there. I just didn't know where you started with yeah. it. Yeah. So it, it's it's not difficult. It's one of those lovely things. As much patchwork is, yeah. it looks more complicated than yeah. it really is. But it's quite but nice because it's going to look very impressive. Nice it, and effective. Doing. Lost my foot pedal. In fact, I haven't even got it plugged in. Oh, honestly. While you're doing that, I've got a message. There we go. Uh, one of my favourite things is uh, seeing so much colour on Sewing Street, especially when it's grey outside. Really lifts my spirits from Kate in Merseyside. Is it horrible up on the Wirral or in Merseyside? Oh. It was very foggy this morning, oh, wasn't, wasn't it? Oh, was it horrible? It was, really, it was, yeah, not a nice drive no. this morning. This, this is so cheerful. It yeah. just, just sewing it lifts your spirits. Yeah, it? yeah. And I, do you know what I thought? I thought I need a garden room or a conservatory because it would just be so nice to have that in and 
It would feel like yeah, some, it's quite summer. Yeah, expensive to make a table runner. Just and for then a cushion, yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. <laughs> but it would just make make you feel like you were somewhere warm and lovely yeah, just having it, it in your true. room. By half past two in the afternoon, not three o'clock in the afternoon, it's dreary, isn't it? It's that horrible... Yeah dark grey and it just something like that will just Definitely. lift and january it. is a long month yes yeah so some of this and it'll speed by i reckon yeah. right we're just going to use the quarter inch seam and you don't go all the way down oh, okay you're just going to the end of your little piece oh okay so you sew the end of the whole piece but not all the way yes. down to the bottom i'm just going to finger press it for speed yeah so i don't have to keep lifting the board up every time yeah you forgot to switch the iron on didn't you no, I did actually. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll probably do that at the end. Normally I can smell, by now I can smell the iron. <laughs> Go on, that's all. It's the hat, it's thrown me. Yeah, it's the <laughs> hot head. I do like a hat. I wear hats a lot actually. Oh, do you? Yes. I, I think I'm living in the wrong era because I would really like to wear, the, you know, you know how in the olden days you had to wear a hat? Yeah, I'd I'd quite like like it. Poirot, you'd be dressed in you'd dress the extras, and every single one would have yeah. the matching shoe and handbag. They'd all have a hat. They'd all have a hat to ma match the Love coat and everything. Yeah. I've actually got a whole quilt that I did in this. Oh, really? Like rose and rose of it. it looks like, and it looks amazing. So out of a jelly roll. So if you've got a jelly roll, this is a really cool... We've got the new jelly, the new design roll from Tilda this morning. To do with it, because it's it's straightforward. So you just looks, literally leave it two and a half inches, the design roll, and cut it four yeah, or five absolutely. inches, whatever you want yeah, to do. Yeah, you could make them whatever size you wanted. Yeah. I think if it was, yeah, two and a half inches, well, I'd probably make them a five inch strip. And then, really well, I'll ask nice. you in a minute when you've done it. I was going to say, gonna how do you then join more. them together? But I suppose you, right. you trim them down and sash it or something like that. Yes, I shall show Perfect. you. I'm just going to put a couple more on so it's long enough. Amanda says, morning, John, Catherine, and all the crew. I hope you have all the crew. There's only two of them. <laughs> There's, everyone thinks it's uh, Jesse's waving. He's just cricked his neck. Um, I hope you all have a happy Christmas. See you. In, hope to see you in 2022. <gasps> do you know something we don't know? Amanda. I think it's Mabel. Amanda who comes sewing with me. It's what? Amanda who comes sewing at mine sometimes. Has she got a double barreled name? Well, oh. a long name. Amanda no. Catherine Sturgis. Oh, yes, that's Amanda. Yeah. Yes. So I hope to see you, Amanda. I haven't seen you for ages. Yeah, you've terrified Hannah. Hannah thinks she's going to get the sack. She gets the sack. <laughs> We're not telling her yet. We don't want to spoil her Christmas. So obviously I'm just picking that, oh, these up really randomly. Yeah. Um, you can uh, plan your design more sensibly. Well, it's one of those things, if you are doing it with a jelly roll, obviously everything goes, doesn't it? So yes. um, it's okay. Right. I will get find them. Oh. Do you know what? It was there. What, the pressing board? Is that what you kicked oh, when you there, came in? Oh, it's there. It's there. Oh, okay, I knew I'd seen it. Oh, glad she's picked up the nice new one. Oh, yes. Ellie, it's always putting a swanky new one out. Oh, no, he hasn't, he hasn't got, that, that's the trouble. The two bigger ones we've got, have once somebody spilled coffee on one, the other one's filthy and we can't get another one at the moment. Hi, all, as soon as I get new fabric, I use my spirituality to cut two and a half inch strips then put them in my stash for my own fabric roll from Jill in Cambridge. Which is a really good idea yeah. if you've bought the half metre pieces to do that. Because actually the je jelly rolls are not cheap, are they? All right. I know, but they're lovely. No, but you pay, yeah, they're lovely, but you are paying for someone else yes. to cut them for you. Yes. Buy half metre fabric, make your own. I've got two Tilda ones that I bought last January. Oh, yes. Off, off you guys, waiting yeah. to do something. Oh. You see, it's funny, isn't it? Because I, kind of, I always imagine that people buy it and start making it straight away, but then you look on the Facebook fan page, someone goes, look, John, I've just made, oh, I know, there were some gorgeous cushions. Somebody put some gorgeous, I'm sorry, I'm not going to remember your name. Somebody put some gorgeous cushions up today. And I said, oh, I love that panel. And she went, yeah, I bought it from you at Sewing Quarter. You know what I mean? It was the one with the, it was like, uh, what design was it? You'll know, Henry. It's like a black panel and that, Alison Glass, and it's got the colourful circles. And it came in black and it came in white. And I absolutely loved them. I believe they've had it here as well before I came mm, to work nice. here and things, but. Yeah, it goes in the stash, doesn't it? Yeah. It goes in the stash. So what you're going to do when you've made your braid as long as you want to. Right. You are going to square off these ends and get yourself so it wants to go through these pieces so that we're making it straight right 
Oh, use the edge of the edge of the Well, ruler. I've used the edge this yeah, yeah, time, yeah. just because I can line it up. But you so I can line it up where I want it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing. I don't have to get a different ruler out. No, not at all. Okay. So you can see I've now got a nice straight strip. Uh huh. Except I don't think that one's very straight. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't like to say. <laughs> no, it's not straight at all. I've gone wobbly. I haven't, e haven't even had any mulled wine yet. Oh. <laughs> I'm not a big mulled wine fan. You don't hey. drink, I know. I don't drink, no. no. So what did I get from my bosses, my Christmas present? Some Prosecco. <laughs> and then you can attach to your okay. So I'm going to atta I'll attach it and trim it off. And then we can uh, maybe do some straight bits on the other side Lovely. and do some more cutting. I just wanted to show you another sort of board. No, you no, it's do. brilliant. I'm quite, I quite like um, sort of central things where you can go round them. Yeah. They, they grow nice and quickly. <laughs> but you can still do your half square triangles. You can still oh, do your absolutely. pin wheels. You can still do all your blocks. Can't you just keep them, go them round, go round and round with them. Well, it's really nice. Maybe you've d if you do like a border, and then you can do like a little half square triangle block in the corner, yeah, can't you? Yeah. That look always looks really nice. Let's just give that a little press, and then we'll trim it all off. But there's a lot of the, a lot of possibilities with these panels mm. that you could make th what you could make them into they'd be quite nice if you did sort of almost like log cabin around them oh yeah fronts of bags yeah. that would be nice and of course cutting strips for log cabin oh yes because that's all that is is strips isn't it it is yes and bargello as well if you didn't have bargello because all you do is, is cut lots and lots and lots of strips and sew them together so Absolutely. this would be ideal for it. oh wow look. so it looks really nice doesn't it yeah without being a particularly complicated way of doing it. But if you did that for somebody, they think you'd, it, they, it looks complicated, even though it's not complicated. Absolutely. Right. Fantastic. Let's see what colour we've got. We'll put some, well, I like the blue. Let's just measure how big I've actually made that. Uh-huh. One, two, three and a half, so plus my quarter inch, so three and three quarters. Okay, let you go. Um, well done, those of you who got these already. Uh, make sure you pop it in your basket uh, if you're thinking of getting one. We're not at Limited yet because we bought an off. Because what happens is, like I said, we buy, they sell out. We buy, we sell out. So they bought a lot this time. So um, uh, I'm all right at the moment. You're right. Quite a few of you have come in to get these, but we're all right stock-wise at the moment. Now, it actually does tell you. Yeah. There's a little chart here because I've just said three and three quarters and thought, oh, but it only does halves and inches. Yeah. No. Yeah. There's a nice little chart in here that tells you how to cut if you want to cut in quarter inch increments. It gives you a little guide. Yeah. So three and three quarter, I do, um, it, it tells you how much to cut and then how much to move along. Yeah. So it's really good because sometimes if you're doing half square triangles, you don't cut them out solid, like full inch or half inch. Sometimes they are X three quarter. Absolutely. Extra you, get, you get funny little yeah, amounts, exactly. don't you? Uh, Derek says, so true, it all goes in the stash. When I eventually get round to making all the shirts I've planned, I'll need a new wardrobe. Well, yeah, then, but then there'll be room in your other cupboard to put more fabric in. So it tells me to do a first cut the at the seven and a half inch. <laughs> and then uh, squaring up here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then that, I've got to slide my reader to the right and line the edge of the first cut with the quarter inch dotted line on the left. Okay. So I just do that like that. Yeah. And then it tells me to cut at three and a half and eleven. So you haven't got to do loads of working out. One little move. Well, that's what it says on the front. There's no maths because they've done yeah. the maths for you. So as long as you follow so their So make sure you don't throw the instructions yes. away because that little chart is really useful. Yes. Also, when you're cutting normally, you square your fabric off, don't you, with the ruler, then you turn it around and start cutting. But you've just squared that off. Yes, I've done it all it that. With, the, with that there. You with literally one little slide yeah. across, yeah. which is really good. 
So hopefully they'll be the right size now if I read it properly. We'll soon see. <laughs> I hadn't practised that. That was just me quickly oh, reading it. Oh, so dangerous. It is a bit dangerous, isn't it? Mind you, I do that every day, <laughs> so don't worry. <laughs> I think it's going to be okay. I think it'll be all right. Okay. Let's put some side ones on. And I do tend to do this when I do borders as well. I tend to cut it longer, stitch it on, and then trim it to fit. Because okay. just occasionally you do find that a bit of maths has gone wrong somewhere. Yeah. Sometimes in the pattern, we were doing what we did a medallion quilt in our last patchwork class, uh -huh. and there was actually a mistake in the pattern. So we'd done all this border, and then suddenly it didn't fit. Oh no! And not everyone could have done it wrong. Oh. So it's all right. I'm just going to put a pin or two in because it's a little bit longer and it's okay. moving. Uh, so your classes are obviously shut now. When do you reopen? Yes, we open on the fifth of January. Okay. Back open. As long as Boris doesn't make any announcements. I'm staying positive. No, no, I think you have to. I think it'll be, I don't think we'll go into lockdown. I think it'll just be that thing about you can't go to people's houses and two metre. I'm presuming anyway. I mean, I don't know what goes on well, in there. Well, I've got a plan B. If, if, I can't, if I can't open, I've got a plan B. Oh, I think so as long as you've got a plan B. I know, but he can't do that to businesses again, can he, really? Yeah, well, he we hope not. So I, I don't think they will because I don't think they want to give us any more money. No, but also <laughs> everyone's been saying, there's the, it, yes, thousands and thousands of people have got it. But it's actually just like a cold. There's very, very few people who are seriously ill with it. Well, they were saying that on the radio, weren't they? But I don't know. We'll see. They've got only so much evidence. Oh, OK. It's mainly all among the youngsters. Is that at who's the getting moment. it at the moment? Yeah. So it was saying on the radio, yes, there's much less chance. But the, uh, the data they've got is all for people mainly under 40. Well, that's then. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm counting backwards now. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Although there was quite a lot on it on the radio on my way in this oh, morning, I know. as That's you can imagine. Trouble. Have to, you have to stop listening. Turn yeah, I it switch off, off now Don't when the news listen. comes on. Yeah. Don't listen. Just be careful. Yeah. And we'll all be all right, won't we? I reckon. Yeah, of course we will. Having said that, I have made. Um, Cat and, and Elliot do a, a lateral flow test every morning when they come in. Yeah, but that's actually really sensible. I've been doing them. Um, oh no, I you oh, know I, all the yeah, time at the yeah. craft centres because well, the thing is you have to because it's your business and you if, you know you've got people in there and nobody's done it maliciously. Do you know what I mean? No, it's kind uh, of like and and when people are booked on a course, they get emailed in advance just to say what's going to happen. You know what yeah. what's happening. But we do say you know, please think about taking one before you come yeah. because it's just kind of polite yeah, isn't yeah. it and and responsible uh, yeah That's and also it's not just for other people it's just for you like I can leave my house in the morning thinking I know I know I'm clear I know I've got a negative test so I, you, it, you, it's that awful thing about you cough and everyone goes oh starts with a cough you know what I mean or like Hannah sniffed in a way to I, I'm used to it she's sniffled ever since the day I met her do you know what I mean but if you don't know Hannah, you'd be like, oh, she's sniffed in a lot. You know what I mean? At least yes, you can just leave absolutely. the house going, I know I'm fine today. I yeah. mean, you, can, you can just start your day off on a positive, not positive, but a good note, as it were. Absolutely. I get a tickly cough. Oh, you know, I often have a little tickly cough, but and you don't want people to think, oh, what, no. what are you coughing? Well, I have acid reflux, which is the worst thing, because you just cough all the time. <laughs> and you can just see people looking at you, going, oh, should you be outside? And anyway. <laughs> it's Christmas, we don't care now, it's Christmas. Absolutely. Well, we do care, but... Right, now, has anyone been out to the shops yet? Because yesterday, when I went home, I went via Waitrose, and I couldn't figure out why all these cars were on the main road, and it was a queue to get into the <laughs> Waitrose car park. So I'm just wondering if everybody did their shopping yesterday, and it's quiet today. So if anyone's been out to the shops, could you let me know? Especially around the um, Warwickshire area. <laughs> I went yesterday. I queued half an hour for my, my beef. But that was okay. Yeah. We were quite chatty in the queue. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh no, it was a lovely it wasn't it wasn't um a stroppy atmosphere. It was everyone yeah. was like, oh dear, you know. Um Hannah says if there are any Uber drivers in the Redditch area that do Uber Eats, please could you go to work now because she wants to order a Starbucks but there's no cars available. <laughs> so did Starbucks not open to Upper State this morning then? Oh, it's just as well I didn't go that on the way. Oh, it might not. It might just be. It's closed tomorrow anyway. 
Oh, and if anybody works in the service station between Redditch and the Wirral, can you tell me if your coffee shop is open in your service station tomorrow? I might need to stop for a coffee on the way up. I'm sure they do. I'm sure I've done it before. You know, like in the service stations. Yeah. Like the and the well, you'd have thought they would, wouldn't you? Yeah. It shouldn't take that long from here, though. It's only a couple of I hours. I don't think I've ever me. driven anywhere on Christmas Day. Oh, haven't you? I do, I've been doing it for years. We're only up to my mum's, you see. I've never spent a Christmas without my mum and dad. Oh. I know. So it's either our house or their house. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Have you got brothers and sisters? I've got a brother, but he lives in America. Oh, okay. So, can't so we haven't around. seen him for ages. No. Uh, for two years, in fact. Um, he's hoping to come in March. Oh. Mm. Yeah, my nephew, uh, my, um, I don't know if you were here earlier when I was saying about, we've got a family WhatsApp and my brother who lives in the Wirral put a thing saying, oh, real snow then. And I was like, <laughs> oh no, I'm going to go to the Wirral, it's thick <laughs> snow. But it's because George lives in New York now and they've just had their first proper snowfall in New York and it's just like, looks amazing, you know what I mean? Yeah, but, but you don't want to drive in it, do you? No, not to no. The, no. And also, no, it's a bit more romantic in <laughs> New York than it is at <laughs> Redditch, isn't it really? Yeah, I mean, it looks nice for one day, yeah. after which it's grey and slushy. But also, I have to say, like, I, I went to, used to go to Norway an awful lot, and I used to live in New York, and they, if they have snow, then the vans are out and the roads are cleared. You don't worry about it. Whereas here, you're like, well, I even get home. You know what well, I mean? that's true, and they all have, like, really serious cars with winter tyres. Well, in, in and... Norway, you have to, it's by law, you have to put your yeah. winter tyres on. You have, you have tyre hotels, and so on October the whatever day, you go to your tyre hotel, they've got your winter tyres in store there, they put your winter tyres on, and then they put your summer tyres to, to sleep, hibernate until the spring. But you have to, it's law, you have to do, you have to change your tyres. You tires. see, they're properly geared up for it. Yeah. We're just not geared up no. for any of it, are no. we? I was really shocked that you could have a car that you could put a timer on it in the morning so that if the heater came on. So when you got down to the car, it was all defrosted. It was all warm inside, right? And then someone said, yeah, my car does that here, right? My car does that. And I thought it was a, just a thing in Norway, but apparently really? posh, all posh cars do that. Oh, so you, my, the, my, posh, my car's not posh enough. <laughs> Mine's definitely not posh enough. <laughs> But yes, yeah, by the time you get in it, it's defrosted, it's warm, the seats are warm, the windscreen's all clear of snow and everything. Nice. Have you got heated seats? No, not in this one. Mm, I haven't. My husband has in his. Oh, oh I love heated seats. I don't really seat. like heated seats. They have an adverse effect on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm generally a very cold person, so right. I love a heated seat. At What's the moment, my hands are frozen, but my head is really hot. Maybe put your hat in yet. No, put your head in yet. No, put your hands in your hat. Yeah. Oh, what are you trying to say to me, Hannah? Are you trying to say something? Oh, okay. We should have done, we should have had, um, what do they call it? A book, uh, you know, like a betting book. See if, if um, Kat's boyfriend will propose to her on Christmas day or not. Is she hoping? Well, she was hoping. She came in. She's been hoping for a long time. They've been together 10 years. Mm. They just bought a house together. And um, the other day, they were decorating, they, they both took the day off to decorate the tree. So they bought a tree. They bought, because they had to buy all the baubles and everything. And they bought them from a charity shop, did the whole thing. And oh, it's ages since we've done this, look, in a box. And um, anyway, uh, he, he was kind of fumbling about a bit. And she was like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, it's going to happen, it's going to happen. And then he went, oh, I've just got to go and get something. And she was like, oh, oh, it's going to happen, that's going to happen. Now. And then he came in and nothing happened. At the end of the day, he said, are you all right? And she went, I thought you were going to propose to him. He was like, why? Why did you even think that? And she was like, well, I just thought with you, could you? And anyway, he said, no. And then she said, oh, well, um, he said, I've got some money spent, say, for a special. And she was like, this is it, for my diamonds and everything. It's not for a PS, what's the, what's the game thingies? I don't even know what they're called. So she was like, right, yeah. well, if that's the case, I'm going to spend my money on a phone. So oh, she's don't. bought a PlayStation and she's bought a phone. I don't think it's on his radar, do you? No. no. No, she's told him enough times. But she's also she also has said to him, you can't do it on my birthday, you can't do it on Valentine's Day, you can't do it on Christmas Day. It's got to be a special day of its own, which is why she thought the day of putting the Christmas tree up in the first time in their new house would be it, you see. She thought that was going to be it. <laughs> I think she's put it, yes. Yeah. Anyway, so we've gone round it. Look, okay, I did I make did that it quickly. Right. Um, Fab. So you can see how easy it was yeah. to cut our strips and piece them. It uh, it is. It's a real time saver. I'm just going to do some more, more squares. Okay, let to me just recap you, the three different recap. rulers that I've got today. This one here is the, the one with, with Catherine's using the non-slip stripology squared. 
Uh, hasn't been in for months, this one. Lots of you have checked out already. Lots of you have got it in your baskets. Um, you can go to Creative Grids and watch a... You can either go to the QR thingy down here, whatever that thing's... Oh, uh, Jelly Jesse, that's something else you haven't been doing. I'll have to tell you about that in a minute. Um, right, it's not Jesse's fault. Anyway, 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 you can go there. You can see them um, doing demonstrations on it, all the different things. Does. The little brochure... No, I want to call it, Don't call it a brochure. The pamphlet inside is really, really good, isn't it? It's got all the information you need in there. So that's your... Um, Square, your non-slip stripology square, that's, uh, what size is it? Uh, 12 and a half inches, 12 and a half inches, that Yeah, one. you can go up to 12 and a half inch blocks. Well, most blocks aren't bigger than that, actually. No, no, not at all. But if you want to, you've got a little, we've got the baby one here, which lots of you love, this one. This is your stripology squared mini, which is exactly the same as that one, but smaller, 36 99 You see, now, I might be a bit controversial here. And I don't want to put anybody off, but how much was this one? Forty-four ninety-nine. Forty-four ninety-nine. So it's only like eight, nine pounds. They're different jobs, are they? On the go jobs, yes. But if you're only going to buy one, I'd buy the bigger one. On, only because, look, only because you get. Well, I'm just being. I'm trying to save you. You know what I mean? I'd buy that one. I think this is a will work for everything. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Well, that's what it's I'm trying to say. Really Don't not buy the little one. If you're only going to buy one of them, go for go for that one. Yeah. If, however, you do huge quilts, do massive quilts, we do have the one that Wendy did on Monday, which still has the squares on it here. This one's just called the extra large. Just have squares on it. But this is your massive one, sixty-one ninety-nine. This is your extra large one. This one goes up. Was that again? That's blocks to twelve and a half. Okay. How many inches half. across is that one? This one? How many inches across? What 20. 20. So you can cut more. If you're doing lots and lots and lots of strips, yes. you've got 20 inches across there. But it's lovely, isn't it? That, this is the one. Um, I've got to be careful how I say this. I've got this size, but it was a present bought for me, and it's not a stripology one. But it's this size. But I have to say, if I didn't have that one, I would buy a stripology one because the one I've got is very flimsy. Right. And it moves and things right. like that. Right. Oh, well, this is, n this is not, no, not move flimsy at all. at all. So there are your three different choices of um, stripology there. I, right, like so it, I like it's got a little hole as well, so you can hang it, hang up, it up, yeah. make it all neat in your, exactly. in your well, sewing room. Well, yeah, you room. don't want to be standing them up, because that's what, because since we've done our Christmas set, we've stood all our rulers up, leaning against the wall, and the amount of people have walked into them and stepped on them and things. And, and they break. They break, because they step on them. Anyway, what were you going to show us? Sorry. I was just going to fussy, because it's great for fussy cutting. As okay, well. brilliant. Um, and so this is one of the little hummingbird squares, which you measured and said was six inches, didn't you? And But you can cut it with an like a nice... Bigger. Is it bigger? Hang on, which panel are you on? Isn't that weird? Because they look bigger over your over there. I don't think they... <laughs> I think they're the same. Oh, are they? <laughs> yeah. Oh, anyway, I was nice. going to cut it with a little These border on vocals. it. So you can line up your edge of your square but you can give it a border on it as well we can give it a half inch border all the way around which yeah. would be quite nice princess says merry christmas to you all my brother's range rover does that he comes for coffee then 10 minutes before he leaves he presses the key fob and by the time he gets in it's all heated and defrosted oh it's oh. They stuck to it That's i was like where's my good <laughs> and it's stuck to it you can see it grips really well yeah so all you've got to do is rotate it once to then do the other side. So someone was telling me about a quilt, and I, I, I haven't got any very small people to make things for, but I thought it was such a great idea. So a quilt where for little for littlies, and you fussy cut squares so that you've got a pair with the same design on. So when you put them in, they've got to pair them up, and it's like a matching game on their quilts. Oh, which sounds really good. Yeah, I'd have littlies to do that. Hannah would love that. <laughs> um, so you could do something like that really easy, easily with this because you can fussy cut your squares. If I find the right fabric, Hannah, I'll make you one in the new year. So there we go. That's with a nice, a nice even border around Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Upside down now, Jesse. <laughs> Those hummingbirds fly in all directions, don't they? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah but the flowers don't grow downwards, Jesse. That's the problem. So what did you do with this? How did you make this cushion then? Um, well, I, very, very straightforwardly. 
I cut out because it uh, because it's on the panel, so I changed oh, four of no them. Oh, there's no seams in it, then. No, and I've just uh, done a little bit of uh, quilting between them. So that literally is you've just cut, got the the ruler, and just laid it and cut it out a square around four of the smaller squares. There's the upside down one. So I you haven't sashed it. I thought you'd sashed it. No, I didn't. Part of it. it was so pretty, <laughs> and I'd only been sent a certain quantity of, course, of fabric, yeah, yeah. so I hadn't, hadn't got lots extra. Oh, and um, also, she's remi just reminded me. This is her own um, cushion pad from home. So she says, oh, is it this one or <laughs> no, that, that one? one? That one. Oh, it's that one. We can keep this one like this. It's lovely, isn't it? Uh, the colours are beautiful. What I'll do is let me just um, let me just recap the fabrics then that we've got. Through the bundle, which is very, very popular of all three panels. You're going to save 15, I said 15 percent. Yeah, save 15 percent. Right here. Oops. So I'll just put them out like this for now. You get all three panels for 32 pounds and 27 pence. Uh, that's really good. You're saving 15 percent if you do want them all. You see now, I love this one. So that large one, John, on yeah. my on my one, I just did. I did. Can we have a look at that? I've got some really nice variegated threads at home that I got out. Right. So I've done some free motion on the background with like a variegated blue, uh -huh. and then my variegated green. I've done a little bit on all the leaves. Uh huh. So if you're someone who wants to have a go at free motion, but you're a bit nervous, it's a really good place to start yes. because you've got things to follow. And there's no seams. There's no seams. You're not wearing. You can literally just play around with it. So what did you do? You just you just literally put a piece of wadding and a backing and then just yeah. went set off. Yeah. Absolutely. Beautiful. So this this is one of the three. So this is this is lovely. That's one of the three. So in, uh, we'll do that one on its own now then while it's out then. So this one on its own here, I think it was £22, isn't it, this one? It's beautiful because you've not only got the, you've got a wide border of the blue, then you've got your inner border of your like your multicoloured OGs, then you've got your flowers, and then you've got your main panel in the second, in the centre there. So it really is, if you're doing the quilt, that's the, the main part of it done really, isn't it? If you just then do, um, what do you call it, medallion, go round and round and round. Just create a beautiful, beautiful quilt with that, couldn't you? £22, Hummingbird Heaven floral panel. Now remember, if you buy two, they do not come joined together. So if you are going to join them, you, well, you've got plenty of seam allowance on the side there. £22 for that one. Beautiful. Then we've got the one that matches that, which has got the six-inch squares, which look bigger on Catherine's desk than they do on mine. <laughs> <laughs> I blame my very focals. Makes things in the distance look bigger. This is the most popular of all the panels. Was well, a lot you can do with it. So if you got if you got the single panel and you wanted to extend it, you see you could use these in it's your border, stones, couldn't yeah. you? With your cornerstones mm -hmm. or even down the side. But like you said, you've made coasters out of them. Mm -hmm. You could actually just cut around there and use those as blocks and then do, you know what I mean Absolutely. you could put those within a quilt you know like um village no not village Yvonne McAtamney a, sh a shop's called village isn't it well I was calling a village then Yvonne McAtamney does that quilt where you have pe like a square of fabric and then you have like it's not rail fence but you have the oblongs going around it you cut the oblongs with your stripology cut those out and then it becomes that gorgeous, gorgeous, and the colours, you, I mean, you could match that with so many different colours because you've got all the bright colours, your purples, your pinks, your greens, your blues, your lilacs, your lavenders, your cherry blossom pinks. Oh, I'm doing kunzite again already. We used to sell this gemstone called kunzite, and inside it had lilac, cherry blossom pink, and lavender colour all in the same <laughs> gemstone. Nine, nine, ten, I nearly did, uh, they rang me this week to do, um, I couldn't do it. I don't know where this new studio is, I would get lost. Anyway, it's the most popular one. It's what? I don't know where. I can't give me, I don't know where it is. Anyway, that's that one. And then last but not least, we've got the flower shop. Also, I could park here and walk, could I? Here we go. Flower shop. Lovely. This has got the green. So you've got your main central panel in there. You've got your soft greens around the outside, this one. Then you've got your four square. Did we work? Did you say how much they were? We haven't cut this one up. Have we? They were eight inch. Eight inch squares. You see now, an awful lot of uh, blocks are eight inches, aren't they? Mm -hmm. 
So you could incorporate those into a quilt. And you've got the two down here as well. It's very fresh-like and spring-like, isn't it? It's what we need on those grey, dull days at the moment. Oh, Hannah says, yes, we do. Sorry to drop the coaster on the floor. Poor old Elliot yesterday, his back was playing up. And every time he moved, he was like, oh, ah, ooh. Yep, yep. He, um, so he couldn't do any lifting yesterday. Yeah, I know. 10.99, 10.99. So it's John, could you, could you carry, because uh, back around his auntie couldn't carry her sewing machine. So it's like, John, could you carry the sewing machine? Could you, it's like, as if I haven't got enough to do, Elliot. Anyway, uh, what else do I need to do? I need to go. You're back in an hour. Yep. What are you doing in an hour? I'm doing oh, a lovely tuna. applique cushion. Oh, and it's a gorgeous book. The book is, isn't it? The book yeah, lovely. absolutely lovely. Uh, do that again, what? Now, in the next hour, we did this last week or the week before, it was phenomenally popular. Should I show you the slide? If you buy two quilts from this next hour, you don't have to buy them this next hour, um, but you do need to check out at them at the same time, you'll get 20% off. 20% off. So you could save up to £80 in this next hour. I know. I'll explain more when we come back after the break. We will see you in four minutes from now. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright from Leicestershire Craft Centre based in Market Harborough. I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street family. I've been sewing since the age of seven when my mum taught me to sew. I particularly enjoy dressmaking and all through my childhood I made my own clothes uh, including dancing costumes and my prom dresses. But I also enjoy patchwork and bag making and hand stitching and embroidery and really anything textile based. The thing I particularly love about fabric and textiles and stitching is that there is always something new to try. There's always a new technique or a new skill to learn. Uh, and I really enjoy doing that. My top tip for new sewers is to uh, be friends with your iron. Your sewing also always looks better when it's been pressed. And it's not like ironing your own clothes. It's much more, much better than that. And also to uh, build your skills up step by step. Don't launch in with the, with the wedding dress first off. You know, start with a simple dress and build your skills up and then you'll see good results right from the start and feel enthusiastic and carry on sewing. So really, just have a go, have fun. It's all about having fun and enjoying it. Um, so happy sewing. Hi everyone, I just wanted to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Happy 2022. Where's this year gone? Who knew it would go so fast? But I'm just looking forward to spending some time with you over the Christmas period. And what did you get for Christmas? Fabric? Wool? Why not? Well, I hope whatever you got you enjoy and I can't wait to spend the new year bringing you lots of patterns and kits and continuing our sewing journey together. Bye for now. Hello, it's Fiona from Sew Girl here. I just want to wish all the viewers and everybody at Sewing Street a very happy Christmas. 
and I look forward to seeing you all in the new year. So I hope you have a very merry, fun time with your friends and family and see you next year. Bye bye. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. This is such a brilliant idea and it's so phenomenally, phenomenally popular, right? I have got in this hour, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, oh, baker's dozen quilts, right? There's 13 quilts to choose from in this hour, right? If you buy two of them, you need to check out at the same time. Slide, Jesse. If you buy two of them at the same time, you get 20% off, right? Off the total, off the total, right? 20% off the total. Isn't that brilliant? So you buy any two from this hour, you, the, most, the, the only rule is that you have to buy, you have to check them out together. You can't check one out now and one out in about an hour or two hours time. They need to be checked out together. But you, there's no code to put in. You don't have to put a code in. You don't have to ring anybody to tell them. Haley has done it automatically. Now, when you check out now, I don't know if the 20% comes off right now or when you check out later on tonight, but you will definitely get 20% off when you buy two. Now, it's not. It's only the 13 quilts that are in this hour, right? It's not any others that are on the website. It's just the 13 in here. Got a lot of them. There's only two of them, I think, that we haven't got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, there must be three we haven't got. Yeah, there must be three we haven't got. Oh, I don't know where that is. Anyway, unless I've counted them wrong, this is only 12. One, two. Oh, yes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twelve. There's 12. After all that, there's only 12 to choose from. Not only. There are 12 to choose from. And I've got 10 samples and two that I'll do from pictures for you later on. How brilliant is that? How brilliant is that? So you will get, if you buy two quilts this hour, uh, you will get 20% off the total price. So if you buy two of the two most expensive ones, you get up to 80 pounds off. Well, we'll do it as we go along. I'll tell you how much you get off each one. Right, there's the still again. Is Hannah back? Hannah, which one are we doing first? She's just coming now. They're just coming now. Remember, get your Christmas messages in as well. Tomorrow we'll be reading out Christmas messages. We're only on for four hours tomorrow, remember. Eight till 12 tomorrow. It's me, Hannah and Jeremy Joe tomorrow. Uh, and we'll, we'll be reading out your Christmas messages tomorrow. So, where are we going first then, Han? Kaif, which one? <laughs> this one. Cottage garden flowers, is that what you mean? Oh, now. Now, the other thing I was supposed to tell you is you've got some of these open in, underneath your feet. But I don't think you've got this one. Don't think you've got this one. Right, so this is this one. Uh, 
This one here. This is this one here, right? Have a look. Oh, sorry, I'm right the way out over here. Let me see if I can pull it the other way for Jesse for easier that way. There you go, Jesse. There you go. Look how gorgeous is this? How beautiful is this? Now, it's uh, 129 by 159 centimetres. I'll just check the box. Oh, yeah, 129 by 159 centimetres. You get all the fabric for the front and the binding. Obviously, you have to supply your own uh, wadding and your own backing as well. But how gorgeous is that? So now it's, up. Now, it's on split pay. You can still use your split pay. You can, I know normally when you do a deal like this, you can't do split pay. You can still use your split pay. 179.99 or three payments are 59.99. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Anyway, beautiful cottage gardens. It'll come in that box with for you. And there it is. That's a close up of it there. How stunning. All the fabric you need. There's 16 prints in there. Over eight and a half meters of fabric and your instructions. 179.99. So if you did buy that, that's 180 pounds. 10% of that would be, uh, oh, hang on, I've got to try and work this out now. 10% of 180 is 18. So 36 pounds you'll save off that one. 36 pounds you'll save off that one. You do have to buy, t you do have to buy two to get the 20% off, but you'll get, th so. oh yeah, yeah. So if you want that one, Put it in your basket and you can either go to pre-order and put the other one in your basket and check out. Or you can wait till the... This is what happened the other day. Some of them, people bought number one and number two and they were done, right? Sort of thing. But some people waited till the end of the show and, or until I'd shown them all. And then there was this huge rush to check out and everything like that. So please, you can do that. It's not a problem. I'll warn you. If I get into low stock of any of them, I'll warn you. This is single figures. That's all I've got this one. I'll be honest, nine. There's nine of these left, right? Nine of those left at the moment. So it's 179.99 if you buy it on its own. Uh, and you don't have to take... Now, oh, that's the other thing I need to say to you. If you just want that and you don't want any of the others, you can still buy that. You won't get your 20% off or anything, but it's still available for sale on its own. But you'll pay 179.99 for it or you'll pay... Now, the re I said when I did this show the other day, it seems a bit excessive, doesn't it, buying two big quilt kits on one day. But think about for the year coming, right? You'll make, we'll start making one maybe straight away. But in reality, you might not make the other one until March, April, May, June. They're classics. Everything I've got this hour, not going to go out of fashion. They are classics. So buy them now and think about future projects and know that deep down when you come to make it you save 20 percent off the price because because the only sorry hannah but the, the only the only the only way prices are going to go this coming year i already told you sewing machines in january are going up the elder sewing machines are going up in january do you know what i mean so it's just fabric it's not not my tesco order and no, I'm not picking on Tesco's. It's the same at Waitrose. I buy the same things every week. The lady must know as she's scanning it what I've bought and everything. But every week it gets more expensive. It's that's life. That's life. So if you buy, if you know that you're going to be making two of these quilts over the next six months, year, then what? A, what a lovely. I don't want to say investment money-wise, but a personal investment it would be, because you know you've saved twenty percent on them. But you do have to buy two to get you 20% off. Obviously, this isn't the price with the percentage off. That's the price. That's the, the price that we're selling it for. And then when you check out, they'll take 20% off. So it's cottage garden flowers. Look, 16 printed fabrics, over eight and a half meters of fabric and your complete instructions. If you want any of the boxes opening, just let me know. I'm not going to uh, open any of them unless you want me to open the boxes. Okay, so that's that one. Okay, right, so I just said there's nine of those, right? There's nine of those, right? One has checked out already, right? And four of the people got in their baskets, that's half the stock. If they all check out, that's half the stock of those gone. Just warning you, not, not any adding any undue pressure. I wonder if the people who've bought that one, who've checked out, have bought another one from pre-order or whether they've just bought that one and not bought another one. Right. Yet. Yeah. Peach Sunset, that's this one here. So that's this one in here. This is Peach Sunset. 
This is Hannah's favourite one. Look. Um, uh, no, you can't have the sample. It has to go back. Uh, now, uh, Elliot, when he was in the other day when we did this, is stressing because that rail that these are all hanging from is only being held up by four nails. Right, this one's 129.99. Two split payments of 64.99. So you will get your split payment. So if you were to buy one, that's 130. So that's uh, 26 pounds off this one. Is that right? Is that no? That doesn't sound right. Yeah, 26 pounds off this one. Saving you 20%. It's lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous. There it is. So now this one is 146 by 185 centimetres, slightly bigger. If you love your oranges and your peaches and your lovely bright cut, well, it's not bright, is it? It's just more kind of playful, playful colours, I'd say. You've got your tumbles in there. Look, isn't it lovely? Brassica down there and everything. I'll hold it up a bit more. Gorgeous. If you order, say, somebody's asked about when we shipped out. I'm, I'm going to say in the new year. I know that the warehouse will most probably be in between Christmas and New Year. I don't, I don't know the actual official, I should have asked the official thing. So let's just say, I'm going to say it's the beginning of January. So spend time. I know if you buy a sewing machine from Elna, they won't be shipped out until the beginning of the year. But definitely, because Elna, Elna closed already for Christmas. They closed down a couple of days ago. No, I, I, when they come back, they'll have to catch up, won't they, of all the, because we're obviously at live every day. Anyway, they go 129.99, two split payments of 64.99. Remember, look, the slide. Today, till midnight tonight. Mind you, you shouldn't be up at midnight in case Father Christmas comes round. 24th of December today, if you buy two quilts together, it, check them out at the same time, you will get 20% off both quilts. Both quilts you'll get that off. So that one's Peach Sunset there. Again, it's the front and the binding, not the backing of that one. Beautiful. So that's that one. So I'll do another cave while we're on cave. This one's called Ancient Glade. Now, I know on the front of the box it says contents may vary slightly. I know on this one, one of the fabrics is different. Right, hang on. If we look there, it's that one there, Hannah, you mean? That's instead of the, this, this geodey look, it's feathers. It's blue feathers. It's still, it's still that colour range, it's still that colour way, so you'll still have a blue square, blue and green square there, but it's the feathers. You know the famous, actually, have, have they got feathers anywhere else on this in another colour? No, no. It's beautiful, it's got my favourite ever fabric in the middle square, don't think you can see it from there. Oh, ow, oh, ow. Whoa! The quilt's just fallen off the shelf. That I blame Beth Studley. Yeah, the tree hit me. And also, the tree is so cheap, the glitter just falls off it everywhere. Doesn't matter. The ra I thought the rail was coming down. That's what I was more worried about. 139.99, two split payments of 69.99. How big is this one, please? Oh, this one's even bigger. This one's 207 by 174. Um, now, so that's 140. So that's 28 pounds you'd get off this one. 28 pounds you'd get off this one. Remember, that fabric there is replaced by fed blue feathers. Blue or green. It's the same colourway, so it'll give you the same effect. It's just rather than the geodes, they're kind of feathers. 139.99. It's beautiful, isn't it? So I'm all right on stock on these, am I, at the moment? Yeah, OK. Right, so let's just put that one back in there. Right, so that's all... The oh, actually... That's all the cave I've got. That's all the cave I've got. So I've got the choice of the three. I'll just go through them again, the cave ones, right? So this one here is Ancient Glade that you just saw then. Oh, sorry, Hannah. Yeah, 139.99. There's an awful lot of those in baskets. And how many stock have we got? Right, more than half the stock is in baskets. 
More than half the stock of that one is in baskets, right? But obviously you need your two. You need to check out two at the same time. Then we had the peach sunset, which was this one. $129.99. This is peach sunset. This one is 146 by 185. This is Hannah's favourite, but don't let that put you off. But if you are thinking of making Hannah a gift in 2022, she wouldn't say no. Actually, this would go lovely with your yellow uh, with your orange velvet futon. And your footstool. And your footstool. No, she doesn't want to make it. Because she's still making one from when I very first met her. Soon there'll be so many things in her house that she'll need to give me my overlocker back. I was talking about that the other day, wasn't I? I was doing the overlocker show. Did you know, did you, were you here when Janice wasn't in? Was that your day? I did the apron and I did the cushion and everything. Janice is in, Janice is in again on my next show on Saturday. I'm just going to check she's all right though. I think it was only because of the bad, not the badge. What was this thing called? Jab. No, in Scotland they call them jags. Like a jaguar car, yeah. Right, this is a, oh, were we all right on stock on the peach one? Sorry. Yeah, okay. Okay, but then... This one here, which was the um, cottage garden flowers, that beautiful one there, with the turquoises and aquas and things. Yeah, you got octopuses around the outside of this one. Okay, at this moment in time, there are more people got that in their basket than have got stock. But I know what you're waiting to do. You're waiting to see which is the second one. Because I tell you what a lot of people did the other day. Is some people took the two most expensive ones to get the bigger amount of discount. And some people did one expensive one and one slightly more affordable one. Um, so you still get your 20% discount off the whole lot. So it doesn't matter. But, you know, some people are like, well, I'll splash out on that one and I'll buy that one slightly more affordable one just to justify it. I'd be a bit like, Hannah would be, uh, she's going to buy the two most expensive because she saves more. I was more, I'll buy one really expensive and one more affordable. That's what we're doing. Right, I'll, I'll keep you posted because that's all the cave. No more cave, no more cave, just those three, right? Okay, so I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap sets in a minute. So they do this one first of all. This is William Morris, right? There are so many people got this in their baskets. 119.99. Now you do get an extra box with this one, only because when they packed it, they didn't pack enough fabric in there. You let us know. We responded, so you get two boxes with this one. Oh, say that again, Hannah. Sold out. This one sold out. Sold out. Sold out. Congratulations if you've got that one. That one sold out. Look, this is what you've bought. That's what you've bought. Beautiful, isn't it? But it's sold out. Well, it's really funny because I said that's a Sunday afternoon when Hannah's a bit hungover. Oh, I don't, it doesn't matter. I'll ask you later. No, no, because you went out drinking again this week, didn't you? Yeah, Saturday. Right. Next, she went to be Santa. Right, now which one should I do next then? Oh, yes, sorry. I was, uh, sorry, that was my fault, my fault. We've got one other William Morris. It's over here. It's over here, the other William Morris. Right? This is a may... Oh, I'll tell you what I haven't been doing. I haven't been doing the dates either. Sorry, that's my bad. Stuart. Stuart demonstrated this one, right? 10th of November. It was, he was brilliant. He was absolutely brilliant because he had got it prepped to the nth degree. Because what it is, I mean, it's huge. You, can you see, can you go over to that bit there, or do you want me to carry it across? There's a great big um, Dresden plate in the middle of it, star in the middle of it, right? It's massive, this quilt, look. So there's your Dresden plate in the middle. You start with that, you get the template to make your Dresden plate in the middle. Then, uh, there's only four fabrics in this. It's amazing, isn't it, to think about it, but there's only four different fabrics in here. So you have flying geese, you have those blocks there, you have like the lattice work there, you have the Dresden plate in the middle, and then there's a star somewhere. I think the star's at the corner. Here you go. Then there's a star block at the corner here. Oh, sorry, there you go. It's beautiful. Now, this is £199. So 20% off, that's £40. 
If you bought two of those, you'd save 80 pounds. Look, there it is. Oh, isn't it just beautiful? And it's on split pay as well. And we're honoring the split pay. Normally, when we do buy this and this, we don't, you can't do this, you can't push the split pay, but you can on that. Now this box, when you get this home, this is heavy. This is heavy. It's got so much fabric in it, but only four different fabrics. Do you know what? You haven't got this one open on your desk, have you? No. I just want to show you this one because I adore this one. Right, okay. So look. This is, look, whew, this is, oh, I thought this would have been an open one. Here we go. It is now. It's like Christmas morning. It's a lovely green paper. As well. Look, there's only four fabrics in here. So you get the act flower first of all before I do the flowers right here you go these are your instructions this is each section it takes you through each section of the quilt look you see there they all are there's all the different blocks right and there's the lattice work I was just telling you about there and then there are that's your template sorry that's your template so you get all the instructions you need and then just four fabrics so you get the aqua vine which is D vine you get the pink vine. That is so lovely, isn't it? Then you get, I'll do this one next. Then you get the little berry one, the rose hip one. And then you get this beautiful one with stags on it. Now, Stuart was saying there's fabric left over. So you can either, you see the squares here. You could either fussy cut these squares or... He says he thinks there's enough fabric to make two cushion covers. So imagine putting that on your bed and having two cushions or two bolsters or something on your bed made of the same fabric as well. It's exquisite, isn't it? 199.99. You just buy it on its own. You can do. 199.99 or uh, split payments of 66, 66, three of those. However, if you buy it with a another quilt, you will save 40 pounds. You'll save 40 pounds on that quilt. And you're only paying one PMP, remember? No matter how many boxes turn up at your house, you pay one PMP. It's glorious, isn't it, that one? I love that one. You see, if we were allowed to keep the samples afterwards, I'd definitely be begging for that one. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Right, if there's any you want me to show you again as we're going along, if you want to make up your mind, then just let me know. Just let me know. I'll leave that one open on the desk there. Right, so I'm going back to the main desk now. The, the, yeah, the main desk now. So, I've now got three on this table left. Oh, I love this. You see, this is where I, this is why it's quite good because there's two. You can buy two to get you twenty percent off. This is adorable. This this is Anna Marie Horner. No, the box is so heavy on this one. I can't tell you. There are eleven fabrics in here. Oh, okay, the picture on the website is showing the backing. You do not get the backing. You get the front and the binding. You get the front and the binding, but it is glorious. And it's not difficult. Now, this one's 174.99. 17th of November is when we did this one. So, uh, uh, I want to say Wendy Orlando, but I, can't, I don't think that's right. Or is it Sally Ann? Might have been Sally Ann. Anyway, 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 it doesn't matter. 174.99. You can buy it on its own, 474.99, or do three split payments of 58.33. But if you buy it with a another quilt in this hour, you'll get 20% off, which is what? 35 pounds, I think. Is it? No, hang on. No, no ignore me. 10% is 17 pounds 50. 17 pounds 50 and 17 pounds 50 is 35 pounds. I was right. I was right, I was right. That, see, working on Sheldon's fruit and vegetable all those years helped me out, didn't it? 174.99. What did you just say? No cheese and chickens. We didn't sell butter. You, you had to work your way up to work on the chickens and cheese side of the counter. I was on the vegetable, the carrots and potatoes. There was butter there, but that was, you had to, do, you had to get two wooden platters and somebody say, oh, I'll have half a pound of the whatever butter. You go like that. You no, no. A cheese. Somebody said, I want half a pound of that Cheshire cheese. You had to get the great big round out like that. And then you had the big wire. And then you put it on the thing and they go, oh, it's, no, that's too big. And you're like, oh, or too small. Do you do it too small? Anyway, 
Yeah, you can't stick it back together. Unlike my nan, when she made a cake, if it broke, she'd spit on it and stick it together. And she, she was the cook for the Duke of, uh, Duke of Westminster. Anyway, look, 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 look. This is just amazing. It's massive, this quilt. <laughs> look. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh. Hang on. Oh! Crazy Lorraine, I'm so sorry. I'm wrecking the joint here, you know. Right, look, I'll just stand. I won't move. Isn't it just gorgeous? Now, it's bold. It's very, very bold, this one. It's not difficult. It's not a difficult one to do. I've got it sideways, obviously. 174.99. So you could get that 35 pounds off. 35. If you use the buying two, you'll get 35 pounds off that. Now, what size is it? It's massive. 182 by 233. Beautiful, isn't it? Love it. Love it. Love it. I love the colours she uses. She commented on one of my um. One of my pictures this week on my Instagram. Yeah, it was a lovely comment, actually. Anyway, 174.99. So you can buy it on its own, or you can buy it along with another one and get 20% off both of them. Off both of them. There's the still. Oh, I've lost a teddy bear now. I'm all right, I'm all right, I'm back now. Right, yo, two quilts together and you get 20% off the total cost of both quilts. And if they both qualify for split pay, you'll still get split pay on them. It's good, isn't it? It's good. You have to buy two the same. You don't have to buy two the same. It can be any two from this hour. So if you love that Anna Maria and you also love the, um, oh, the a Caif one or a Beth, I was going to say a Beth Studley one, Buy two of you can buy two the same if you want to, or imagine if you bought two of those, how big the quilt could be if you've got a super king bed. Anyway, or you can buy any, you can buy any two, any two you want, and you'll get 20% off both. 174.99. You'll get 35 pounds off that one. Song and dance. Oh, that one that's a brilliant show, song and dance, isn't it? Tell me on a Sunday, please. Don't write a letter when you want to leave. Don't call me at 3 a.m. from a friend's apartment. Anyway, I'll move on. Oh, it's very sad. Yeah. Beautiful. 174.99. So that is your oh, that's the only honour. The only Arna quilt I've got to show you this hour. That's basically what I'm saying. 174.99. Now, what else have I got over here? I've got Twinkling Blooms. <laughs> There's a cream for that. <laughs> Sanctuary, three sisters, this. Beautiful, isn't it? So you get 10 fabrics, eight and a half. In fact, I think you get 8.63 metres of fabric in this one. 149.99. You'll get £30 off this one. Is that right? Hang on. Yet £30 you'll get off this one. £30. You can still use your split pay. Now, where is it? It's here. There it is. Look. Here you go. Look. Oh, Jesse likes this one. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Can you see it? Escape to the country, yes. Be lovely, wouldn't it? Wasn't on last night's episode. Oh, I can't remember. I didn't like the people, so I didn't watch it. Right, so in this one, you get 8.6 metres of fabric. Oh, ruler's going, pressing, mat's going. You should see it around the back here. It's just a mess, isn't it? Remember, you can buy this 149.99 today. We can save £30 on this one. If you buy it along with another one, it's mode of fabric. You can imagine what, how beautiful that fabric is. Oh no, feeling sad. Cleared away my machine and all the sewing stuff in the dining room table for tomorrow. I've got Jenny Jackson's EPP to keep me going. Um, do you want, Becky, Becky Alexander Frost, I said to her, oh gosh, because I know she works. 
excuse me, she works in her dining room area, doesn't she, in her flat. What you could do tomorrow on Christmas Day? And she was like, they're having it on the tray, on the lap. So they're all having their Christmas dinner in front of the telly, right, this, so she can keep all her work stuff out. I don't know. It's just another day, just another day. I was going to burst into song then, but I didn't know the song. 149.99, you're saving 30 pounds off this one. Merry Christmas to all the wonderful folk at Sewing Street. Best wishes from Susan in, or Sue in Wiltshire. Thank you, Sue. Have a lovely time. Oh, hang on. Hannah's got a request. Am I allowed to say it out loud? She's got a request for tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> So last year, when we did the when we did the Christmas, I kept saying, "Oh, Hannah's eaten another mince pie. Hannah's eaten some more chocolate. Hannah's eaten this. Hannah's eaten that." When her dad came to collect her, because he comes to collect to take her to a Rutland. Oh no, they've moved, haven't they? Oh, they're still in Rutland. They moved in Rutland, right? Hannah said, "What snacks have you got?" And she said, "None, because your mum said John said on the telly this morning you've eaten too much this morning already." So all the way from here to home, she had no nibbles at all. She had to wait. Then the Christmas dinner wasn't ready when she got there. Anyway, it's only an hour and a half away, but there you go. Right, 149, so I'm not allowed to mention if Hannah's eating. We should have, we should have a secret code so you know, but Hannah's mum doesn't know. Shazza, she's called Shazza. 100, yeah, but then I also told you, your mum on air that you were pregnant as well when you weren't. She's not pregnant, she's not pregnant. This was a few years ago. Anyway, but I did say it on air and her mum was listening. 149.99, I love this, love this. Have a look at it. There it is. Beautiful, very calming, that one, isn't it? Twinkling blooms, like me and Hannah. Message on my bottom very quick. Merry Christmas, John and Crew. I hope you have a super day. Lots of love from Shelley. Oh, Shelley, how are you? Shelley's just moved as well. Yeah. Anyway, thank you. Same to you, my love. So that's Twinkling Blooms. Remember, you'll get your 20% off if you buy it with a, another quilt from this hour. Right, I've got one more on this side before I move over there. This one is called A Winter's Nap. A Winter's Nap. I'll show you it first. Here it is, Lewis and Irene. This is cute. This is a smaller one. This is a smaller one. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. If you get one for 199 now, you won't get split pay on this one. You don't get split pay on this one. 54 99 You see, I'd be tempted, right? This is just between you and me, right? I'd be tempted to buy two that are over £100. Then you'd have split pay on the whole lot. You won't get split pay on this one. So what will have to happen is when you check out, you'll pay. Not everyone wants split pay, but if you're spreading the cost. Oh, Hannah lives her life on split pay, she says. 54.99 this one. Let me take you through the, you get free instructions on this one. You don't get the backing. Free instructions on this one. So you get your uh, sleeping animals in the woodland. You get your, I love this, your ombre leaves, autumnal leaves. You get your tree bark. You get your splodge. Isn't that called winterberry? No. I want to call it win bumbleberry. I always call it winterberry, don't I, for some reason. Then you get your hedgehogs and bears waking up. Oh, no, they're still asleep. Still asleep. And then you get your little icons there. I love that one because that gives it, look at that, gives it that pop. You see where they've used, you see where they've used that dark brown, the chocolate brown? Look, just there. Just gives it that pop, doesn't it? This is a smaller one. What's the size of this one? Uh, 48 by 48 inches square. 48 by 48 inches square. It's lovely. That'd be lovely over the back of your sofa for you when you're nestling in front of the fire. 54.99 that one is. With your free, you're not paying for the pattern. The pattern is completely... I don't know why this pattern's free, because it's on lovely printed paper. Designed by Sally Ablett. Oh, we've got another one. Oh, no, no, no. This is the only Sally Ablett one I've got today. 54.99. Right, before we go over to... The, I've got to pick up a Beth Studley. Before we go over to the other table. Oh, not yet, I'm not ready yet. 
Right, come on then, come over to the other table. Oh, the elf on the shelf fell off as well. The next break, I've got an awful lot of tidying up to do. Right, oh, I'll put that down. Where would you like to go next then? This Beth Dudley here, which is this one. This fabric is glorious. This is Macau fabric in this one. Absolutely stunning. Now, the background is your linen look Macau in indigo. Look, 109.99. So on that one, you'll get, um, so it's 110. 22 pounds off that one you'll get. 22 pounds, but it's still on split pay. So you'll get it 22 pounds off, but you'll still pay. You won't pay 54.99 on this split pay. You pay whatever half of 99 is. Uh, this is Broken Circles Quilt Kit, exclusive to Sewing Street. It's 60 by 60 inches. That, and now, she's not going to, this is her latest fabric range. She's not going to be doing another one for years. Well, not years, but a long, long time. Not this year, anyway. It won't be coming this year. Jenny Jackson says, Merry Christmas, everyone. Poor Dylan has got COVID and feeling very poorly. Oh, no. Is he, oh. So I'll be having a very quiet Christmas this year. Jenny Jackson, Dylan, we send lots and lots of love, Dylan. You take care now. Um, Christine says, morning, gorgeous John Scott. I had a bit of a lie in this morning. Or should I say I slept in? I've missed so much. Well, you can catch, watch on catch up later. Uh, Louise says, been out shopping. Is this quilt offer on tomorrow? No, no, it's only today, I'm afraid. Oh, can't you ask him for his vouchers now? She's getting vouchers for Christmas, you see. Go on, be worth it. Be worth it. If you know you're getting them, ask him if you can have them now. I'm saying him, that's very presumptuous of me. Very presumptuous of me. Uh, Claire says, I've survived the Christmas shopping, only went to Waitrose and Tesco's, no busier than a normal Saturday. Four o'clock, Waitrose shuts near me. Four o'clock. What, what, what time does Tesco shut? Can we look it up? I bet that's four as well. Morning, John and team. Watching you on break at work. Doing a 12-hour shift today. Did 13 hours yesterday and will be sitting with my feet up tomorrow. Oh, Carol, you deserve it, my love. Anyway, this is this quilt here. It's beautiful, isn't it? That one is actually piecing. That's normal piecing. Curved seams, that one. But not difficult. They're not difficult at all. What day did we do that on? What day was Beth in? <laughs> That was a bauble, not my leg. Who put that bauble there? I watched Vix yesterday. Vix brought Maisie and yesterday the whole of the tree because there's not much room between the table and the thing. Oh, Elliot's blaming me, apparently. Right, Elliot, just you wait. Just you wait, Elliot. When's he in? He's in on Boxing Day. So now I'll leave him a little surprise on his chair. Yeah, I am. 109.99, you get your 20% off if you buy it with another one. What date was she in, sorry, did you tell me? 28th of October. 28th of October. Oh, see, Louise says it is a him, so I'm all right, I was all right. She says, my eldest son gets my addiction. Oh, Louise, I'm sure you won't mind if you open it now, if you really want one of these, because it's such a good deal, isn't it? But then you can wait, you can wait. If, you, if you want him to see your face when you open it in the morning, then that's fine. Maureen says, hi, John. Merry Christmas to you all. Thank you, Maureen. Jackie says, morning, John. Wishing you all a very Merry Christmas. You just got up, Jackie. It's 20 to 11. Yeah, it's Stratford-upon-Avon in the Maybird Centre. Thank you. Oh, be late, might be late for My weight shows is definitely four, but I'll check. We'll, get, we'll have to look it up then. I'll look it up. I'll look it up in the break. Anyway, one hundred nine ninety nine. That's just me doing sparkling in the lights. No, not surfing. Not this morning. Right. So that's that, Beth Studley. I've got what? I've got what? Hang on, wait to, see, wait to see this message. Morning, John. Loving your sparkly Christmas shirt. Happy Christmas to you and the entire crew. 23 of us. All the best from Filthy Phil and the Rain from Salford. He can't even spell filthy. Who's Filthy Phil? Sounds interesting. From Salford. Oh, well, anything in Salford's interesting. Do you live near Media City? Filthy Phil. That's quite a nice nickname, isn't it? Anyway, let's move on to the other one. 
This is the one. He might be a gardener. A chimney sweep? No, because they don't go up the chimneys anymore. They have machines to do that. Right, look. This one is foundation paper piecing. This is linear. This has got your linear, indigo linear print behind. But again, all those gorgeous Macau fabrics there. Designed by Beth. So this one again is 110, so you'll say 50, uh, 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 oh, hang on, 20%. 20 pounds, 22 pounds. Yeah, 10 pounds, just under 22 pounds, yeah. Same day, same day, 28th of, of October. This is foundation paper piecing, and you do have all of your, what do you call them, the papers that you do your foundation paper piecing on? Templates, you've got your templates in there and everything. Message on my bottom, eating, oh look, eating a croissant, butter and strawberry jam, French vanilla coffee from my French press for breakfast and watching you. Oh, Nicola, I'm on my way round. Hertfordshire's a long way to come though, isn't there? It'll be cold by the time I get there. That's my ideal breakfast, that. I, in fact, I'd have a pan au chocolat rather than the, yeah. But you're dipping it, you're dipping it in the coffee. Oh, anyway. Okay, Hannah says my test goes open till seven. Well, anyway, we'll be out of here by whatever time. <laughs> well, no, I, I finish officially at one. You finish officially at four, so I'll be all right. We don't talk about their hours, Jesse. Just be quiet. Right. No, Jackie says, not just got up, been trying to sort out Dave's tablets. Off to the garden centre by Julie's for lunch. Oh, it's nice there, isn't it? Nana Kate, my dad used to like it there as well. Uh, Maureen says, can I ask if you know whether I need to get batteries for the native lighting reserve lamp? No, any of, reverse lamp. No, you don't need batteries for that. You charge that up with a USB stick and it doesn't have batteries in it. I charged mine up yesterday, actually. You don't need batteries for that. And any native lighting lamps that do need batteries, they come with a battery in them. They come with a battery in them, so you're fine. Uh, that was Maureen. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, I hope your grandson's not watching. It's a present for her grandson. Anyway, poor Dylan. Get well soon. Hope you have a Merry Christmas, says Sue. Oh, lots of messages for Dylan on there. Uh, have Merry Christmas. Crazy Lorraine said, well, that's it. We're ready for Christmas. Can't wait. Well, start. I'm surprised you haven't had your first big branding. Right, where are we next then? Look at the time. Sally Stevens, Twinkling Stars. What was that called over there? Twinkling Blooms. This is Twinkling Stars, this one. This one again is Modar. No, now, um, I take that back. Most of it is Modar. So that's Modar. 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 That's not. And that's not. That's um, Le Coco Van, I think it's called. And that one's French words just to create the red. Now, we don't know what's happened to the sample of this one. It was in my dressing room. Ian came in and took it. We think Ian's taking it home. To snuggle under and think of Sally Stevens. That's what we think. 95 pounds and 36 pence. There's no split pay on this one. You won't get split pay, but you will get, if you buy this along with something else, you will get 20% off. So that's what, just under 20 pounds, isn't it? Is it 17 or 18 pounds? I well, can work it out. Two nines are 18, 19 pounds. Maureen says, thank you, John. Looking forward to your company tomorrow morning. I'll be here. Don't you worry. And yet we've got loads of messages now. So if you do want your messages sent in, do send them in now. You can send them in tomorrow as well. It'll be fine. Got a lovely line up for you tomorrow on the show. There's the email. Send them to the email address. That's the best way because they can be put on a slide then and look all posh with holly around them and things. Uh, there you go. What's this one then? One from Beverly. This isn't, the, what, this isn't how those will come. Love and hugs, Merry Christmas, wishes to you, John and the team today, and all my fellow crafters and viewers from Beverly. Thank you, Beverly, my lovely. So this quilt, can't show you a finished thing. What date was it done, sorry? Second of December. Uh, you wouldn't have a picture, would you, Jesse, for the finished thing? Can you not find, is it difficult to find? He'll have a look for you. Oh, it was a computer-generated picture, was it? It wasn't a real thing, was it? Okay. 
That one there, you see, that's it there. There it is, that's the one from the front of the pattern there. Gorgeous. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. 64 by 64 inches, it is the finished thing. Oh, hang on, look. You're already saving £10. You're already saving a tenner on that. Uh, and then you'll get to, then you'll get twenty percent off if you buy this with something else. You'll get twenty percent off. Nice, we love a saving. Right, I've only got uh, one more to show you. Is that right? I can always recap. Yeah, okay, because a lot of those over there are beginning. Because now, now you've seen them all. Now's the time to check out. Right. Does anyone see again messaging quickly, either email or in the little white box or whatever? Right, now this one was made by Wendy Orlando. The blocks are enormous. We can't find it. 27th of February. 27th. God, that's ages ago. It's nearly a year ago, isn't it? So you get, now this is your cream background. It's not just cream. I don't know if you can see that, Jesse, but it's got like a pr cream on cream print on there. He's coming in closer. Um, let me see if I can show you if it's easy if I do it like this. Can you see? Hang on, let me just... Can you see? Anyway, look, there you go. Can, there you go. So it's 197.99, split pay 65.99. But if you buy this with something else, you will get, well, it's nearly uh, £40 off that one. Just shy of £40 off that one. So you get the big amount. I don't know how much you get. I've not got a breakdown. You get six and a half metres of fabric in total. So you get that. You get that. One metre of that. Then these, I think, are fat quarters, aren't they, these? And these are fat eighths. You get all of that, plus your instructions, The Quilting Life by Cherie McConnell. Five and a half metres of the cream one meter of the pink, fat quarters and fat eighths. It's the official fabric that comes with it. It's the Bill Bow collection from Sherry. Oh, from Sherry and Chelsea Fabrics. So she designed the fabric as well, look. I'm just looking for that. It's massive, 81 and a half by 81 and a half inches. We've not replaced anything. That's how it comes. That's how it all comes from, that, from there. But I only have four of these left. Four left and that's it then. But, imagine getting 20% off that. Oh no, it's brilliant. Colours are lovely, aren't they? I'll show you the colours in here, because that those are arranged between all of these different colours in here, look. £197.99. You get a lot for your money there. I think as well, Wendy said you get quite a few of these left over. I seem to remember, because she, remember she didn't open that packet, because she didn't want to use the greens. She, oh, I know, she didn't use the greens, that's what she didn't use. £197.99, you can buy it on its own, £497.99, you can buy it on its own and do three split payments of £65.99, or you can buy it with a, another quilt from this hour and get 20% off. 20%. You see, we were saying the other day, when I did this the other day, 20% is a big, a big discount. You know, oh, I can tell you. So Kat was in a very famous Swedish store the night before that sells furniture, right? They had a sale on, there was a pound off everything. And that was what they were calling a sale. Right? 20%. It's an off. it's like, you know, I don't know if they do it anymore. In the old days, when they used to do corporate work, um, Next would always open at five o'clock on a Boxing Day morning and most of the stuff was 20% off and everyone was like, 20%, 20%. You know what I mean? It's a good amount of money to come off there. Right, so I'm going to go back over there. I'm not going to take my iPad with me. So don't send me any messages for the next few minutes. Because I've got to, oh, this place is a mess. I've got to tidy up. Right, so now, Kaif. Kaif, 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 Kaif. Got to, up. Uh, the what? You mean the Ancient Glade one? Ancient Glade, which is this one here which is this one here. Right, yeah. Right, and how many have I got left? 
Oh, okay. There's one more. Right, I'll I'm going to be totally and utterly up front with you, right? Some people are already checked out. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Se there are 17 people got it in your baskets. That's absolutely fine. Except there's only 16 left. There's only, there's only 15 left now. 15 left, 16 in baskets. Right, remember this geode print here. What time is it? Oh, no, I'm not going to open the box because they're all going to go. They're all going to go. They're all gonna go. That geode box, oh, why do our cameras do this? It's not Jesse's fault, it's not Jesse's fault. Right, well it is, sort of. Um, that geode fabric is replaced by feathers in your box. You won't get that one, you get the blue and green feathers in your box. But there's more people got that in their baskets. That there, that there, that there. There's more people got that in their baskets and we've got stock of, gone. That one's gone. And that one's going to go. Right, Jesse, I hope you're all right for bending down and picking up in a minute. You have not got a bad back and you're not on crutches, so you can just do it. Right, next. Cottage garden, this beautiful one here. Oh, I'll go this way because it's easier for Jesse to see. Look, 179.99 split pay, three payments of 59.99. Buy it with another. And you'll get 20% off them both. Gorgeous. Now, how many of these have I got? This is where Hannah has to do the maths, right? Yeah? Mm hmm Oh, no, again. Right, okay. There are nine people got this in their basket. Lots of people have checked out already, right? There are nine people got it in the basket. I've only got eight left. And we won't be replacing it. We won't be like, oh, we'll get it back in again in the new year. No. So one of you at the moment will miss out. But remember, just because it's in your basket doesn't mean to say it's yours. So somebody could ring the call centre now and go, oh, I'll have two of those, please. And they can have them, but it means when you come to check out, there might not be one left for you. 179.99. Three split payments of £60. But you will save, remember, uh, 35... Yes. You will save... Uh, uh, £36 on this one, is that right? Yeah, £36. Just shy of £36 you'll save on this one. But again, 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 too many people got it in their baskets. What? I'm going to have a very empty set at this rate, aren't I? Check out, check out, check out. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. You need to check out. Next. Oh, another cave. I've got the last cave. Peach sunset here. And, oh no, this one's even worse. No, no, in a good way, not for you, right? So, there are 18 in baskets, right? There are only six left. There's six left and 18 people want it. Beautiful, isn't it? And we won't get any more. We will not get them again. So you can buy it on its own for £129.99. You can buy it on its own and pay uh, two split pays of £64.99, no interest charge whatsoever. Or you could buy it with something else and get £26 off that. That takes it to almost just £100, doesn't it? Which is a brilliant for a cave quilt, isn't it? And you'll still get the split pay and everything. Okay, there's five of those left. Five... Oh, there are now 21 in baskets. So please, please, please check out 21 of those in baskets. Oh, dear. Oh, no, I don't mind going over the other side. My massive William Morris. Beautiful. Oh! <laughs> the next break might be quite long because I've got to redress the whole set at this rate. Right, the next William Morris. 199.99, three split payments of uh, 66, uh, no, yeah, three split payments of 66, 66. But if you buy that, you'll get 40 pounds off. So that'll take it to what, 159.99? Well, it's a bit, just, just a couple of pennies, isn't it? But the amount of fabric in there and the gorgeous quilt that you're gonna have over afterwards. It's called woven, this one. Have you got a picture of the whole thing rather than me standing, holding it up? I'm sure you did have, yeah. There you go, look. So you get the, the Dresden plate in the middle. 
you get the woven blocks at the, in the forecourt, north, south, east, west. You get the square blocks. You get the flying geese. And then you've got the star cornerstones as well. It's absolutely brilliant. An amazing demonstration by Stuart when we did this. 10th of November. 10th of November. So now, how many of those have I got? Woo! 11. 11 left. Right, there are 11 of those left. That's it. So if you've got it in your basket, please check out. Right, I'm going to have to go. I'm over. Got to do that. Should I do Anna Maria before I go? Okay, we're going to go. I've got to reset. Oh, look at the mess. It looks like a bomb. It's like Christmas morning after all the presents have been opened, isn't it? We will... Hiccup. We will see you... <laughs> in five minutes from now, Catherine's going to be making the tulip cushion. There it is. Now, I've got a bit of an issue, I'm afraid. When we... Not me, personally. Well, I've got lots of issues, but that's by the by. It's not what we're about, Doctor. But... Oh, no, did I, oh, no I'm not going to tell you that. Anyway, I'll tell Hannah. Um, we sent the fat quarters to Catherine. We sent her a red one. There's no red one in your kit, so you're going to be making a blue tulip if you make that one. We will see... It'd be beautiful, but you won't get the red. We will see... Everyone's got red in their stash. We'll see you in five minutes from now. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hello, I'm Emma Bradford from the Swift Quilting Company. I've been a quilter for 25 years. I began sewing and quilting by hand, but now I offer long arm quilting services and I run patchwork and quilting classes. You can see me regularly on Sewing Street demonstrating patchwork techniques. My top tip is there is no right or wrong way, only the way that works for you. There is no such thing as a quilting police. Outside of quilting, I am a qualified botanist and I enjoy riding my motorbike around the country. I hope to see you soon on Sewing Street. to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com alternatively you can message us on our official facebook page hello it's emma from the swift quilting company i just wanted to wish everybody on sewing street from the behind the scenes crew to the presenters to all the viewers a very happy christmas and a fabulous new year cheers hello everyone merry christmas from jane greenoff see you in the new year bye Hello everyone, it's Cara. Just pop by to wish you all a really, really happy Christmas with your family and friends. Wishing you every happiness for 2022 and I look forward to seeing you on Sewing Street. Happy Christmas, bye. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. 
Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. I was trying to make myself a halo, but we haven't got any tinsel. Oh, it's so far off, she said. Yeah, but it'd be like that'd be slipped, wouldn't it, if it was my halo? Well, not anymore. Anyway, <sighs> we love this book. Yeah, where's Filthy Phil when you need him? Anyway, look, big stitch quilting. There was somebody messaged in with the name Filthy Phil. Yeah. That, no, I'm just making it up. It's not the Christmas <laughs> fantasy or anything. <laughs> oh, look, that looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Hang on, that doesn't look right. That looks that like there's someone work. hiding under there, ready to... No, there we go. There we go, there we go. Well, that's even worse now, never mind. We love this book, it's fantastic. Now, I think it's new, isn't it? Is it brand new? Oh, it's been on the web shop, but we've never had it on air before. It's only 14 99 That can't be right. Oh, it is, it is right. Right, so it's Big Stitch Quilting. What it is, it's how to make quilts, right, with using a machine, doing the piecing, but then how you hand tie it, hand quilt it, hand applique it and things like that. So we'll go through it because we've not seen it. We've not seen it before. We'll go through it. So big stitch quilting from Carolyn Foster, right? So look, the contents, we've got quilts. Oh, we've got gifts. That's good because it's Christmas. Gifts. Yes. Yeah, I want you to make one of these. So I'm going to choose one of these, Hannah, and I want it made by tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, look, there's all the different here. Look, 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 look. So you've got here all about the introduction. What is big stitch quilting? Historical, cultural, Indian canther. Then you've got tools and materials. Then you've got, oh, I mean, such a fascinating one. Uh, Catherine's actually read this book because normally we give it to her and she just does her pattern and gives it back. But she's actually read this book and she loved it. I liked yeah. this one, yeah. Lots of pictures, lots of instructions, lots of um, techniques and things like that. So we haven't even got to any projects yet. Look, and we've all, all this quilt designs, marking out quilt designs, quilting stitches. Very important then. Look, oh, look, how many is loads? Men, Mennonite, I've never even heard of that. Mennonite tax, Methodist knot. Now, I've not seen a book that, does, that has done this before here. Running cross stitch. Mitered binding, I want a binding now, squared cornered binding. Then here we go, lovely pictures. That's what I wanted the set to look like this morning, see. <laughs> <laughs> Just that laugh coming from there. Right, so this one's called Navy Borders. They're not difficult. They're not difficult. They just look really, really impressive, don't they? So that's your first one there, Navy Borders. Then look, Octagons, beautiful. I'm presuming that one's all hand stitched, you see, isn't it? That one, that one must be EPP, mustn't it? Uh, <laughs> quick and easy it says uh, anyway it's beautiful oh look isn't it lovely the fabric she's used are gorgeous aren't they then we've got Swedish bars Hannah always been out in the Swedish bars then we've got fabric stack 
There, oh, look how lovely. I, I love it when a quilt does this. When you wash it and a quilt does that, I love that. <clears throat> then we've got stepping stones. Look at that, and lovely photographs, really beautiful. Oh, look. The only thing I'd hate about that is I'd keep banging my toes on that bit there, I think. Love this. Every last piece that one's called. Beautiful. Then we've got scattered flowers. Now, um, Hannah Steph does that for her. He comes in with, like, rose petals and scatters them on the bed for her. <laughs> he did just do it with chocolates until she came in drunk one night and didn't realise there were chocolates. She just fell asleep on top of all the chocolates on her bed. Uh, mil quilted Vines mini quilt, that one. Dolly quilt. Now, Hannah, that's a little one. That's a small one there, you see. Yeah, then we've got the gifts. Look, coasters. Uh, that one where you wrap a thing round a WhatsApp. Japanese gift wrapping, that is, with fabric. Kitchen table topper. That looks like Tim Holtzy fabric, right, doesn't it? Then we've got the sewing roll. Oh, that's nice. There, there you go. Now, this tulip pillow is what we've done. I say we. Catherine. One, one, two, three. Four. Yeah, four fabrics. You need four fabrics. You should press your background there. Not back. Oh, now, what's a zokin? Everyday Japanese life, especially for school children, means miscellaneous and cloth. Oh, I see, like a flannel. Oh, oh, that, oh, they're nice. I'd have those, but you wouldn't be allowed to touch them. They'd just be for show. <laughs> Hot water bottle cover. Nice, isn't it? Lovely. Golden pin cushion. Lavender bag. Table centre. It's a very little table. Those biscuits, they, they've forgot to put the chocolate on those, haven't they? Yeah, we're not working on it. They're all the templates. Now, I'm presuming they're all the right size. They are they indeed. Are. They are indeed. Be oh, all the templates for everything that you need there. All of that for fourteen ninety nine. How brilliant is that? Make sure you check out your baskets, though. Make sure you check out your baskets. Lots of you liking that one. Okay, 20 stunning projects in there. Right, now I've got three bundles to show you. I'm going to show you the one that Catherine is working with in this hour. So what you get is you get one metre of your ivory. Was it cream? Ivory. And then you get fat quarters. Is this Lewis and Irene? Looks like Lewis and Irene. Oh, it's Riley Blake. Doesn't that look like Lewis and Irene? Oh, it's that T for B. T for B. 19, 19, you get a metre, well, you get two metres of fabric, really, don't you? Two metres of fabric in there. Four fat quarters plus your metre of that. 19, 19. Now, even if you're not going to make the tulip, this is a really lovely little bundle, isn't it? 19 pounds and 99 pence. That's that one. Now, I've got a spotty version, which is this one. This one comes with white, or that could be ivory. Ivory. One metre of ivory. And then you get a fat quarter. Now, these are a different shape because we've cut these. They're fold, there are fat quarters there. I like that. You have four different colours there. You get the green, the bottle green, the lemon, the kind of dark rose and the soft blue. $13.99. Gorgeous, wouldn't you say? Now, I've left this one till last because this is the one that we sent Catherine, but we didn't. Right, so you get your metre of your ivory, you get your yellow for the back petals, you get your green for your leaves, you get your blue for your inner bit of your tulip. That's meant to be red. Now, will they get this colour or will they get red? You'll def... Oh, okay. Right, blue. You will get the blue. I don't know why Catherine was sent red. Do you know what I would do, though, John? What would you do? Because you don't generally get blue tulips. Uh, because you've got so much fabric in this bundle, I would make a yellow tulip oh, would you, oh, and what? use the blues in the little diamonds. Oh, good idea. Or it's only a fat quarter. Or you don't even use a fat quarter. No, do you? no. How much red have you got in your stash at home? 
Oh, well, lots. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's what I mean. I mean, if I could open my, I could buy this and there'd be a nice red in my cupboard yes. anyway. So yes. put that in my cupboard and take the red out. It's totally up to you. But as you said, yeah, do a yellow tulip, green leaves and use the two blues for the inter... Oh, that'd be lovely, actually. With the it two would. Yeah. So anyway, that's that there. Th I'm not being negative. I'm just saying. Thirteen ninety nine. Book's very, very popular, by the way. If you've got the book in your basket... Please check out 13.99 that one. Now I've got a few other bits and bobs, but I might do those in the recap after we've seen what Catherine's done. Oh, the book's flying out now. Book is absolutely flying. I'll just recap very quickly. Big stitch quilting, 40. I can't believe it's only 14.99. I'm not going anywhere. 14.99. Okay. Right, now, uh, Kat, not Cat. Hannah wants me to do this before we... Yeah, I know you're Hannah. Can't forget it. This is Aurifil Thread. Now, this is by the Sheba guys, the lovely Sheba guys, right? They're called that because they've got Sheba dogs. They were some um, Sheba Inu dogs, right? This, they've called... They're known for doing Sashko, right? But this thread is Aurifil 12 weight, which is the weight that you would use to do hand quilting and things like that. So this is their heaviest thread, apart from, until you're going to floss. This floss is heavy in this. This is their heaviest thread, though. So in here, have you got a picture of it, Jesse? So I don't have to open it. Five pounds off. I wonder why that price was different. They, oh, they've cut the end bits off. So you've got white, you've got shotters, you've got royal blue, you've got bright red, you've got wine, and you've got the variegated. Oh, were you... Obviously, if you're going to use this in machining, we're talking about hand stitching today, but if you can use it in machining, use bobbin fill or a much finer thread in your bobbin. 325 metres on each spool. Oh, there you go. It's what happened there. Anyway, are you saving five pounds for you get those today? Look, I, I don't know if it's five pounds off all the time, but it's just today. I've never seen before. But uh, Catherine's already got them out, so you didn't need the slide. So I'll go through anything else later so you did what's it called the tulip i've done the tulip right. cushion yes and in the in the book and what yeah. i'm going to show you this morning it's all hand stitched including the applique but on my sample i have machine applique it so you oh, can so do it both ways yes that's good because some people d hate hand stitching but would love the book some people don't like machine absolutely but yeah absolutely um and it's it's not i mean obviously i did my hand stitch on the big stitch quilting at, yes. at the back yeah. um, so you can mix and match and so don't think that all the projects in the book are all hand stitched because they're not yeah because I wouldn't want to make a big king size bed quilt I mean some people do don't get me wrong I haven't got the time to do no. a double bed <laughs> you because you've got so much time on your hands but you know what I mean so I quite like to machine piece everything yes. and then do the odd bit of yes. hand stitching on it just to make it because Marcia who watches oh have you seen the picture of Marcia on Instagram, she's got one of those, she fell and she banged in. She's got one of those, oh, hate, no. you know, those things that sit like that. But oh, yeah, yeah. She's fine, she's fine. But she said she got to sit with it. It's like a halo thing. Anyway, she made, for Ewan's 40th birthday, she made, she made him a quilt, then she hand quilted the whole thing. And it looks absolutely amazing. Well, I've decided hand quilting is the way to go for me. Okay. Um, people who see me on here know that I really hate machine quilting and I don't do it as, or do as little as possible. Uh -huh. And, um, so you know all, so the, ones this you've book, made, absolutely all the ones you've made for Christmas presents for people? Um, the one for my brother, I have um, hand quilted. Oh, you have? Well, I, I tied it. I did yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and don't I say did, the other one in case they're watching. Well, I, I don't think there will be, but okay. I, did, I did machine quilt that. But it was such a wrestle that I've, and then I hand tied the other one. I thought, no, no, this is this the way is to go. And now go. I've seen this book and read this book and I'm like, well, that's it. I'm completely converted okay, now. Okay, so don't make promises for next Christmas. That you'll I'm make making no quilt. promises. <laughs> <laughs> because these quilts that she's making have been on the go now. For I started hour. them in January. Yeah. Yeah. She started them in January. Still she's got one border to put. Yeah. <laughs> but but I'm she's not, not seeing that. I'm not person. seeing my friend till the 29th, so I've still got time, haven't I? Just. <laughs> yeah, but when did you say your shop opens again? <laughs> oh, well, I've got my sewing machine at home. Oh, I did. Boxing Day. Okay. You whiz it through. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So, where do we start? What do we do? <clears throat> so, with this, you've got your templates at the back here. They are full size. So you can just just trace them round. Um, <coughs> excuse me. You right, You got some water. 
I haven't. I just got a tickle, but I'm fine. Are you sure? Um, okay. So when I, um, I machine and did my sample, I used Bond Web. Right. And then I just blithely carried on using the Bond Web because that's how I tend to do applique. Yeah, yeah. And then I read the instructions properly. <gasps> Which is why we always say, isn't it, before you do anything, yeah, really sit down with did. a cup of tea. And, and she suggests um, tracing them onto card or plastic because what we're going to do is we're actually going to do a turned edge applique. Right. But I remember watching Sewing Street not that long ago and Sally Ann was showing like five different sorts of applique. And it was it was awesome. I think I may have invented a sixth one. Oh, okay. So <laughs> using my bottle. <bottom laughs> <web. laughs> so Trace found your templates, and then when you cut them out, she says to use an uh, leave an extra quarter inch. So this is my one that I haven't done. You can see I have got the bondo web on there. You may have just tra done it round a, a template, and I've cut it with a little extra. Right. Okay. So just to establish it, I've, as per usual, managed to go off piste, <laughs> but it's working out. Good. Uh, and then what you're going to do is you're going to press this edge in. And because it's curvy, so I'm showing you on a curved one because it, they're trickier than the straight one. All the little curves we need to just snip in up to our line so that it's going to be able to turn nicely. So we're just going to snip round. Now, if you're doing it on the machine, you don't need to do this. Right. You can just um, peel it off and iron it on because your machine stitching is going to... I mean, to be fair, if you were hand stitching it on, you, you actually don't have to if you don't want to and you've put Bonder Web on mm -hmm. because the Bonder Web does help to stop it fraying, doesn't it? So you're just trying to cover up for your mistakes now. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. yeah. But, you know... As Sally Ann showed on that show, there are loads of different ways yeah, of, of doing a plique. Are, yeah. So you can choose your, your preferred method. Um, so I'm going to fold it in around on my pencil line and press it into that shape. So obviously, because I've got the bond web on there, I'm pressing my bond web as well. But it does help it all stick, actually. Right. So the bond web's still got the paper in there? I've still got the paper on. Yeah, don't peel it off at this point, else you'll just have the whole thing stuck to your iron. Yep. And you'll be in trouble. So it's, it's a little bit fiddly, this bit, but once it's done, it looks really nice. Uh -huh. Yeah, because Lucy Brennan, who used to have on Sewing Quarter, she loved doing needle, needle turn applique, which is what it, we all kind of do now, but she didn't even press it over. She, she did it with the did end she, of a needle. Did, as she went, she went along, yeah. yeah. So if you get a bit that sort of wants to poke out, doesn't quite want to do that, that's, you can use your needle to sort of push it yeah. in. Absolutely. So I'm just taking it all the way around there as we go. So those snips are really helping it to keep the shape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, Hannah's saying that... Um, Lena Anderson does a lot of this as well on her um, hand turn. I mean, in the in the book, she suggests that you can use a little bit of glue if you find it, uh, like glue stick, yeah, if yeah, you're yeah. finding it difficult to make it stay, which is where the bond web <laughs> that I've accidentally done actually comes into its own. Yeah. I love it when things happen by accident sometimes. Jan says, don't forget, Catherine, there's no right or wrong, just what works best for you. Thank you, Jan. Hannah said she's going to tell a policeman that next time she gets arrested <laughs> for being drunk and disorderly. <laughs> not today. You're not drunk and disorderly today, but when you are. Well, I just, I mean, I, there isn't a right or wrong. You do it your preferred way. I just wanted to explain that I hadn't, I hadn't prepped it exactly as the book had told you. Yes. I don't want you to get the book and then go, oh, no, Catherine did it differently. Wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Catherine didn't follow the book. So at that little corner there, you get a little bit that sort of wants to stick out. So I've just... Just uh, snip it off as you as you go around that edge, okay. and then that will all fold in. So now I've got that all turned in nicely. I'm going to peel my paper off now. Right. So obviously I've got to unfold it a little bit, but I, I, because you've pressed it, you've got yourself a nice fold line. Yeah. It's just. Mm. It's well stuck. It's been on here for a while. Okay. <laughs> been trying to be very organized and get things ready in advance mm -hmm. one 
nice little bit. You do want to make sure you get it off because you don't want to be trying to stitch through it. No, and also you don't want the paper in there because when you wash it, it'll be go crunch, And crunchy. it would be crunchy, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. It is deciding to stick quite firmly. There we go. There go. Okay. So, on our background, we can then pop it in place. And because we've got the Bonder Web on there, we can iron it in place. Now, if you haven't done it with Bonder Web, Pin it in place. Yeah. So let's just get the position right. The only bit you don't have a template for is this stalk. Well, it's just a straight piece. But it's it? just a straight piece. So you can, once you've uh, laid it out, you can decide how big you want it to be. So because you've got your bonder web on there, it will, apart from that very edge where you've turned it in, it will stick. But because you've pressed it, Oh, so the middle bit's going to be so the, sticking Yeah, down. that's going to be held down for but you. But you see, the bit you turned but round will be... That'll be free, loose. but that's yeah. where you're going to, exactly. to stitch anyway. I'm just going to turn that so I can get it nice. This is another, another spring-like project. We've been very spring-like today. Yeah, well, stepping into spring. And they're singing okay. a song about stepping into spring. So I'm going to go around the edge with the green, because that's what I've done on my other ones. Right. Um, I've already got my wadding attached to it, so that you're going through through both layers on this Could you use part. H640? You could do. It would make it springier. Right. Um, again, I think that's personal choice, mm. isn't it? Which, yeah. which version you like. Oh, I see. So now you're going to be doing stitches. Are you doing stitches that we can see or are you doing They're stitches? going to be relatively, hopefully relatively large. I'll start going around this one. So th this one you're going to do, a, your applique, you're doing a slightly smaller stitch. Yeah, but we see, we're seeing it's not hidden. No, it's not so hidden. So it's not like needle turn where you're trying to hide the No, stitch. it's you're not. You're actually making No, this a... is part of the design. Right. Got so it. it's just a very straightforward little running stitch. Mm-hmm doesn't need to be too tiny. Margaret says the tulip petal on the left looks a bit like a parrot with a red beak and a big eye. Oh, we'll have a look at that in a minute, Margaret. Oh, yeah, I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> that one. No, not that one. That one. Let's <laughs> see. Oh, there. I can see now. No, on the one that's on the tape. <laughs> oh. Look, just just put it down a second, Catherine, so we can see. Look. There. Looks like a pigeon. Yeah. <laughs> they were both looking at the solid red one going, I can't see it. Honestly. <gasps> oh, there you go. Someone else said that. Sue just said, looks like a bird with a big eye. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you all, says another Sue. So obviously how you position your template. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> your, uh, yeah, fussy cut it. Your, uh, your design. And I mean, I've chosen to do the large yellow diamond and then the smaller pink ones, but you can um, alternate it if you want to. You don't have to do it the same way around as me. You've got a fat quarter of each. Yes, exactly. Um, you have to be able to cut four strips for your four borders. But if you choose one of these central two fabrics, you've got enough to cut your border strips as well but out could, of the fat quarter. But you could also do it out of two of the fabrics if you wanted to, couldn't you? Absolutely. There's lots of flexibility. I have to say, because I've not used these um, Aurifil threads before, and they're fantastic. They're oh, are they? Yeah, I really like them. Only four left in stock now. They've flown out this but morning. Just five pounds off. Just a really nice weight for doing it, because yeah. it shows, but it's not so thick that you can't manage them. No thimble? I don't personally use a thimble. But if you do, there's lots of different sorts you could try. Well, I could send you one of these if you're not into <laughs> thimble. Would you like this, right? It's an olive palm thimble, right? Uh, there it is. They do, now you might get a blue one, a yellow one, a pink a one, a green one. They vary in colour. Catherine was sent a pink one. They come in purple as well. Right, the way it works is like this, because you get there's a ribbon in there as well. You pass the ribbon through the centre. See, I couldn't get past the threading the ribbon through a bit. <laughs> I opened it up, I was like, oh, I can't get them through. I'm not with But I, I didn't try very hard, to be honest. <laughs> you, go, you pass the ribbon through the centre. 
There you go, like that. Then what you do need a friend to help you, really. That's the problem, Hannah says. Right, so what you do is you put that on your hand and you tie it here, like that. Oh, I know what you should do. Bit what? Of, bit of elastic. Yeah, elastic yeah. would be better. Then it's there attached to... So let me just... I'll just tie it tightly for like this for now. But a bit of elastic would be better. Right, there you go. You see, tie a ribbon around it like that. What's the matter, Jesse? <laughs> I shan't tell you what Jesse said, but he's not a sewer. Right, so then it's on your hand like that. So when you're stitching, you see it sits in your oh sorry, it sits in your hand like that. And then when you're stitching, you push your needle through with that. So rather than going like that, you go like that. Yeah, it'll just put yeah. Um you can see how it would work. Yeah. But it's this bit here that's a bit odd because I'd put elastic through it as well. Yes, I think elastic. Because would now work. I'm stuck then you can with take it on well now. you can <laughs> Went to my friend has tied it really tightly on my hand like that. It's on my hand then. So if you turn up for Christmas dinner. I'm sure like, it's got many good uses though. <laughs> you wear it throughout the day, John. You'll find lots of lots of useful Knock things. Knock on the door. Knock your when you've got your boiled egg, break your boiled egg show. Nutcracker. Oh, you need two for nutcrackers, I think, wouldn't you? Well, you might damage your table. Anyway, let's carry on with the sewing. Okay, I'm nearly, I'm nearly round. Oh, no, don't be nearly finished. Oh, no, I've got, I haven't started my quilting bit yet. Oh, okay. This, I, this was just the last of the applique part. Yeah. But I didn't think you'd want to see me do all the applique part. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I thought you'd like to actually see the big stitch quilting, which is what the book's about. Okay, please make sure you check out on the book, because more than half the stock has gone. Already. Brand new. Never been on air before. Wrist around the edge there. Okay. Just finish that off with. Where are the stitches for all the other bits? Well, they're sort of in the wadding. They oh. get hidden in the wadding. Okay. Right. So there's my design or appliqué on. Yeah. And obviously you could you could add extra embroidery if you wanted to. Yeah. Couldn't you? Not coming out the bag then. Um. So you're at this point you. You're going to just put a piece of backing fabric oh, of course, behind yes. your applique. You can pin it, you can tack it, you can five you can iron it. Five it. Shall I iron it? No, first? no, 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 no. Just <laughs> in real life, you would iron yes. it first, though, wouldn't you? Okay. Oh, there's Marcia. We were just talking about you, Marcia. Oh, you all right, my love? Oh, it looks nice now. I've got it all together. Yeah. Don't sound so surprised. <laughs> You know when you well, when you're working on something you're close to it and it's not until sometimes you step away and look, isn't it? Yeah. Don't you? Have you got your bumblebees upside down? Are they flying south for winter? They could be. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jessie's fault. It's been an upside down sort of day. Yeah. You know though, when I looked at it, I thought they were the right way around. So it probably well, it might be me, because it might be these glasses again. No, you're right. <laughs> you usually are, John. No, I'm <laughs> far, far from it. And I can trust you to spot it as well. <laughs> I'm just going to pin that on. OK. Uh, Claire said, I recently bought a quilt from a charity shop. It's all beautifully hand quilted. Must have taken someone ages to do. Oh, I can imagine. I think the hand quilting just gives them such a lovely old-fashioned mm -hmm. look but in a really nice yeah. way don't they i never oh, i've got friends who go come go oh i've got this in a charity shop i found this in a charity shop and not just quilts but all sorts of things you're like i never i go to a charity shop and go oh, it's a load of old tut you're this, going to the it? wrong place market harbour has got really posh um charity shops well it's really funny because when i used to beat the stylist at, uh, um this morning every now and then we do one from a charity shop and i'd be shopping in like you know, kind of Hackney or somewhere like that. And then the person I'd be doing it lived in Kensington or Knightsbridge, and they come in with all the, you go, you got that from a charity shop, yeah. you know. So it depends where you should. Absolutely, you absolutely. Um, so you can mark on where you want to do your design. Yeah. What are you using? I'm going to use my friction pen. Okay. Please, please, please. Have a test before have you do it. Have a test first, because a lady put on Facebook this week that she'd put a red, 
I think it was, oh, was it red fabric? She'd use red fabric, friction pen on red fabric, and it's left a ghosting yeah. mark. So always, you always, should, always you should, check. You should check. Um, she does suggest in the book you can use the Hera markers. Oh, just, yeah. Um, they don't leave a mark, they leave like a crease, yeah. don't they? Well, I'd be frightened about going over my stitches with a Hera marker. I guess I was a bit rough with it, you know. No, she's looking at me like I'm crazy. So all it does is just make a, a yeah, mark. Yeah, no, you push down like that, don't you? No? Yeah, but not too hard. Right. I think you'd be okay. All right, well, I'm going to do I it anyway. Thought, but <laughs> I thought I'd use the friction marker because you're better to see yes. what I'm doing Brilliant. here. Um, so we're going to do some, I'm going to do some corner to corner ones. So we'll just... Oh, Hannah's got a question. I apologise <laughs> before we start. When you're marking up for quilting... Yeah, and you want to test your fabric for your marking pen. Uh, on this one, you'd have to test every single fabric, yes. Um, yeah. uh, if you noticed, Hannah, I didn't draw across my tulip because I'm not going to. Oh, quilt there you go. So you'd only, oh, so you're only quilting in the cream. I'm only quilting. Here's cream. Marcia. Hello, John and Hannah. Thank you so much for mentioning me. Once again, you're keeping me sane. One month down, two more to go using the halo. Marcia, I had no idea. It was only yesterday, the day before, when I saw it on your Facebook page that I saw you'd got it. Anyway, you take care. I hope you and looking after you and doing all the housework, looking after you, hand and foot, waiting on your hand and foot, because your boy's not going to it. She's, when we first started talking to Marcia, she had this, I think, is he called Jack, your, your boy? And he was this sweet little 12-year-old boy. He's now like a 17-year-old teenager with attitude. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm sure he's still a lovely boy, but he's got attitude now. Claire says, I've got a cashmere cardigan for £4 in RSPCA. Well, that's very nice. Uh, morning to you both, says Julianne. Christmas preparations done. Table ready. Now watching and enjoying your chat. How lovely. And when will you finish here? Is that you done for Christmas now? It is. And I'm hoping uh -huh. that I'm going to get home and all that veg will be prepped. Oh, you're, yeah, likely. I think, no, I think my boys will be on it today. Oh, do you think? I think so. Hen Henry, my master chef, he yeah. was planning to make gingerbread and chocolate eclairs. Oh, he makes a mean chocolate eclair, John. Oh, wow. Yeah, and uh, Simon says he's cooking tomorrow, so hopefully I'll get home and those Brussels will be ready. And a glass of sherry then when you get in? <laughs> My nana used to give us sherry when we were about 10 years old, and we'd go home like... Whoa. Yeah, my, my nan did as well. <laughs> uh, but, she, but they used to put lemonade in it or water in it. It was horrible, eh? No, it? we only had, like, the proper strong stuff. Wow. Did you used to have port and lemon? Oh no, that oh, was past. So this is my other my other grandparents. They used to give you when we used to go either port and lemon or a snowball. Oh blimey, they were very, <laughs> very on trend, weren't they? Yeah, but these were when we were kids. I know, oh no, I know. It's, we, do, we don't condone this. We, do, we also don't condone what my nan used to do with me. My nan was a smoker, so she smoked like this. And then she'd go, let's come here, come here, she'd go like that. And put <laughs> it into my mouth. Right, go in the lounge, in front of your mum and dad and go. <laughs> <laughs> we don't we don't <laughs> suggest you do that oh dear no definitely not okay so when you're starting off this big stitch quilting i've only marked one way i might go back the other yeah yeah um but you can do as much or as little as you like so you are going to tie a knot into your thread right and you're going to bring it through and pull just give it a little little tug so that the knot I've gone too far. You have to do it ever so gently. Yeah. Just that, so your knot gets in your wadding and sticks there. Right. There we go. I felt it. Okay. And then you can just, um, I can off. get that little end off then. Out Why the don't you just come through from the other side? Well, this is how the book tells you okay, to do it sorry. and how to, yeah. and how yeah, to no, start no, no, it off. So, and because I have actually, I did actually read this, apart from the bit about the template. Yeah. Cause I, that's because <laughs> I thought I knew what I was doing with yeah, that. Yeah. But this is new to me, the big stitch quilting. I hadn't done it before. So I was really interested to read all about it, read all the history and, uh -huh. and, and how to do it. So. Okay, you started something off now. Karen from Wigan says, oh, I love a snowball. My grandma used to give them to me every Christmas. And then Alice and Marion says, oh, Christmas isn't Christmas without a snowball while you're cooking the meal. Well, you won't be cooking <laughs> the meal tomorrow. You'll be here. What are you going to do about your Christmas lunch? Someone else might. She, she might bring some in a flask. What, not the snowball? Maybe. No, no, no. She got to, I was wondering <laughs> when she was going to cook her dinner. <laughs> she says she's putting in a slow cooker for you. Are you staying over tonight? She normally stays over the night oh, before. Oh, okay. I think so. Mm. Yes. Okay. Um, and then you're just going to, it's just 
a running stitch. Now it's not as precise as, you know, Sashko, you're aiming to get your gap between your stitches half of the half of your stitch length mm -hmm. and it's very, very precise. This is not precise in the same way. You want it relatively even, but it's not, you know, quite as down to the last millimetre. Yeah. But just a nice running stitch. Uh, now she does suggest in the book that you can use an embroidery hoop to hold it, mm -hmm. to stop it getting too puckered. I personally like to feel what I'm doing. Right. So I haven't particularly, but if you have a large embroidery hoop, then you can pop that on and use it. Again, it's personal preference, isn't it? It is indeed. I'm using the variegated thread on this. I really like variegated ones. And again, I think thought you would hopefully be able to see it. Mm -hmm. what, I li what I did like about this book as you read it is it didn't assume you knew stuff. I like that. Often, Never often you get a book, and especially if you're a beginner, it goes, just do that. And then you think, oh, well, it's like going to do a French seam. And you're like, oh, okay, yeah. what's one of those then? Yeah, no, it doesn't. It, it <coughs> explains everything really nicely. Okay, uh, Margaret says, my aunt used to make Sheffield's black beer and lemonade. Ooh. <laughs> Isn't there one where you have Guinness and, is it Guinness and champagne? Is that one? Anyway. Oh, Guinness with shots in it, Hannah says. Ooh, no. Uh, anyway, I've got lots of messages. Snowballs for the kids to help them sleep, says Nikki. <gasps> well, we, we're not, this is not us telling you to do this. <laughs> not telling you to do this. Uh, June says, our Christmas Eve tradition is snowballs. We grew up in different times. My uncle used to make us fruit pims with a slug of rum. This <laughs> when she was a child. We did have a laugh. I bet you did, So, <laughs> Alison Mann suggests I am staying over. We'll cook when you get back. Oh, cracking. Christine says, I love port and lemon. Uh, reminds me of my mum. I was allowed one on Christmas Day. Wonderful memories. So I bought some port yesterday. I love a snowball too. Christine, you just like alcohol, let's just face it. <laughs> well, I don't know what port it port like as in port they have after dinner. Yes. Oh I just And you put lemonade with it. Oh, okay, so don't see so it's very sweet. Yes, I can imagine. Uh, there was one Christmas, my dad used to be in the oh what was it called? Masons, right? And, and the, he was worshipful master one. I don't know anything about it. He invited all my brothers. I never got invited to join him, but I don't care. Um Right, but, but, but my mum had a ladies' night and so I used to make her a ball gown and then she'd invite me and Dulcie to go to the, the thing. So there was this one year and it was begin, it was like beginning of December. So Dulcie and I both had pantos opening like two days later. So we went all the way up to Cheshire. We had our dinner, we did dancing, we drank a bottle of port each <laughs> at the end what? of dinner. Then we had to get dropped off at the train station and she went to York to do her panto and I went to Colchester to do my panto. After a, how we did it, I have no idea. I just remember being at Liverpool Street Station like falling asleep like this the next morning because we'd gone on overnight train and everything. <laughs> I must have stank of port. And, anyway, uh, very quickly, message from Rachel. When I visited my grandparents in the Midlands at Easter, my granddad would put whiskey in my tea in the morning to warm me up. I was about five. <gasps> you see, now you'd get arrested for that, wouldn't you? Well, my mum's um, <laughs> recipe for a cold, any cold, whiskey and hot water, if and sugar child? stirred in. Oh, God, any age. I can't oh. remember not being given it. How strange, isn't it? <laughs> it's very strange. My nan used to have whiskey in her tea, and we used to do her shopping when she was older every yeah. Saturday. She'd go, oh, I need a bottle of whiskey. And my dad would go, but we bought you one of those last week. She'd go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So when you get to the end, you finish off, come up through, like, the middle of the last stitch. It's just and then take it down again. Okay. Another Margaret says Guinness and Champagne is called Black Velvet. It is, yes. Mm. I like a cocktail. Well, Guinness and Champagne's hardly a cocktail. Well, I think it is a cocktail. Well, oh, you'd have a pint of Guinness? <laughs> was it, is it just in a cocktail glass or do you have a pint of Guinness and pour some champagne in? Does it make it fizzy? I don't, make it fizzy? I don't know, I've not no, had one. No, I don't, I never like Guinness. But I do like a cocktail. Yeah, Moscow Mule used to be my weakness. Or a sea breeze. I used to love a sea breeze. No, it's not horse. It's it's uh, cranberry, grapefruit. What would they? What would the alcohol be in it then? Is it vodka? I don't know. Sea breeze could be. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, could be. Anyway, not to worry. <laughs> don't drink anymore. I haven't drunk for three years now. 
Right. Yeah, I am tempted this Christmas to have a little tipple, though, I have to say. You could just have one, couldn't you? Yeah. I like a little Prosecco. Yeah, yeah. Pr I like a Prosecco as well. In fact, sometimes I prefer a Prosecco to a champagne. Yeah. I could afford Prosecco. Yeah. I like it with um, cassis in, you know, oh, with the Key yeah, Royale. Oh, like yeah, the Key Royale. And yeah. The, uh, there's the Key Royale and there's another one, isn't there? What's they call the one with the, with the raspberry um, liqueur in it as well? Anyway. <gasps> oh, making me get me all... Um, <laughs> whilst you're stitching that, can yes. I just show this page here in the book? Because Absolutely. there's quilt designs in here. So it shows you how to do tabletop quilting. But then in the quilt design here, it first of all shows you how to make the template. So if you wanted to do like a clamshell like this for your quilting, which means that there, it shows you how to do that. It, there's the hair marker that Catherine was just talking about there. And then these are all the different stitches they suggest. So the, you're doing big, sti big stitches, aren't I you? I am, yes. But you can also do Mennonite tacks and it shows you what they look like and how you do them. Very close up photos there. You've got Methodist knots there. You've got running cross stitch there. I like the look of that. That's one. all. That's all the stitches there that it suggests in the book. But do what you want, really, can't you? I think the cr I like the cross stitch one. I'm going to try that one. Yeah, it looks nice, doesn't mm. it? There, there's something else in there that I thought was. I'm trying to remember what it was now. What it stitch? went in my head and it flew out again. About that was, that was really um, templates. It'll come to me in a second. Okay. There's so much in this book, though. Loads of you got this in your basket. It's fantastic. And loads of pictures as well. It's nice that there's a lot of different size projects. So if you want to give it a go, you can give it a go on some of the smaller projects before yeah. you launch into oh, yes, the giant exactly. quilt. Yeah. yeah, make yourself some coasters or something like that. Um, here you go, Beverly. She wants to see my, thim my olive thimble. So it ties around the back of your hand like that sits there and then when you're stitching you can use that to push the needle the end of the needle through rather than having a thimble on the end of your finger you see when i first started saying i could never ever ever wear a thimble it was a nightmare and then one day just suddenly happened and then i never i never ever not did hand sewing without a needle uh, without yeah. a thimble i automatically put it on Didn't, i've not seen one of those before i came here oh carol's emailed Oh, ca you can't say that, Carol. She said, my mum loved a port and lemon. If she had one, she was anybody's. <laughs> if she drank two, she was... If she drank two, she was everybody's. Happy Christmas to you all. I don't think we're allowed to say that, are we? <laughs> everybody's friend, obviously. I've just ironed away the, the pen on that bit, so hopefully oh. Oh, you, you can no, see no, how it looks. No, I meant to, so that hopefully you can see how it looks without the yeah. pen as well. Looks nice, doesn't, doesn't it? Doesn't it? I'm going to do a little bit that way. Okay, yes. Yeah, so just so that you can really get the straight, effect. Straight line ha uh, cross hatching, but you can do all sorts yeah, of Yeah, so there's waves a, a nice bit sunburn. in there with the waves about using. So you can use anything round and you use it as your marker. Oh, we go. Dulcie's To draw around. Yep. Yeah. No, no, sorry, sorry. I remember the night very well, John. We were complimented on our marvellous dancing, but ooh, the hangover from the port. There you go. And didn't we have to go all the way to our pantos because we had our technical rehearsals for pantos the next day. I had a blue floral uh, dinner jacket on. Bright blue floral dinner jacket on that night. Of course I did. Lager and cider is a snake bite, apparently. Yes, I used to drink those at university. Oh, did you? Yeah. I liked to drink this when I was out, but I also like a... Dog bite. Oh, hang on. That's Newcastle brown ale and cider. Oh, you're classy, Christine. <laughs> now I like a white Zinfandel. Zinfandel. That's a white wine. Oh, it's a white wine. Yeah. Or a Prosecco. Cheers, she says. Yeah. We're going to have everybody drinking by 12 o'clock at this rate, aren't we? <laughs> it's very interesting what everybody likes to drink, though, isn't it? My mum and, mum and dad like a cocktail. Sometimes I ring them up on my way home from work when I'm collecting the children from school. So this is about three o'clock. They'll be like, oh, yeah, we're just having a cocktail. Well, <laughs> I'm like, how early? That's not, no, my mum used to say after 11 o'clock, anything goes. It's their cocktail yeah. hour. Yeah. Oh, well, in America, don't they have Mai Tais at about three o'clock in the afternoon? That's not, am I? Yeah, they, they, yeah. Did anyone, what, Jack has just sneezed? 
No, Jacko, the man who works upstairs. They, he's just sneezed upstairs and they could hear it down here. <laughs> oh, don't let him in. Don't let him in. Don't let him in. He's got a headache and sneezing. He's not allowed in the building. Oh, no. Oh, and he's got a bad ankle. That's not, that's not a symptom of COVID, though. It's a bad ankle. I'm doing a little bit of the wave one so oh, you can I, see oh, that pattern. Yeah, so you, sorry, I interrupted you then when Dulcimer was doing So you, you drew round the so tin I, pan. I, I went round the bottom because that was the, the thing I, on there that was round. So you can just choose something round to draw oh, mark yes. your circles. If I do a couple more, you'll see the effect. It's quite nice. It's sort of like a seashell pattern. You, I mean, you can do any pattern you like. Yeah, of course you can. Georgina definitely can't read yours out. But we used to say perno was that. Oh, hang on, Dulcis will come back. And you'd made your mum a gorgeous... No, that wasn't... The, the blue tafta was the first year and then the black and gold one from Borovix was the next year. But yes, thank you. It's always five o'clock somewhere, says Claire. Uh, winter Pims is lovely too. That's Pims with a dash of brandy and warm apple juice. Oh, that does sound nice. She's posh though, Karen, isn't she? She I may like... live in Wigan, but she's very posh. <laughs> I like summer Pims, so I probably would like winter Pims. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't drink very much, really. It might not sound like it, but I actually don't drink very much at all. So hopefully you can start to see that wave pattern coming. There's not someone else, you see. Someone else has put, my mantra is somewhere in the world, it's five o'clock. Oh, it's another Claire. It must be something to do with Cla Claire's. Three Claire's have messaged in saying, well, somewhere in the world, it's five o'clock. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so have you all started on your Christmas drinking already then? I've still got another hour. Well, no, we've got longer than an hour at work. We've got an hour of shows and then all the packing away and the getting out. Oh, okay. So Hannah's ordered a Starbucks from us. She ordered it at the start of Catherine's. I was going to say, it's not arrived, has it? No, no. The start of Catherine's. It's somewhere in, a, in an Uber. I'll be drinking that on my way home then. Yeah. Well, what? Well, you can collect it from Starbucks <laughs> and deliver it. Other coffee shops are available. Jan says, this is the other Jan. Just back from dropping off the shopping to my daughter and granddaughter. Oh, both have COVID. Oh, no. Mm. Not quite the family Christmas we had planned. Oh, Jan. I know so many people who have Christmas. Watching on TV, but still have Facebook open to see easy to look at what you said. Oh, OK. Yes. Yeah. I'm not reading that out, Jan, though, that one. Guinness and Blackcurrant is a princess. Guinness. Guinness and black currant is a pr imagine going to a pub in your village. Hannah, going, can I have a prince? <laughs> can I have a princess Guinness? <laughs> yeah. They chuck you out the pub, wouldn't they? What was the place you were advertising yesterday? And you said it's lovely living here because there's, was there something an art installation or something? Oh right, I'll just explain. Where Hannah lives, I'm not going to say the town bit where she lives, but they have, it's very, very cosmopolitan and they have artist drops. So every now and then an artist will just display some of their work for free. Like, will they? Oh, they package them up like press. Oh, like, like a yarn drop where people drop love at hearts, knitted yarn. Oh, isn't that lovely? So it then advertises local, local artists. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? And did you find it then? Oh, yeah. Uh, this Claire, this Claire doesn't drink. Last time was a chocolate liqueur by accident in 2007. Oh dear, Claire. <laughs> That's like when I went to a party, Cassie and Matt's party across the road, and Jackie Flackerty from number 24 said, oh, I have one of these, John. They're lovely, they're cheese. I said, yeah, sure, she said, yeah. So I ate it, right? Can't fish. And I, have, I can't eat fish without throwing up everywhere. Oh, no. And I'm in this party going, are you sure, Jackie Flackety, that's just cheese? And then the daughter, Cassie's daughter, came over and went, yeah, they're my salmon surprises. And I was like, yeah, surprise me, thank you. Oh, look, that, look at that, looks lovely. The clamshells look gorgeous. Let's see. You can see it starts to come together really quickly. Yes. Oh, I imagine that's really addictive. Yes. In a good way, obviously. Yes. But I'd want, uh, you know, you think, oh, I should go to bed in a minute. Oh, I'll just do three more. Yeah. Or I'll go to bed in a minute. I'll mm -hmm. just do three more and then work your way across. It's lovely, isn't it? So there's, there's all sorts you can do with it. 
It's nice. remember what else you were going to say about this book then? No. No, just that I really liked it. <laughs> I'll go through <laughs> it again really like so it. many people have yeah, loved it. Yeah, it's... Um, uh, don't forget your cushion infill as well. Um, uh, right, okay, so let me take you through the book again. 14 .99. It's got so much in it. Now, it's been on our website for a while, but we've not had it live on air. You are absolutely loving it, right? You're loving this. Um, it's got so much in it. So if you look in here, you've got 38 pages of techniques to start with, right? So there's 38 pages of just techniques. Then you go in, there's different quilts here, navy borders, octagon, Swedish bars, fabric stack, and then there's all these gifts that you can make as well. The cushion that we've done, it, oh, we, Catherine has done, is in the gifts there. But it's just fantastic. The first 38 pages are all about stitches and planning and how you mark it up, how you bind it, everything like that. And then we get onto the actual quilts here, and they're just such lovely. Now, I think basically you could hand you could hand stitch the quilts if you want piece it by hand as well if you wanted it to but you could make that one by machine and then hand quilt it but then this one I'm sure this octagon or this one here I'm sure that one must be it's done not, it's machine piece no it's machine it is piece. it's because it's um I, I was looking when you were talking about it it's a square and then you do little squares to make the corners oh how machine clever piece. so it's not actually no. sewing together oct uh, octagons it's not because that would this life could be too short couldn't it just yeah so, um, yeah so if you look on that page 54 can you see how it, it tells you to do your corners oh yes look how so it's like a stitch and brilliant. flip yeah yes we all know stitch because you do a lot a lot of them to, to make arrowheads and things like that don't we how brilliant so it's cool that is brilliant because it's going to look like you've, and then if you hand quilt it, it's going to look like you've done a ha whole hand quilt, um, a whole quilt by hand. Anyway, they're beautiful. Look, look, look at these. Look at these designs here. It's just do like little mountain. They look like little mountains on that one. Look, just so many different things that you could do. Look, there's the kind of sun rays and things like that. I just think it's such a lovely book, and so many of you got it in your basket. It's very well photographed as well. I it think it is, isn't it? Yeah, very nice photograph to really show you what it's what it's doing. Exactly. What page are you on there? What I was just getting 86, which 86. looks like she's done some machine quilting and some... Oh, yes, um, look at that. That's a mix. So that looks like the cross hatch is done by machine. Yeah. And then you've done a, a, like a window page which check on a lovely. Prince of Wales check by hand. So there's just so many really lovely ideas. Hannah thinks that we haven't got another book that, uh, here that goes into this kind of detail for people who want to do it at hand. We've got loads of books on machine quilting and things like that, but not, yeah, but not a whole book on it. It's fantastic, isn't it? Um, uh, Christine said, oh, that was very quick sewing. <laughs> I am, I am quite speedy. You are. The drink I miss from my youth is baby sham. Don't they make baby sham anymore? Oh, they do. Anna's got baby sham tomorrow, so you must... I've got baby sham glasses. Uh, only because my friend Jane, the makeup artist at this morning, one year I saw I'm collecting, like, champagne glasses, and for Christmas she bought me a whole set of six... And she bought them all from different charity shops and vintage shops and things. Oh, so she, yes, Hannah's got baby sham. I didn't know that... Because you used to put a cherry, a glacé cherry in baby sham, didn't you? Um, anyway, we need to get on. Uh, thank you ever so much. That's OK. When are you in next? I'm in on the 4th of January. Oh, not long then. No. Oh, I'm in on the 4th, aren't I? Am I in on the 4th? I think I am, aren't I? Is it a Tuesday? I think oh, it's I a don't Tuesday. Know. The days are all well, weird yeah. in January. But anyway, uh, you and yours have a fantastic Christmas. And you have a happy Christmas. Christmas. We'll do. Oh, I'm in the 4th. There you go. So I'll see you then. Lovely. That's my brother's birthday. And um, 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 don't work over on Boxing Day. Have a day off. I will have a day off. I'm planning to. Yeah. I may have even more than one day off. Good. <laughs> OK, let me just do a quick recap then. The book is 14 99 Lots and lots and lots. You got that in your basket. Oh, and how many do we have? Oh, two thirds have gone. Two thirds have gone already and more in baskets. And we had lots. We had lots of these because it hadn't been on air before. Beautiful, isn't it? Fourteen ninety nine. Uh, the the fat quarter bundles. Do you want me to go through any of those? Okay. The the thread I presume is gone. Is it the Sheba guy's thread is gone? Oh, I know what I need to ask you about very quickly. I know I've already said goodbye to you. Needle. What needle did you use? Uh, the Sashko needles. This one here. Yes, because they've got a nice uh, big eye for threading that thread. Yeah. And uh, well, you've got the pack is nice because you've got different lengths, but I've used the sort of longest one. 
Five because then you can do a few stitches at once. Exactly. Now, well, they're meant to be sashiko needles, but you're not doing... You're, it's sort of sashiko if you're it's going similar. through a few. It's similar, it's isn't similar. it? It's similar. It's similar. 5 Sorry, I knew I meant to ask that question earlier. Okay, now the three bundles I've got here are the one that we've just seen demonstrated here, Riley Blake, T with B. So you get your metre, most popular bundle, you get a metre of your ivory and a fat quarter of each of those four. Make sure you get your bumblebees the right way up. Oh, I can see why you get confused. Anyway, that's that one. Then we've got the spotty one, which is this one here. So you get a metre of your ivory and then you get your spotty. Oh, now these will be big. If I'm not mistaken, these are bigger fat quarters, look, because that fabric's wide, isn't it, Han? Oh, Elliot, don't put her off. 13.99 so you get that and the four and the, the four fat quarters the green the blue the rose and the yellow and then last but not least you get this one here so you get a meter of your ivory yellow fat quarter green fat quarter and your two blue fat quarters there you do not get the red if you got red look in your stash 13.99 right we're going for a break now uh, we've got Delphine kits coming now. Lots of you already been buying these on pre-order because yesterday when Delphine was in, people kept asking about the owl. The owl instructions on their own. We've got a bundle as well, but the owl instructions on their own are flying out. Also, you know Cora the cat. We've got that. I think we just got that in instructions, haven't we? I think we just got that in instructions. Oh, it's just called cat. I'll see you. Thank you again, by the way. I'll see you in five minutes from now. Merry Christmas everyone! I hope you have a fab time and get loads of sewing done. Hi everyone! I'm sending you best wishes for the festive season and would like to thank you for all your wonderful support over the last 12 months. Who could believe there's another new year just around the corner? I'm looking forward to spending more sewing time with you in the new year and looking forward to seeing all your fantastic makes. I hope you have a happy and safe Christmas. Lots of love! Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all the Sewing Street fans. Thank you for watching over the year. I um, hope you have a wonderful time. And remember, keep sewing. Merry Christmas. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hi, I'm Debbie Harris, and I'm so excited to be one of the new guest designers here on Sewing Street. I live and work in Melton Mowbray in Leicestershire where I run my own knitting and sewing business called Mabel and Deb. I specialise in sewing and knitting and crocheting and I've been doing all of those three things from being a little girl when my mum taught me all things knitting, crochet and sewing. Started off just crocheting little chain stitches and granny squares and then actually patchwork sewing, little hexagons, and they're still my favourite shape to sew now. I used to be a school teacher for over 20 years. I was teaching in classrooms um, and just had the knitting and the crochet and sewing as a background hobby. But now I get to do this as, as my job and I'm absolutely passionate about it and really want to share all that passion and excitement with you guys. 
Um, a, a tip that I think I've, is worth sharing with you is always use quality materials. So whether that's your fabrics or your threads or wool, the difference in the quality of your materials can really make a difference to your finished project. And always use the right tools. So whether it's a rotary cutter or a pair of scissors that are specially made for that job, that too can make all the difference. My claim to fame in 2020 was winning, being one of the winners of the Great British Make Off here on Sewing Street when I did my debut um, sewing demonstration in November last year. And it was just a wonderful experience and I'm so excited to be here on my Sewing Street journey with you all, bringing you lots of tips, techniques and looking forward to doing lots of exciting projects with you throughout the year. So lovely to meet you and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! I've got glitter everywhere, right? From those cheap old Christmas trees up there. What's the matter? Oh, you're just agreeing with me. I thought you were saying... Rrr, rrr. Anyway, I went like that to wipe my face and these are sharp. So I've just scratched the end of my nose. Anyway, Delphine was in yesterday and somebody messaged you and said, oh, have we got, got the owl? And I was like, no, we've not got the owl. <laughs> she went, yes, you have. You got it tomorrow. Here it is. Right, okay, I'm going to do the instructions on their own first because they're about to sell out. This is Oakley the Owl. Instructions on their own first. There you go, £9.99. pence. I've got lots of instructions on their own coming up later, but we're just doing this one because it's very, very popular. There's hundreds, yeah. Oh, on the web. Oh, actually, I haven't got it on its own in the pile of them on their own. Anyway, never mind. Never mind, never mind. Here we go. So, pattern on its own, Oakley the Owl. On the website, it's called what? Ollie the Owl. No, Ollie the Owl is a different one to this, isn't it? Oh, okay. Okay, then, Oakley the Owl, 999. This is just the instructions, but this is what you can make. Now we've seen loads of them on the Facebook. Um, um, Facebook. Um, one lady made one for a friend and it was beautiful. Abs although lots of them were beautiful, but there was one lady that actually... Oh, look, I hadn't seen that. There's embroidery there. Gorgeous, isn't it? So that's just the pattern on its own. £9.99. pence. Oakley the Owl. Look at all the instructions. Lots and lots of instructions. You get all... That's a, the placement. These are all your templates. Okay. There are only 10 copies of the instruction on their own left now. 10, that's it. That is it. Who knows if we'll get any more? I don't know. I don't know what song she's singing now. They're all adverts anyway. 9.99. Now, do you fancy making a rainbow version of this? Oh, it could be amazing. It'd be have you done a, has anyone done a rainbow one of these? If you have, let me know. Let me know. What you get in your bundle is you get your metre of your white for your background. You get a fat quarter of your purple, but I'm not quite sure what that's for. Must be, well, no, because they're seamed, that's seamed there. 
I don't know what the purple's for. What date did we do this on? Have you got a date for this one? 13th of July is the day you want to see. I don't know what that's for because it's not enough for the binding and she's done a scrappy binding. Anyway, well, have a look at it's most probably come out of a different kit. <laughs> oh, no, you get a fat culture purple. Look, it says there. Look, I love this panel. It's like the rainbow panel. So you get this, 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 and this to make a rainbow version of Oakley. Gorgeous. No, that's Alfie, not Oakley. She's very singy today, isn't she? So, how many of these have we got? How many of these kits have we got left? Oh, six. That's it. Six of the rainbow kit left. This is the only colourway I've got, by the way. So I had ten of the pattern left on its own and six of these bundles left. And that's it. Uh, you're in an awful knot because I can hear you fl flulloping around in there. <laughs> Hannah's got a knitted dress on today. It looks lovely. Oh, excuse me. I'm just going to... Uh, it looks lovely, but she's got caught up in it somehow. And she's now itching and hitting her microphone. Just so you know at home what's happening. So there's a metre of, meter of the white, the panel, the instructions. Instructions on their own have now sold out. And then the fat quarter of purple, which we... If you know what the fat quarter's for, let me know. Let me know, let me know, let me know. Right, I'm going to fold that up inside there. Do what? Oh, Mo from the Highlands left a fifu. Uh, exactly what you'd expect from Delphine. Clear pattern, nice fabrics, little bit of genius. Oh, that's so nice. Right, okay. So I'll put him there. Oakley there. Where would you like to go now? I think I'm going to be running between desks, that's all. That's all right. Where would you like to go next? Elephant. Ella. Ella the elephant. I've got... Instructions on their own. F oh, let me show you what it looks like first. Sorry, oh, my bad. All oh, the glitter's gone up my nose. Right, here is Ella the elephant. I haven't got it in this colourway. Right, instructions on their own first. You might have your own fabric at home. Limited, limited, limited in the instructions. Crikey, these must be more expensive. There's pages and pages in here. Who is? Okay. Gorgeous, look. Elephant pattern, there's your layout. Here are all your pieces. You get so much in there. Oh, look at that one last one piece there. <laughs> it's really annoying when that happens, isn't it? Anyway, how many of these have we got? Right. 19 of those left, then that's it. Just the pattern on its own is what I'm talking about now. Just the pattern. I've got 19 of those. Stop it, whoever's tapping. <laughs> That's the most aggressive drink stirring I've ever heard. So the pattern on its own there, 9.99 for Ella the elephant. Gorgeous, isn't it? Look. Beautiful. I've got a bundle. Now, it's not this colourway, but you'll do this pattern, right? So, you get your white, metre and a half for your white for your background. It is cave. It is cave. But this one was... This is oranges and yellows, this one is called. Hang on. Oh, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. There's one. I don't want to open this because I've got limited numbers. There's the colours you get. Yeah, yeah, you won't see, I mean, I, um, you're not going to see the, the, the fabrics close up, but there you get an idea of the colourway. So at 64 99 you get a metre and a half the fabric, you get the Ella instructions, and you get the 10-inch charm pack in the lovely colours, in the orangey colours, safari sort of colours. Sixty-four ninety-nine for that. Make a lovely wall hanging or, or one you can just throw on the bed, you know, or have the back of a sofa or something. She stippled this one. 
Okay. Not staying here now. I'm not doing penguins now. Come back to do penguins in a minute. Oh, Cora the cat. Right, let me make a bit of a space on here. This was done the other day. Right, look at look at this, right? This is, I haven't got the bundles, but we've got the finished cushions. Look. How incredible is that? But look at this. Look at that. Oops. So I've got the instructions for that on their own. Here it is, Cora. Now, you know, I was talking about my uh, fruit and veg store, Sheldon's fruit and veg store. The whole store was run by the grandma of the family and she was called Cora. It's all fitting together, isn't it, today? Oh, there, the, the Oakley the owl was in that pile, that's my bad. Anyway, uh, look. All of your templates are in there, all your placements. Look at that, that. Oh, look at it done in those colours. It's incredible, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Anyway, keep going through for that. Right, that's Cora, 9.99. Cora the cat. Now, we've got a B, right? For some reason, Hannah wants to call him Gary. Oh, the grey, the grey version. And she saw Gary the B. This is incredible, this one, isn't it? So now, I've, I haven't got the instructions on the one So there's the instructions. No, because this is the panel, isn't it, with Gary already drawn on it. Look. Obviously, we're not doing the pattern on its own because you need the panel. So that's your background. There's your bumblebee. There's your wings. Oh, actually, you also need some twinkle chiffon as well, don't you, really? Some organza. Oh, that was optional, was it? Legs, legs. Because you'll also obviously need some um, embroidery threads as well there. What was the date was this, sorry? Of the 5th, you say? 26th of May. Yeah, 26th of May. Beautiful, isn't it? But that's got all embroidery on there. Do watch the... Um, do watch the... Um, demonstration though so we've got the, the instructions because look the instructions has no templates in it so I don't want you to buy these thinking you're getting a template it tells you how to do it all there's the chiffon wings $19.99 I'm sorry there's no yarn lane today That's Gary the Bumblebee, which isn't Gary at all. It's the grey Bumblebee. Yeah, I'm sure Delphine will call him Gary. I'll ask her when we're out having a curry. Yeah, 1999, thank you. Right, where next? Where are we going next then? Uh, fighting has, oh, I didn't know this was here. Right. You have a look at this, right? I'll just show you the instructions, right? Fighting hairs, $9.99. You get all your instructions here, all of your templates for your fighting hairs there. That's $9.99. Now, if you just wait there, caller, I know exactly where this is. There's nobody in the room, is there? Oh, it's time to go and do it now. Elliot's gone home. I see, yeah, Elliot's gone home. Right, just so you know at home, I'm in my dressing room. And I'm rooting, yeah, I'm rooting. Th oh, it's gone. <laughs> it was here yesterday. Oh, no. Um, oh, 
Yeah, I think Elliot must have taken it home. It was just there. It was literally just there yesterday. Never mind, you can take it for the picture. Sorry about that, everybody. Picture looks the same because it was taken from the actual thing, but I had the cushion covering my dressing room yesterday. 10th of May, this was demoed. I've never seen that one demo because it was she did it and it was sold out, didn't it, on the day. It was so popular. It's gorgeous, that it's really beautiful. Fighting hairs. Nine nine ten. Oh, you know what Elliot could have done while he was here? He could have unpacked Boxing Day. Because he said he was going to do it yesterday and he never did. Never mind. 9.99, well done. Right, what's next then? Oh, I better slow down, it's only quarter past. I've got quilt, I can recap quilts as well. Tree of Life in Blue, oh, I love this. Right, so I'll show you what it is first of all. I'll hold it up, I love this. Now, oh, what, because we're very short of space here, uh, while I was away on my holidays, they built a shelving unit in my dressing room, right? Now, I say my dressing room, it's all the presenter's dressing room we have to share. And I it's tiny, and it? It's like a cupboard. It's only about like this big. There was all shelving down one wall when I got back, and, and all the boxes full of all... And I've got Delf one of the shelves is all Delphines, and this is one of the things I could quite happily just put in my bag and take home. I wouldn't, obviously. I don't condone stealing. But that would look nice on my in my house. In fact, it might just oh, it might just there. Uh, oh, it's disappeared. Right, so I've got a bundle for this, right? So in here, you get oh now yours isn't the dark blue one. Yours is the white one. So it's got a white background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's looking a mess, isn't it? Um, now this is a motor. I d Oh, I love this fabric. I've never seen the Tree of Life in Toki, isn't it? Yeah, let me move that back out of the way, sorry. Right, so this was, I only saw the panels of this. Oh, I, f I feel sad. How many have I got? Oh, sorry. Look at this. This is beautiful, isn't it? Look. So this is the... Um, Toki or Tochi, Tree of Life, they look like, um, now I, I can't remember the name, Saburu. Is it, you know, the, the, there's two, there's the two, there's the paste one and there's the stitch one, isn't there? I think that you get a bit of both in this. If they're not done like that, they're prints, obviously, but look. Beautiful, look at these. So. These are prints, but the way they get these patterns is that it's a dyeing art and they get fabric and they just stitch it and they dye it, let it dry, and then when they pull it out of the dye, it's created these incredible patterns on the fabric. So some are done like that and then some, I don't know if I've got one, are done with a bean paste. I think these are all the stitch one, aren't they? What did you think it was called? Shibure. That sounds like a very posh way of saying it. Look, aren't they lovely? This would be lovely, this, wouldn't it? So your background's going to be white, and then your tree and all your butterflies and everything going to be all the different blues and naturals on there. Look. Look at that. It's lovely, isn't it? It was done by um, Chang. What was, this? what was her first name? Oh, I'm, I'm dreadful at the moment. My brain's going... There's a lot going on in my earpiece. Gorgeous. <laughs> Beautiful, aren't those colours lovely? So you get a metre and a half of the white for the background. That'll look stunning. The thing is, right, yes, it will look absolutely beautiful in that. It'll be look very ethereal. No, you're not ethereal, Hannah. So that bundle there is fifty nine ninety nine. You get a meat half of fabric, the design roll, and the um, instructions. 
The instructions have everything you need. Look on there. You will need some, uh, what's that sticky stuff? Bonder web. There's all your um, templates in there, look. And you make it, in which you put the tree up, and then you make it with whatever leaves you want, whichever size leaves you want. And then if you've got, if you've got um, a piece that's too big, you sew two of the strips together and then cut, cut the, uh, then put the bond web on the back and cut them out. Beautiful. New year, new craft, new you. 59 99 Owl instructions, Oakley on their own have sold out, just so you know. And only four of the bundles left of Oakley the Owl. Right, let me put Tree of Life back over there. Well, it's, I need my little vacuum, but I think it's in the dishwasher. Right, here we go. Tree of Life instructions on their own, because you might have your own fabric. You might have your own collection of fabric that you'd like to make this out of. I love it with the dark background. I love it. Let me get that blue one out again. See, this is what you could aspire to make if you had your own fabrics at home. Look. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now imagine if you've got some Kaif at home. Uh, oh, uh, William Morris. Um, one of the Dan, no, uh, was it Dan Morris that did the Batiks? Dan Morris Batiks would be nice, wouldn't they? In fact, that might be, no, no, I don't think that was that one. Oh, look, no, that's, um, Barley batiks, these, aren't they? I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, I did it. I'll just sanitise my hands, sorry. Did you hear that then at home? Just <laughs> That's why I always say I'm going to sneeze. There you go. You didn't hear me say it. Oh, dear, Jesse was asleep. He was in New York. What, Jesse? Oh, I see what you mean. I was going to say that, that that's not where they are at the moment. Gorgeous. Right, okay, so that's that one. That's the Tree of Life pattern on its own. Where would you like to go next then, Hannah? Oh, that sounds a bit... I've got Daisy Cow. Yeah, this is, this is Daisy, which they've called Dairy on the graphics. Yeah, got the bundle. A rainbow. So I've got the blue sample here. Oh, we've got still at the rainbow one. Oh, well, we'll have a look now. Let's have a look now. I'll tell you. Well, I'll, I'll take my, my one away. I'll just unpack this one. Right, so here you get the instructions. You get, that feels like half a metre of white. And let's have a look at the panel that you get here and see if it's the same as the picture. Can I just see the picture again, Jesse? I think it is this one, look. Oh, what a lovely panel this is. Look. Yeah, yeah, because there's, there's a there. lovely panel. Look at that. Even if you didn't use it for Daisy the Cow, that's a lovely, exclusive rainbow fabric squares. They're all five-inch squares. Rainbow of colour. Rainbow of colour there. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, that can't be right. Okay, so instructions, Delphine's instructions are $9.99, right? A panel this size at the absolute cheapest, $14.99, because we had one this size yesterday, didn't we? So already we're at $24.99, plus half a metre of fabrics, that takes it to £30 nearly, no, £3. Well, there's something wrong with that pricing. You're getting a good deal, that's what I'm trying to say. 
19.99 for the panel half meter fabric and the instructions and the instructions will have all your templates in look look there they all are there's your placement guide not to scale obviously there's all your pieces gorgeous 19 pounds and 99 pence out that's a really good buy. Oh, Dan Single Figures already. Ninety. Right, okay. I'm going to offer the instructions on their own in a minute, right? They're going to be £9.99. So in theory, you're getting this panel and that piece of fabric for £10. This is a brilliant way. Of, do you know what? Do you know what? Even if you're thinking, I don't want, I want a daisy cow in monochrome, right? And I'm going to use my stash. Don't just buy the pattern. Buy this, right? Because for, for £10, you're getting that white fabric and you're getting that panel to put in your stash. You don't have to. It's up to you. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying what I would do. Thank you, Jesse. You think this is a very clever idea. Very, very clever idea. He didn't say very or very, very. He said it's an idea. Yeah, put it forward to the board. Right, we're going to do the patterns on the... the pattern on their own in a minute. Daisy on her own. I think it says it say. Oh, it says Daisy in that one. Oh, Daisy Dairy. It only said Dairy earlier, didn't it? Do you remember Dairy Lee from Rocks and Co? Oh, you didn't work with her. Okay. Marilyn's got a question. Do you have any friary quilt or oh fairy fairy not friary fair Oh, wall hang kits for patterns, please. Not today, we don't, I'm afraid. No, Marilyn, sorry. Oh, I know somebody who lives really near you, Marilyn. Anyway. No, not, I don't know what your address. I don't know what road you're in. I think. Oh, no, I'm doing the pattern on its own, I'm sorry. Oh, there's loads of, this is going to be a bit confusing now, this hour. I'll do that one after I've, I didn't have my boiled egg for breakfast. So I've got two for lunch now. 9 99 Pattern on its own. Daisy. Lovely, gorgeous. Okay. Highland cow. Instructions, oh, instructions. Righty ho. Highland cow, there it is, there it is. This is just instructions only. All of your templates are there, so you don't need. Look, there you go, all the templates there, so you can make it up in your own colours, in your own fabrics, 9 99 Fabulous, darling, fabulous. At £9.99. Instructions on their own. Really good value when you think of, all, first of all, all the templates that you'll have forever and all the instructions on how to put it together. £9.99. Delphine Brooks. They're all Delphine's uh, patterns. You me? Mmm, says Jesse. Mmm. Of course, the stock of those gone. I'm just waiting with you because there's lots of people coming in the phone lines. The small queue on the phone lines. I'll be with you very, very quickly. Yeah, I'm just having a slurp of my coffee. It's over the other side, though. Set. I'll use, no, no, I'm using up the calories. Lovely, moving on. Where would you like to go now? I've got Tara the Tiger and all the patterns on this side. That side I've got the cushion and the penguins over that side. Let's do some patterns on their own while we're on this side. Yes, we do. Uh, okay, it was back in yesterday, the day before yesterday. Class purses, first of all. Now, 
All of Delphine's patterns normally come on shiny, shiny card. card. I think this one was done before she did the shiny card ones. So this is actually still 9.99, but it's still as thorough. The glue is back in stock. Gutman solvent, it's back H640. No, 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 no. H2SO or something. It's, no, what's it called? No, no, it's not called H640. It's called the glue. It's called Gutman H something. Anyway, we're not got it today. You can go looking on the website. All your templates for all your purses there. The clasps are all on the on the website, only that we've got. Oh, actually, Kat did a Kat did a naughty thing the other day, didn't she? We had lots of clasps and she reduced them all in price. So they might have all sold out now. Oh no, it was it was because Kat got very excited. It was back in stock. I had to keep redoing it. There was lots. Maybe we did. Nine ninety nine coin purse instructions plus templates. It's a funny shaped one, that one, isn't it? That's just all big coins, is it? Is that what it's really called? It's clutch. It's called the clutch, actually. Yeah, it's what Paul's walking on when he comes in. Nine ninety nine. I wonder if he's put tinsel on it for Christmas. I had the bell on the end of it last week. Yeah. 9.99. Gorgeous, moving on. Which one would you like next? Jerry. I knew a monk called Jerry once. Yeah. Here you go. Jerry the giraffe. Again, or well let me move those out of the way because it'll get confusing. There you go, back. Jerry the Giraffe, cute, isn't he? Look. Now, this one's, oh no, there they are. <laughs> I can't decide if there's another page there or not. There's his ears, there's his neck. Slightly different, this one, isn't it? But you do get all your templates up there. And there's your placement. That's your placement there. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. That's just the instructions again. Remember, just the instructions. On turn. On turn, lad. On thorn. That's what they say. On the own. I should be an Emmerdale, shouldn't I? Really. <laughs> I wouldn't want to live in that village anyway. Well, they have so much drama in the tiniest of villages, don't they? Yeah, you just leave. It might be beautiful because it's in West Yorkshire, but blimey, you wouldn't live there. If you lived in a village called Midsummer, you definitely wouldn't stay there, would you? Anyway, 9 99 this one. And le unlike Monica the Glen, where, uh, yeah, Hannah would move in tomorrow. <laughs> Nine ninety nine. Beautiful Jerry the giraffe. Jerry the giraffe. Confident beginner skill level. Keep going through for that one. Keep going through for that one. I've got Hamish. This is your, all oh, right, there, Jess, I'm keeping you up. <laughs> like a walrus in the gallery. Right, Hamish the Highland Cow, soft toy. So this one's an actual toy rather than um, a, a wall hanging, but very, very thorough instructions. And there's all your pattern pieces there. Everything you need, all the right size. Hamish the Highland Cow. No, I've driven past it. Why are you asking? Why are you asking that? Yeah, but uh, so Jesse just said to me, "Out of I'm talking about Hamish the Highland Cow soft toy. Have you ever been to the Strapped Upon Avon Cat Cafe? It's very random. So I think everyone's hungry and tired, overwhelmed. 
It's because they all know Father Christmas is coming tonight, that's why. 9.99. Did you send your letter, Jesse? Nine ninety nine. Jesse's just reading off his list that he's put out for Father Christmas. I think he's a fourteen year old girl. <laughs> he wants he wants a, a a diary and a pencil case. I didn't hear the third thing. Oh, a razor, shaving razor. That was not a fourteen year old girl. That was obviously. Anyway. Highland Cow Toy Instructions, £9.99. pence. It shows how times have changed, doesn't it? When I was at school, a pencil case was a wooden box where the top slid off like that. When Hannah was at school, she had one that looked like a famous brand of crisps packet. Oh, he didn't though. He didn't though. Oh. 9.99. I don't remember those. I must have been teaching. Oh, actually, yes, I'll have been teaching at that point, I think, went to. What year will that have been? Okay, I wasn't teaching. <laughs> I'd already had two careers by then. I was on to my, um, I'd started it this morning by then. 9.99. Anyway, moving on. Uh, I've only got one pattern left. Shall I do that now then? Chloe the cat. Step-by-step -step instructions, how to make and create your own soft toy cat. Confident beginner. Nine ninety nine. Here's all your instructions, all your pattern pieces. It's very easy to put together this one. Very nice little pro project, this one. She'd made it out of cotton. It's not out of stretch fabrics, this. It was made out of like quilting weight cotton, this one. But you could make it out of um, polar fleece if you wanted to. Nine ninety nine. Chloe the cat. Keep going through for that. Keep going through. We. C I've got Tara the tiger here. Yeah, Tara the tiger's here. Right, here's the, it's the different colourway I've got in again. This is the actual finished tiger. This is the wall hanging. Okay, I've, in the bundle, I've only got three left. I haven't got this colour before. Don't check out yet because I haven't got this colour. The colour I've got is lilac. And the colour of your Tara will be these incredible. It's Kaif. I can't remember which, is it, um, I want to say Ocean. So you get that, and you get that, and you get the instructions. Now again, the instructions are incredibly thorough. Look at this, right? So I'll start off. Whoops. Start off there with all of your writing and your finished piece. Then these are all the pattern pieces. And then that. Gorgeous. Then there must be a, oh, there should be a placement guide in there somewhere. Oh, I suppose, there you go, you follow the picture, your main, the main picture. Beautiful, isn't it? So it's in this colourway, but I'm on single figure. So it'd be a lilac background, and then you have your ocean K-facet um, design roll there. 59.99. Again, that, isn't this, isn't this 49.99 anyway? So that's 49, if you buy that separately on its own, that's 49.99. They're 9.99, so that takes you up to your 59 pounds. So you're getting this for free. Ooh. 
this for free, basically. £59.99. Okay, you just brought over a completely different thing than you said you were bringing over. I know, she said. Fifty nine ninety nine. Tara the Tiger. Now, have I got Tara the Tiger pattern on its own in a minute? Yes, I have in a minute. <laughs> Can you hear a giggling in the background? In a minute, I'll explain why, right? I'll explain why in a second. She's just got to get back into the gallery now. Instructions on their own. <laughs> Here's the instructions on their own. There you go. 9 99 Gorgeous, isn't it? Really lovely. If you've got your own fabric, it's so incredible what you can just do I mean, the, the look, the effect that you get just from sticking like little slivery bits of fabric on. Do you know what I mean? She's so clever, isn't she? Okay, come with me because I've got penguins and cushions on the other side. Now, you've only put two there, Hannah. Okay. I'm not going to do those yet. I'll just tell you why I was giggly, right? So Hannah said, damn a piece. Right, John, I'm just going to get three cave quilts and put them on the desk for you. I've got one Anna Maria and I've got one William Morris. No mention of cave at all. Right, okay, let's do this though. Penguins. Cushion kit. Okay. Oh, right, okay, so the picture they've chosen for the website is this picture here. You can make that one, but you can also make this one, right? So you've got your half a metre of your beige as your background, and then you've got your fat quarters here in yellow, white, grey. Oh, they're slightly different. This is slightly different because, look, that I've got this batik there. I haven't got that batik. I've got that will have to be in the... Oh, hang on. I'm a bit confused. Yeah, no, no. But the, in this one, there's two colourways of batik. Okay. Now, I'm just going to check the instructions now. Put that to one side. Oh, I see. I see, I see. Right. This is... Right. Ignore that then, ignore that one. Right, you get the instructions to make that one, but this bundle is to make this one. So when you get your own fabric, make the other one. You see, because look, in this bundle, I only had black, white, batik. There's yellow in there as well. You could bind it in the yellow, I suppose, couldn't you? But So yeah, so you get the instructions, look, for both. I'll show you. Right, look, there's the adult one. There's the baby one. So the bundle that we're selling, this bundle for 19 99 which I packed away, you can make the, this one with the three little penguins on. You can't make that one with the bundle. Because they'll have had, when they launched it, they'll have had two lots of bundles. They'll have had a bundle for that, and they'll have had a bundle for that. I've only got the bundle for that today. Sorry if I've confused you. Penguin cushion, that's the Christmas shopping now started for next year, says Derek. Uh, Christine says, I've still got the Walker's cheese and onion pencil case somewhere. There you go. I was, didn't mean to say Walker's, other crisps are available. Right, so would you like the pattern on its own? Pattern on its own. Yeah, you get the pattern for both, remember. Both the um, adults and the children. Nine ninety nine. Oh, Jesse, where Jesse was? They had Doritos as their pencil cases. No, I don't. They still sell those, Jesse. So that's your penguin. Nine ninety nine. I've got one more. Oh, I've got two more Delphine kits to show you, but for the same thing. Do you remember we did the Union Jack Memorial cushion, and this is it. Came in three different colourways. I've got two of the colourways today. Right, I've got this colourway. Yep. Sorry they're still in the bag. It just, um, Elliot was in charge of this yesterday. Right, 
Right, okay, let me put that on the floor. Right, so what you get to make this is you get the instructions, plus you get this. Now, is there, is there no solid, is it all fat quarters then? One, two, three, four, five, six fat quarters there. So you use the white one for the back. Oh, will there be enough? Let's just have a look. I think it came with half a metre of white fabric in the first time, so let's just have a look. I'll have a look. Because look, that's not enough to do the back. 24th of October is when we did this. Because that, you see that there. Oh, no, maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm... Mm. Only comes with six fat quarters. You might have to cut the white one carefully. Because look, she's also put white on the front there. Oh, hang on. Let me open this. She might have put a cutting. She might have put a cutting guide in. Oh, no, I know. It's foundation paper piecing, isn't it, this one? Very, very precise. That's why you've got that. Yeah, there you go. That's all right. Anyway, so that's this colourway. Let me just show you this colourway. So this is this one. So you get the... Oh, is it? Yes, there it is. There it is. There's the big poppy. There's the black and grey poppy. You don't use that one at all. Oh, so you could use that for your back. You could use that for your back. Look, because there's your big black and red poppy there. Also, you're not going to use, look, at, if you think about it, this fabric here, you only use those four strips out of there, don't you? Oh, yeah, the rabbits, they're on, that, they're on both of them, on that one and that one, look, because the bumblebees. Oh, no, it's just bumblebees on that. I thought there were rabbits on that one. Hmm? Just Gary the bee there. And then big poppy, I love that fabric. Big poppy, little poppy, navy blue, and the white. So you get six fat quarters, plus the instructions, $24.99. That's lovely, isn't it? It's beautiful. Now I've got it in another colourway as well. I know uh, we don't normally do this putting away as we go along, but it's all a bit confusing today. So I'll put that in there. That goes in there. Right, now I've got it in a different colourway, which is this one. Same, same range of fabrics, but in this colourway here. Yeah. So these are the colours. That, so they match beautifully if you want to do this one as well. I think Delphine said you could get two fronts out of this obviously you'd have to change them around because like because i'm saying you're, uh, that one there you're only using four tiny strips of that one aren't you so i'm sure you better make two because look this one's got the white this one's got big poppies on gray little poppies on cream the poppies with rabbits on taupe navy blue and that gorgeous navy blue one there plus your instructions Fab, you, oh, again, the instructions are in there, sorry. Instructions. And you get the, um, now you're going to need to photocopy these either onto just cheap photocopying paper or onto some Carol Doak foundation paper piecing. That's your placement there. And there your actual, uh, you do two of those and two of those to make it. And then what you do is, I think what, you must do some sashing the, through the middle, don't you? Because they're just the four quarters. And then you put, there you go. And you put some sashing in between. Fantastico, $24.99. That goes in there. Right, do you need to recap anything of Delphine's? Oh, sorry, got those instructions on their own, sorry. A couple of those instructions on their own there. There you go. Yeah, because you might have your own fabric to do a memorial cushion. You just want, you know, your traditional red, white and blue. Oh, also, also Jubilee. This year, there's going to be so many street parties, so many parties going on, aren't there? 9 99 So you could make that your own red, white and blue fabrics. Nine ninety nine. I don't know if you can hear Hannah at home. The thing is, when I watch, listen in, I can't hear what words she's saying, but because I know Hannah so well, I can hear from the intonation of her words what she's actually saying and everything, and what mood she's in. Well, no, because if you're one of those moods, you just grunt. Right. Apparently, the, oh, the day I messaged in. 
yeah. Right, now, can I please have the slides, Jesse, for the 10 o'clock hour? We had this special hour at 10 o'clock today. Um, and what I'm going to do is I will take you to the website in a minute and show you the... Well, only because I think it's important you see all the quilts that are still available. So, here's the slide. If you buy... Now, it was a 10 o'clock hour. You don't have to do it at 10 o'clock, but you do need to check them out. To get the special offer, you do need to check the quilts out at the same time, right? So, we had a show. We had 12 different quilts. Some of them sold out. That one there, that third one along is sold out, right? Um, if you buy two quilts at the same time, we will take 20% off the total, total cost. Right. Now, these are just two of them that I've got here. I'll do the Anna Maria first because I'm standing on this side. These are just two of them. But I will take you to the website and show you what's left on that hour. Right. 174.99. Now, you don't have to take advantage of that offer. What you can do is just buy this 174.99 and that's you done. No discount, no nothing. You can buy it on split pay. Three uh, split pays of £58.33. pence, Or... If you buy that with one of the other quilts from the hour, you will save £35. Because 20% of this is £35. But you do need to buy one of the other quilts from the hour to get that 20% off. But it's a beautiful quilt, isn't it? Stunning, stunning quilt. If you look at the front, oh sorry, if you look at the front of the packet, you'll see, I'll just put it in shop properly. Look. It's just gorgeous, and it's huge as well, 183 by 234 centimetres. Oh, right, now, the caves we said earlier, we didn't repeat them because like, we, we had six and there were 26 in baskets. Things. I'm going to go through it now. I'm going to go through it now for you, right? So that's that one. I've got five minutes. I'm all right, right? Then the other one, I'll come over here, come over here. This is gorgeous, isn't it? This one. This one here is 199.99. You can buy it today for 199.99. You can buy it today on split pay, which will be there you go, 66, 66 three times. Or there it all is. If you buy it with a another quilt, you'll get 20% off. 20% off that is 40 pounds. 20% off that 109, that's 200 pounds, that's 40 pounds, isn't it? 20% off that. Right, the other, I haven't got all the quilts here. You can see some of them on the wall here. Let's, can we, do you mind, Hannah, going quickly, going to, go to the website. Now, you need to go on show, to, show, show deals. Go on Watch Live, first of all, sorry, yeah. Then you go to show deals, right? Then you scroll down to where all the, um, keep going, oh, sold out, sold out, sold out. Right, okay, these were the choices of the quilts, right? There was the Moda Bill Bauer Sherry and Chelsea Timeless Quilt for $197.99. That, if you buy with something else, no, that's not it, is it? That one there. If you, you get uh, five and a half metres of the cream, a metre of the pink, and then uh, fat quarters and fat eighths galore to make that one. Then there's the Sally Stevens Twinkling Stars Quilt. That's instructions and Moda fabric. You're already saving £10. Then we'll take, if you buy it with another quilt, you'll get another 20% off, which is just shy of £20, isn't it? Then there's the Beth Studley Sunbeams, which is this one. Oh, no, I won't show you that. that. Show it on there. Beth Studley there, £109.99. <coughs> you'll get 20% of that if you buy it with one of the others. There's the other Beth Studley. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Then we've got the Lewis and Irene Winter Nap Orange Quilt. There's only two of those not checked out. Right, but plenty in baskets. So if you want that, you need to check out now. Then we have the Moda Twinkling Blooms, which is lovely. Right, the Anna Maria, which I've just shown you there, which is $174.99. The William Morris has sold out. Right, now, the K Facet Ancient Glade. There are way more people got that in their basket than we have stock of. If you want it, you need to check out. We will not be getting it back. We will not, I repeat, get that back. Right? So that's that one. And how much was that? Was it 174? 139. 139. Buy it with something else, you get 20% off. £27 off. Right, then we had the uh, peach. Now you see, these have all got, that. both of those, the peach sunset and the cottage garden, have got way more people have got it in their baskets than we've got stock of. If you have got them in your basket and you definitely want them, you need to check out because having them in your basket does not guarantee that you will be getting it. 
So I just wanted to recap that just in case. Um, I'm surprised. I'm surprised because literally one of those had 26 in baskets. And we had six of them. So, right, again, remember tomorrow, Christmas Day, it's frightening, isn't it? Christmas Day tomorrow. If you do want any messages read out live on air tomorrow, please send your message to studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. And uh, in the subject line, write Christmas message. Then in obviously where you write your normal email, write your message and then send it through. Hand will put it in a folder. Any up to the end of today, the marketing department will put on slides and then any that come in live tomorrow, if we get chance, we'll, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Shall we look at tomorrow's menu? Because I've got Alison Mary and Marion Allison in tomorrow. Here it is. So eight o'clock, only four hours tomorrow, remember? Four hours. Can t have we had those baubles on everything or was that just tomorrow? Oh, I thought I hadn't seen those before. Kentucky home quilted blanket with Alice and Marion. No, I unpacked that earlier. I don't know what it looked like. Anyway, then at nine o'clock. Now, we've got, just back to me very quickly, sorry. At sewing machines, right, we've got the 550, 560, 570 and the 720. Each of them comes with a special Christmas Day free gift. Right? Free gift. I'm not saying anything about it now, but tomorrow, you want to tune in, tune in tomorrow. They'll all be on pre-order, so if you can only stay for an hour tomorrow, don't worry. Right, back to that. We've got brand new William Morris fabric in there. It's lovely. It's really, if you, you know the extra wide backing we've just had, the William Morris, it's like that. It's that lovely, subtle, like kind of uh, sculpture, like alabaster. Then we've got 10 o'clock, we've got pet coat with Alice and Marion. Uh, which is, a, we've got one for do big dogs and one for little dogs. Then 11 o'clock, we've got brand new fabrics and sewing machines again. Now, the other thing is, tomorrow, everybody who buys tomorrow will automatically get two free gifts. I'm not telling you what they are. Oh, has an email gone out? You might, or, you might already know what they are. But anyway, you get two, anybody who shops at any time on Christmas Day uh, will get two, two free gifts. So, what's the matter? Oh, yeah, we've got to try and find them. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, thank you for your company today. Make sure you check out your baskets. Uh, and uh, it'd be lovely to see you tomorrow. If you can't come in, I understand completely, it's Christmas Day. So if you're not coming in tomorrow, have a fantastic, fantastic Christmas. Um, I'm back after tomorrow. I'm back on the 29th. I'm on the 29th. Stuart's in on Boxing Day. I'm not quite sure what happens between Boxing Day and the 29th, but not my problem. Not my problem. Um, so, but I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow and you'll get two free gifts if you come and buy something tomorrow. Uh, take care. Bye-bye. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting and of course applique which is my favourite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day.